only pass through this life once. When you get old, all you're gonna have left is your memories. So make them good. No fault, I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up, add it up. Hustler Casino live. I am David Tuckman, joined by DJ AF, and I got to tell you, I have commentated on a lot of poker in my life, and I cannot remember the last time I was this freaking excited. We have a monster game in store for you. That's right, it's Friday night at Hustler Casino live. It is our big game, and we have some big names here. And of course, my co-commentator who's been here all week. How are you, my man? I'm doing great, David. Thank you very much. Uh, this is... This is the game I always wanted to commentate, the big Friday game uh, with the deep stacks. This is what I know best, and uh, I'm looking forward to this quite a bit as well. Yeah, we're going to introduce the players in just a moment, but as you might expect, uh, if, you, if you watched last Friday's game, expect more of the same. Five-figure pots, maybe six-figure pots. It's going to be insane. I cannot tell you how excited I am about this. I have been looking forward to this all week. I'm not going to say that I don't like the other games, but you know, let's just say they're not all created equal. They are not. The other games were great this week, but it's nice to finish off the week with the best game. A lot of people in the chat are already saying they're here for Garrett. Uh, that's, that's him in the black shirt. He is the king of LA poker. Go. Yeah, that is not him. That is Francisco. He calls himself Francisco the Pro. I, I need to know more about that story, right? I, I think it probably started out as a joke. I watched him play last night. I commentated. He played like a pro, and I'm not. I'm not joking. I'm not being nice. He played very well. I like it. Well, we saw Julie Yorn last week, Hollywood producer. She can more than hold her own. Those purple chips are 25. The white chips are 100. Green chips are a thousand. She's got a new show called Heels on Stars. I haven't seen it. I'm sure it's great. Yeah. Nick Fertucci, co-owner of Hustle Casino Live. I got to tell you, you and I talked about it uh, earlier this week. Is he a pro? Is he a businessman? A little bit of both. But that kind of line is blurred in today's poker world. And he's playing more like a pro every day. It's blurred for Nick. It's definitely blurred for Francisco and Julie as well. I can hear you. I can hear you, Barry. Barry is an urgent care doctor. So that's always good. I, I think, you know, there could be blood tonight. Barry's got the N95 mask on. Typically, I don't like to pay people off who are wearing such a preventative mask. What about you? I'm going to keep that in mind. I am going to wear that kind of mask. And then bluff. And then bluff, right. Smart. Right? Especially, look at the way he's dressed. There he is. A lot of you are here for him. The myth, the legend, that is Garrett Adelstein. Uh... Competed on Survivor in 2013 uh, among a, a litany of things on his poker resume and, and his life resume. Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. I cannot tell you how much better he is at poker than he is at Survivor. <laughs> and, uh, but no, he, he is the toughest player going. George, a real estate developer. And uh, yeah, a heck of a job at that. I don't know George. Do you, do you know George at all? I don't know him. I watched him last week on this show. He handled himself very well. He a uh, very perceptive player. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see it is. There's Jeremy. Manages music writers and producers. Uh, this will be interesting. Uh, I, have, uh, I have long wanted to watch him play from this seat, from the commentator's perspective. So uh, really looking forward to Jeremy. Uh, I'm not going to say that. I mean, listen, we're all here for Garrett in many ways. But for me, I'm kind of excited about watching Jeremy play. And they're only playing eight-handed tonight and we have seven to start but uh we might get another player soon 
As far as I'm concerned, eight-handed poker is the way to go. I, I, I was actually hoping if anything good came out of COVID, it would be one less player at the poker table. Yeah, agreed. You have to fold too much in nine-handed poker, and you just have to fold a little bit less in eight, and here we go. I just don't like sitting that, that close to anybody. You know what I mean? I don't want to sit at a table where, like, I got to worry about, like, my chips touching your chips, my knee touching your knee. You know, I mean, for the most part, we've all been in poker rooms. Do you really want to touch the guy's knee next to you? No. I mean, it depends whose knee it is. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> like, if it was Norman Chad's knee, yes. Well, obviously. <laughs> DGAF, David Tuckman here for you with the call. We'll be here for the next, I don't know, five, six, seven hours. As long as they play, we're going to be here. I'm super excited about this. I want to welcome all of you to Hustler Casino Live. Collection and tip is paid on the left card when the dealer... Barry with the 3X open under the gun. George calls with a dominated hand. How are you, man? Good. Nick's in there. Yeah, we played a couple weeks ago. Yeah, we did, yeah. Deuce three suited. Now, I want to ask you from a strategic point of view, seven-handed poker as opposed to eight or nine, what adjustments are you taking to your game? You're, you're opening up. You're playing more hands. You have less people behind you in every spot. Less hands to worry about. Now, the interesting thing is that normally if each player was anteing, there would be less to fight for. But with the big blind ante, same amount in there. 250 in there each and every time. For now. And, right. and they're going to be straddling. Especially if Garrett gets stuck, I know they'll be straddling quite a bit. And Nick wins the first pot with bottom pair. The best can. For those of you watching, we're going to do our best to listen to the players. So if you hear... Uh, Minutes and Thank minutes you. and minutes of silence. We haven't gone anywhere. Yeah. We're just watching like you are and enjoying the show. Guys, so I, had to, uh, I saw the I thing where it said like, study yeah, yeah. I said like, I saw the <laughs> one where you said you've been in a basement for, yeah. Couldn't be further from the truth. Studying, studying all your solvers. <laughs> Pretty funny. It was well done. Thank you. It's my acting debut. Did you see the billboards coming in? Billboard? Did you see it outside? Uh -huh. Right by the gas station? No. We got Just of me, I assume, right? Yeah, you, you're in it because you were there that day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were opening to 6x yesterday in the 10 20 game. They're down to 3x in this game. Yeah, you would have been plastered all over LA if you were getting plenty of no, callers. No joke. No joke. Hey, Ryan told you, like, so hey, I had like Hi, several please. close friends in town. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and, and I think your fee was like 5k. It was more. Oh, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy here swapped quads. Do you like a bet here, Dave? <laughs> now, Garrett's actually the pre-flop raiser. A couple of clubs so, out oh, there. Right. Oh, Julie's got deuces. I got a well, I'd love to talk about that She's one. She's going to bet when it gets checked to her. It's not often that you have a lock on the hand, like a check mark on the hand on the flop when it's multi-way. But that's exactly what Jeremy's uh, in here with. Julie bets 1100, Jeremy calls. Even though it's not at all, it feels like a deuce on the turn would be cruel. Yeah, no, I understand. Close but no cigar. Yeah. I think with her big sizing on the flop, that was a one-time bet. I could be wrong, but if it was a one-time bet to try and take it down, protect her equity if she had the best hand, I like it. You and I both definitely have that in common. I was wrong. She's going to barrel. Love it. Yeah. Pretty sure most people can say Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Certainly in the games Ryan builds. And Julie bets 2,500 into 38. Does Jeremy check raise here? Does he just call? Does he wait for the river and check raise the river? What's the best line? I think I think he should just call again. She obviously doesn't have any sort of hand that can call a check raise since he has all the cards. But if someone said, no, like my job. Not you. I mean, no one likes that. She's person. right yeah. that he's a yeah, pretty yeah, no, conservative yeah. player. Awesome, yeah. She's just yeah. unlucky here that he has a monster. Uh, yeah, if someone said, all right, your job is to build five games a week, we'll pay you Back door spades got there, but front door no, clubs no, okay. missed. Okay. I imagine it goes check, check, though, and it does. I have quads, too. That's good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Decent flop for four. Luck box starts. Yeah. Good start there for Jeremy. All right. I've never played on the stream. It seems to me players don't play their best at the very beginning. Yeah, not really. Is that, I don't flop that, is that hand typical? That often. It's hard to know how to play that hand. Kind of fair. So. <laughs> 
I, I think it's... I think that's probably a, a generality. I think there are some people out there that, you know, who never played under lights before on a live stream before that might be a little bit nervous and maybe not playing their A game. But I think for a lot of people out there, and I, I know a lot of these people, I don't think it bothers them at all. Really? But I, I don't know. Yeah, this is a nice one. I mean, I think some, there are some people out there that, you know, probably don't want to look stupid on a live stream. Other people that are trying to, probably trying to advertise on a live stream. Sure. I said, don't do that to me again, to Lauren. Oh. Yeah. Don't set up the deck that way. Yeah. I mean, imagine you could play on a live stream, like, once a week or once every two weeks but you're a big enough name like a Garrett right or a Jeremy and you can play a particular way and enough people see that and then you'd play completely opposite the other hundred hours a month you play poker like just imagine that so it's like let's say you just kind of went crazy and showed off all these bluffs and went nuts and like let's say just Pablo-esque not Pablo but Pablo-esque and you sort of, you know, you definitely negative we EV and you gave up a little bit of value. Yeah, we played at the gardens a few times, right? But you made it all back in droves yeah. off the stream. You're, you're talking about thinking long term, <laughs> looking at the big oh, picture. Yeah, I'm yeah, all for it. Yeah. I want to welcome all of you in the chat. That's the They keep it nice, so I don't need it, you know? You are watching Hustler Casino that. live. They're playing 5100 you know, like with a 100 big blind ante again. DGAF, David Tuckman, call in the action. Antonio. And we'll do our best to kind of lay out and let you listen to the conversation. Like, bet, with the aces? And yeah. it will be 5100 like, yeah, with the 100 ante and the 200 shuttle. Sooner than later, I'm calling that shot. I didn't him at all. I was like, I'm sorry. No, no, he's. But it just like came out. Like, I really meant it. But it right after I said it, I was like, don't say that. What's no, he always says stuff like that. He he's very emotional when he plays, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he is, but like, it also has like yeah. a slight needle. Like, get, that was a good bet, though. No, it really was. Yeah, it didn't but work, but you know what I meant. This isn't this isn't a comment oh, about shit. him. It's just uh, in a general 300. sense. Like, 300. It's up to and the, that person like, to understand like, like your intention. Yeah, yeah, he's clearly not yeah. trying to pull him. Like trolling, of course. He's being serious. No, but he doesn't know Germany, so it could have felt like a troll. And that's a good counterpoint if he doesn't know Germany. Yeah, 1200. He doesn't know Germany. Barry with three bet. I know. If like, I yeah, like it. If I, if I run a big bluff against Jeremy, he goes great back here, and I know he means it. Sorry, you know? yeah. 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 I did. He put me uh, on the 20. Yeah. yeah. Players have very similar stacks. stacks and oh shit, we both have aces. What are we gonna do? How about He's a flop stare. There? I love the stare thing. Oh my god, in your P90 mask. <laughs> so so hot. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's gotta be an M90. M90 something? M95. M95, that, whatever, okay. yeah. Uh, we play well, hand, I'm gonna totally check to you. We don't act. We just <laughs> stare at each other for 30 seconds. Both players to pair of aces. Now you don't want a club in their hands. Nick said we both have aces. Just trying to get some information, maybe. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna check. You said you're a little newer. Check around. That's that's how you know you're good. You oh, don't even do anything. You just stare go at ahead. the opponent. Barry's got to bet this for value. Yes. Three thousand. Three thousand. Oh, I like it. God, it smells like ace king or ace queen, huh? It's all right. Nothing like a good nothing like a good comeback, right? <laughs> Fucking Rudy, Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> nothing like a good comeback. God, really it's such a. Yeah. They're pretty awesome. I, I, I like have the hand I hate the most. Well, ace 10 is what I hate the most. How many? 10, 9, 8. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nick is the new Daniel Negreanu. He calls out their hand and still plays I read it and then I call, yeah. I call the hand, then I call. It's funny, when I look that's at Nick, I like to do I, it. I, when I look at Nick and I see Daniel, I mean, I back and forth. Yeah, because you know me. They look so similar. Call, so they do. They do. Put my hand over they have similar views as well. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, they're really in line. Garrett with 100,000, yeah. Georgia 30, Barry with 25. Yeah, that's the first hand you've ever beat me. At our, uh, you did it, you did it leaderboard here. Francisco, our so short stack at 11. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a first, it's uh, in. You heard Jeremy okay. talking about an in inadvertent in needle in the books. Uh, oh my gosh, we last week Being after nice. Antonio tried to bluff him and he called. I wish I was good got enough. An extra almost 30k and then told Antonio a nice like bet. You know, like there's some people that are just good enough. <laughs> and to he was trying to be complimentary, but it was an inadvertent needle. It's hard to 
on the Friday show, which is it's available, right? You can watch it anytime. Every show we do is available for free on our YouTube channel. Every single one. We had a handful last week, another five this week. Every single one is available for free to watch at your leisure. Yeah, it's ten. I'm even gonna fold it heads up. Did you hear about that? He limped. Who did? He was playing Negrano heads up. He oh. limped, Negrano raised, and he, and he, he just folded. Do you yeah. think, uh, Ace Chap? Do you think Mickey heads up? Is it's Ace different Ace story. <laughs> what? No. No. What do you say, Mickey? Do you think Mickey will fold Ace Ten every time? <laughs> that guy is amazing. Yeah, yeah that is a sick head. Sicko. He seems like a nice guy too. Yeah, he was super nice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Guys, you look at Francisco <laughs> and Julie. Yeah. Julie with the fives. I hate these little pairs under the gun. They're tough to play. He's break, break. He's like. Yeah. Yeah, he had a about good five or ten minutes of complete. I can literally feel it. Yeah. The old Andy was back. The say nothing Andy. Yeah. Maybe. Oh no, he was saying something. Thank God. <laughs> he was like he a little bit bigger. Right after, like I think he's yeah. like one thirty. Yeah. Action! I'm given. I I better have seat every week. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he then he called me and said, "I'm sorry about that." <laughs> uh, he's playing uh, at the flip phone place. <laughs> he, um, he, he was a little testy about if people uh, yeah, are going to yeah. stay after the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing he said right away. Yeah, he's I like, said, "Well, I mean, how how do you make screen. everyone stay? Like, I don't know how to do it." You're like, "Well, he's leaving. He's leaving. He's leaving. He's leaving." <laughs> yeah. so no one's playing. Did you watch last Friday's show? I did. Mm -hmm. yeah. I did, and, and honestly, I don't. I, you know. I cover so much oh, poker. I don't watch a ton. You have to put them in the box. I, I thought last Friday was like must see. If they ask you, you have to kind of move them it around. It was for as it to read. this Tuesday, sometimes I think. Oh, this Tuesday yeah, was crazy. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're talking about Andy getting a little. Hang on a second here. We got a raise here for 400 by George. Jeremy with the three bet. So, uh, Jeremy running well early on. Yeah, good to see you too, man. I mean, not that great to see you, but it's been kind of. What's the play if you're George? Are you just calling this three bet? Do you four bet? I mean, you're out of position. In general, you four bet. Jeremy does not seem to be a very <laughs> wide three better, yes. so I don't hate calling. George does just call. Pot is 2650. Queen Jack eight. George with a gut shot, plus obviously the over card. Yeah, I don't remember it. I won. Did I win? Oh, nice. And you said no. So after three betting to 12, <laughs> a little down bet to 800. That's something we didn't see in this in, in No Limit Hold'em 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Raise. Right. Raise. And look what it's induced. And would George play? I mean, think about the hands he might have in his range here. You know, Queen Jack, obviously. Queen Jack suited. A set of Jacks. 10-9 uh, suited. Set of Queens? Would he four bet Queens or might he just call? I, I don't think he four bet. Okay. Oh, you're, you're saying that he would have four bet. I'm wondering. I'm asking. I don't, I don't think so. Okay. Not against Jeremy. Well, then, I mean, you're not, you're not loving this flop that if you're, if you've got kings, do you? No, but you've got to realize you just bet really small against a player who's not used to small bets, probably. They are being watched, So it's going to induce... On it. I don't know. A lot of bluffs. Jeremy also does not no, have the king of hearts, so he doesn't, block right that. he doesn't block that. I have a feeling any minute now it's going to be real good. He's just going to call, see what happens on the turn. <laughs> and that's correct. Yeah, Pot 76.50. For now, it's like George looking for an yeah, ace or a 10. But it's going to be really good. Oh, it's like that. I'd like to take 10K off the table. Let him know. This always confuses me, PGF. When you get when you get check raised, and then and then your opponent checks. Do you, do you bet him off your hand? Is that like, that kind of shows some weakness there. Do you bet him off his hand or do you allow him to realize his equity? I think we always have this fear that, that we're going to get check raised again. again. And we're just so rarely going to get check raised again. I do like betting again and not just because the ace came on the river. Uh, but I do like, I don't like giving people free cards. Look at this tiny little bet from George. 
I mean, I was censored. Oh, no. no. With the funny, funny two points. Even last. No. No, I don't it's a great that size. So milky. I mean, I don't mind checking it back if I'm going to induce I mean, a bluff. No, but if, but you, if you have a lock on the hand, sure. But but yeah, with kings on, on oh, queen jack eight, eight. Dude, I'm not nice, bro. Like if I feel like it. So gross. So George's check raise kind of bought him himself a free card. Got you. And then he hits the ace on the river and then bets tiny one thousand into seventy seven hundred and gets paid off. I, th I think it was a, a, a good bet. He could have maybe bet a little bit more, but I think it was a good bet. Who's at home? Middle daughter? No, all three now. I kind of like those like out of the box, unconventional oh, yeah, bet sizing. I mean, we've seen more of that in recent games as well, where you know players are, are not opposed to going one and a half x, two x pot size, and also betting one seventh, one eighth pot size. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. I'm a big fan of betting something if, if you're the guy in position and, and well, you think you got the best fans. There's so many other things they weren't able to do, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like your middle daughter who'd be like a junior or something in college. That's correct. That's brutal. To miss college. Yeah, the she, she came be. home from the, the University of Alabama. It just yeah. was a bummer out there, yeah. you know? Look at this. My niece took a gap. This is a good yeah. three bet by Jeremy. Yeah, I think it is too. They're getting less and less scared of Garrett. And he has to fold that cheese. Yeah, it's going to be one of the worst hands he opens under the gun plus one, right? Yes. I didn't realize, by the way. How do I just? How am I just finding out that Nick Fertucci's daughter yeah. went is going or went to the same school that my niece went to? Yeah, not how do they? I don't know. Yeah, Roll tight. I'm not gonna call any. I'm giving the one thousand. I know I'm losing. I kind of want to see your hand. Because they had to furlough. You know, they didn't want to furlough people, so they had to. Yeah. Would you pay if she wanted to? Who? I to do what? Daughter, to do, you know, whatever. A $60,000 a year remote learning. You probably would. Yeah. 300 Yeah. But, we you know, did. I feel a certain way about I I that now my... than like 20 years ago about college. Yeah. I think it's just a, a big... It's, yeah. It is becoming more and more... Um, it's just a big nothing burger. Yeah. You know, unless it's you're going to be a doctor or a surgeon, things. lawyer, you know, something, right? Like, just to go get your BA... I don't know. Well, for or, tech, a lot of tech. 200. My oldest is going to get a pretty good degree in like psychology or da -da, whatever. And so, you know, whatever. Bottom two for Garrett. Checks through. Uh, no, he, he bet in Francisco so called. He did? Okay, thank you. Don't know what Francisco has. Garrett now checks. Francisco checks it back. I'm slightly surprised Garrett checked that turn. Oh, what a run out. Totally. Yep, I agree. And that's been huge. I agree. Check. I lived in a van, so I went. Garrett checks once again. I swear, out of high school, so I built my character. Van by the river? Yeah, I did. High school Right after high school, you know, when you're 18 and you live in a certain city, you live by the van, down by the river. Chris Farley, right? Oh, yeah. That guy was. Just one of the iconic, iconic SNL skits. Yeah, yeah, so I just bought a van and then I lived Garrett just got back from vacation. For a year, but it was I'm surprised he checked that turn. He flopped two pair. He opened eight five, flopped two pair, got, got called by Francisco on the flop. And now he's facing a more than pot size bet on the river. Right, he's going to fold here. <laughs> one time, one time, one time. What's the worst value hand Francisco's betting here? Is it a four? Uh, for sure, he's betting a four. Francisco could bet a seven. Francisco has gotten so much better. So can he? I was gonna say, can he bet two pair aces up? Yes. The van is what. Eight five though is just a bluff catcher, right? It's a bluff catcher in a spot where Francisco almost doesn't have any bluffs after checking back the turn. I might have dated in my girlfriend's backyard. In those days, high school days. Yeah. I bought it off her dad. Yeah. It had a stove, a bed, in the van. It had a stove. I didn't do that often. I would go fishing and cook sometimes. Seems like a it was like a, it was like, uh, like I don't a think cool, so. Like, what model of, uh, 
so long ago, man. I have a VW. It was like a Dodge. It was a Dodge. I usually try to. I grew up. We talked about this. I grew up in the Valley. I can't figure it out at night. Pretty sure it was a Dodge. Valley. 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 Valley.
in the evening, but we're going to be here for the next five, six hours. Who knows? DGAF, David Tuckman, calling the action here at Hustler Casino Live. It's probably going to take 20 minutes. The number one poker room casino in L.A. Only eight miles from the beach. Come check it out, guys. Ever. So far, Garrett's kind of running over the game. Although he's, I mean, he's basically even. Basically even, but but ha, has run poorly. He flopped two pair and lost to probably right. a runner runner, and uh, he just you saw he just opened king eight offsuit right there, and we're expecting to play many many hands and very aggressive. If you enjoy what you're watching, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, The Hustler Casino Live. Pretty rare, I'm the youngest guy at a table. You're right. Me too. Pretty excited. Yeah. And, and, and Jeremy, and Jeremy. Raise 400. I'm 39. Gonna be 39 in October. You look like 45. <laughs> no, it's good, it's good, it's good. 45? No. <laughs> no you, you look okay. Barry goes 400 with sevens. Okay, okay. Well, Garrett, three bets with 6'5 suited. You, you just mentioned him running the table over. <laughs> George has got nines. Now it's back over to Barry after George calls. Now we're playing poker. Now we're I man. would not have minded a four bet there. I know we can see Garrett's cards, but once George calls. Oh, uh, wow, what a flop here. What an absolute monster flop. Garrett with a straight flush draw. Barry with middle set. Let's watch this one unfold. Yes. I have one at I set this for it at Samal's birthday. Oh, okay. When does he always come out? Sunday night. They're still talking at the table, but things will get quiet pretty quick. Barry raises to 6,000. Back over to Garrett. I think he just sent it all in. Yeah. You heard the dealer say 10 seconds, but you see the time chips in the bottom right corner of your screen. Players can ask for more time. There's the three bet all in. Barry's going to obviously go with it. Once and or twice. Prefer once. Up to you. It's up <laughs> to you. One time, please. One time. Garrett looking for an eight, a club, a three. There's a three. He hits it. Wow. Good hand. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, my God. This is a type of Absolute game. setup hand. All the money is going in no matter who those two players are. So how do I get more chips? Yeah, I thought maybe how do I get more chips? Garrett uh, might flat the chips. flop, <laughs> realizing he doesn't have any fold equity against that line and that he was likely up against a set and doesn't want to see the board pair but he's probably just too rich for that just send it in let's gamble yeah, yeah what do you do on the turn then when you miss okay, I mean, the turn was a jack because once if he calls a six thousand barry only had 16 behind so now the pot's like you know the pot is basically 16 17 thousand barry let's say barry shifts it all in on the turn which is i think at least uh you know that's going to happen a Probably a fair amount of the time. What do you do then? Then you just calling off? You just do the math at that point. Yeah. 15 outs, one time, you've got about 30% equity. Yeah, you're probably getting the right price anyways. Okay. But if the board pairs, you can you can save the, the rest. There you go. Okay. The board pair, right. Okay. And if it's a club sense. or either of your or a straight, he's not folding anyways, a set. No. Fair enough. So uh, a quick felt from Barry. And uh, absolute setup hand. What a cooler. Yeah. 7,000 behind you. Yeah. 7,000 total. Thank you. 7,000 behind, everyone. 3,000. I'm sorry. 300. Barry's a little shucking up there. As you might expect. I mean, you flop middle set. You're thinking, you know, in your mind, you're thinking, oh, yeah, I'm going to win a monster pot. 
and then your opponent moves all in. You're just loving it. And, you know, on a king high flop, you're just thinking, okay, I hope he doesn't have kings. Right. But if he doesn't have kings, I'm golden. Not against Garrett. By the way, against the set there, you saw the percentages. Garrett was about 40%, so a little bit worse than a coin flip, but obviously uh, drawing pretty live. Ace queen on an ace jack nine board. Now he picks up a club draw as well. I like that check. And then makes the flush. It's funny that you're the one saying that Far be it from me to tell Barry what to do, but you want to win the big ones and lose the, uh, you know, lose the small ones. True. <laughs> but really, you want to do what he did. He got he got the money in good. What's he gonna do? I mean, yeah, I he got know, it in. He got it in with a set like against a straight draw, flush draw. I mean, maybe I can. Garrett does a lot of charity that. work. He does. He's, he's a part of Big Brother. Do you think that's why he just that. is always gonna get there in that spot? I, I committed to do something else anyways because everyone said they were okay. not interested. Okay. So. We were gonna play tomorrow, but. So you're suggesting the uh, nice guys finish last. Mantra is not true. It's actually nice guys finish first. In poker. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, we can do it. I don't know. There's a lot of assholes out there who do really well in poker, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. All right. That's true. So, yeah. Maybe Garrett's the exception, actually. There's always an exception in yeah, every he's, rule, he's the, right? he's the nice guy who does well. We both just had all of it. And George? It's interesting. Barry started opening to 4x, 400, with a $100 big blind. And he was he was going to 3x earlier. Now he's maybe a little steamed up. That's fair. George is going to 3-bet this. Yeah, yeah, straight open end and a flash. How much is that? 13. The old, the old binkaroonie of the three of spader. Good enough, George. Very good fold. Yeah, and that's a, I, listen, I don't want to... No I don't want to underrate that mm -hmm. fold. You know, you pick up a big hand. I mean, king-queen offsuit's not the biggest hand, but you're seven-handed yeah, in a game that's playing aggressive. You just lost with a set. How many players do you and I know that would be kind of emotionally unhinged and call there out of just spite? I know at least one in the booth. Right. I mean, me too. We're both of us. And a lot of guys out there. And a lot of girls out there. So, I mean, I, I want to give Barry a lot of credit there for kind of like... Staying on a, a, a mentally kind of level spot there. Yeah, that was not easy. Definitely an underrated fold against someone who does have a strong three bet. In the last six months. I mean, yeah, I don't want to make more of it than it is. Just like I said, just the fact that you can lose 20k with a set and still be kind of emotionally stable. Yeah. They're good. Well, he's not. He's not bad. They're on their way. They're like 35 and three. They have Danny Almonte. Remember that kid? <laughs> he was like 25 years old playing as an 11 year old. <laughs> he was 11, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. You're going to win a lot when you're 20 something that's a, against that's an 11 year old. That's an old school reference right there. Huh? Yeah, I didn't know if many people would get it. That was about 15 I thought, years you ago, might, right? I thought you Danny might Almonte was a left hander for the Bronx. He played out of the Bronx. Where is he, he was from? Played in the Cuba, World Cuba, Series Little League. Kid was like five foot seven, could throw the ball like. 75 miles an hour, but they were only like 40 inches away. So yeah. it was the equivalent of like 105 mile an hour fastball. Nobody could hit him, but then they, of course, they came out years later that he was overage. He was still amazing. Yeah, he was a father, I think. <laughs> I mean, I just can't. How pathetic is that? That you'd want to cheat in the World Series Little League? No, no, I love that. Like, what is wrong with you people? I don't love college football yeah. because you have I mean, I agree with like you. Like, you need to win yeah. that badly that you need to put a 17-year-old in there or a 22-year-old in there? What are you doing? I like Murray. I think he's I think he's solid. And Who's your team? I'm a Seahawks fan, nice. mostly because of my girl. I've watched Deuce, like three, four. game for the George open-ended. Yeah. Nick with the wheel years. draw. So, Julie as well. Yeah. NFC West, be, always super good. I think good. they're going to be good. It's a good division this year. I mean, it's always good, but Garrett's I think huge even Cardinals the Niners, fan, but so they're hyping the up the NFC West. Which one? Oh, Stafford, yeah. I don't know about Stafford. Like, he's always put up good numbers, but we'll see on a real team now, like, what, what he is, you know? Yeah. Got a bet here from Julie, a call. Titans are going to be really good. Board pairs. Uh, With Julio. Uh, 
I actually just recorded a new podcast yesterday. It'll be out tomorrow. And I had a I had the sports betting expert from Pro Football Focus on it, going over all his favorite futures bets for the year. Ooh. Any spoilers? You know, I'll, I'll give you I'll give you a spoiler later in the show. George is playing, but this guy crushes. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't, I mean, he's not a tout, he doesn't like, but he just crushes. No, I had a, I had a draw. Right. You know, he uses the data at Pro Football Focus to come up with, you know, uh, the best spots, the best value. Where can people listen to this? Under the Gun is available everywhere. Apple, CrushLivePoker.com for free. It's free podcast. Give it to me and I'll give it to Louis for you. Wherever you listen to your podcast, it's out there. Right. But it'll be out, uh, it'll be out tomorrow. I can change it. 1,700 for base I like no, I like the ring. I'm starting to mean to tap you. I like 17 defense, behind, you know? Because I want to yeah. watch them a couple games. That's yeah, why I their, their defense is, is good. Last time was interesting. No one flopped anything. I like those those three-handed pots where no one flops anything. Whoever wants it the most gets it. And if Julie took charge on the flop, folded out a better ace. And then George just... Did a little stop and go on her and, and took it down hey, Louis, on the turn. If you want to, you can bring my food there. I'll eat it really quick. These players yeah. are just getting better and better Ready. here. Yes. Uh, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. It's kind of funny when you. Um, yeah, I'll eat it over there. I'll eat reading it really quick. Doyle Brunson's Super yeah. System many, many years yeah. ago yeah. No, no, when no, I first no, got, got into yeah. poker. And, you know, he talked about how he used to just print, basically, because there were a lot of pots where nobody had anything. And. He was the one who would fight for him, and he'd get him. Uh, obviously, that's that's changed today because a lot of people fight for those pots. Dude, Jen would be pissed. For sure. You're wearing that shirt. Man. That's the default these days. You're hiding in the USC. Yeah, man. I turn it around. Just yeah. George just called a thousand dollars with seven six suited. You should tell her to put on the stream. For so the he's first a fighter. Time just to watch you disrespect yeah. the school. He's gonna have to fold like here. Yeah, don't know what Jeremy has. Well, one good thing about no if the cards don't, don't go exactly in the box going, where the RFID reader yeah. is, <laughs> then we don't pick them up. <laughs> and you don't have to give like it's the nicest exact. boss. Like, something? not no. great, but yeah, you know, my <laughs> wife is good. Yeah. yeah. How are you? I'm so grateful for my life. Yeah. <laughs> George could have continued against. Cramps? Are you feeling yeah. better? A different exactly. player, right. uh, but not against. George. How's your day at work? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I took. He has too many repairs in there. Gotta, Especially if you're stuck like you gotta, 60. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. No, if I'm winning, I care about her. You death. care, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I'm stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? Yeah. You know, How was yoga, yoga was exactly? Yeah. How was yoga? How was yoga? Yeah. 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 So you'll get like the text about like, so for the welcome dinner table three, like, can we sit these two <laughs> people together? And you're like, yeah. listen, I'm about to lose it all here. Like, <laughs> This guy <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Francisco raising up George with jacks. How many, how many people is your wedding going to be? So we're doing it very small. Cause we're doing it at a private estate, so it's like uh, uh, 75 people. Uh, nice. yeah. you oh, another action flop here. Top pair for Francisco, middle no, set for like George on what is a wet yeah, board. This Somehow, is going in. She's still oh yeah, Francisco's only got 8,700. Yeah. I feel like you're like me, the type of person that would want to have some input in it. It's a really good bet after three betting and flopping a set. Your first instinct is to trap. I like it. You like the sizing? I like it. I was going to say, if you didn't see the, the players, what they look like, you couldn't tell the difference between Garrett and George right now, the way they're playing. I'm, I'm not I'm not joking at all. Um, one, two, three, like four. I'm not happy about it, but I'm... Maybe four, five, something. I'm all in. Garrett style. There it is. That was a very comfortable all in from George. And I, I think it's certainly raised Francisco's eyebrow, but I don't think he can fold anyway. He's only got 5,700. It's getting, you know, right. a little bit less than three to one. It's one of those, I'm probably behind, but I can't fold. I think they're fine. Yeah, George is also comfortable because he's done very well in life. That's the problem. If it was a, someone taking a shot, you could think about uh, folding there. He had me. One time. One time. Oh, some outs there for Francisco. Does not get there, though. Trip Queen's not good enough, but George fills up. Very good hand. 
I, I, I saw Queen, I still won, right? Yeah. What? Nice turn! There's a lot of oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The There's no Queen there. The yeah. 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 Thank you. Francisco felted, so we've seen two players felted today. Wow, huh? No, I have. I have right now. Well, let's go. See that little chocolate chip? That's a 5K. The green ones are 1K, so it looks like he's got about 19 and 1,000 in front of him. Me watching a lot of video, you know. Yeah, yeah. You too. 19,000. I like it. No, it's again. One day, set? Uh, one all in. <laughs> <laughs> right, but at the set... Garrett taught I me that it, too. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. George, I don't want to show him. Set all people in. will check. Yeah, yeah. 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 you don't want to check that. Let him catch up, right? Let, let him, if he has a queen, he's going to call it. Yeah. yeah. When did you meet? Yeah. So. yeah. George is coaching up Garrett a little George, bit. Right. Yeah. He called it. A little rusty after his vacation. <laughs> Put it in there. Give me 2,000. Why? Yeah, I will. Right. You want purple or not? Yes. Give me 500 purple. Okay. Yeah. And I okay. So you're going to be first up? I can give you change too if you want some, Francisca. Yeah. Once again, you're watching the big game here Friday night. Oslo Casino Live. DJAF, David Tuck and Call in the action. I hate when people do that to me, but I always do it. And just uh, heaps and heaps of money on the table, and it's only going to get bigger. I don't like getting changed from the person that just felt to me. It's superstitious. I don't or got felt it because these are bad luck chips. Yeah. I don't like that. What do you mean? That's lucky money if they just felt it, yeah? No, no I know. I don't take chips don't from the person who felt it. Like, I don't, I'm oh. just superstitious. That's, I see. I think the other way. Think... Hold on. Are you a little Dicky fan? Really? <laughs> Not really. Yeah, Jeremy's brother. Man, I don't dislike, but yeah. I think Jeremy's friends with him. His brother is Benny Blanco, the producer. Just me and the doctor. Anyone want a drink? Sure. Got a, a, an interesting little double gutter for Barry. There are two diamonds out there. Yeah. Keep coming. You can hit a nine or a king. I love those kind of hidden doubles. Barry's gonna bet it. George looks like he's gonna let this go. Maybe he's got the queen of diamonds as well. So. Be a pretty tight lay down. No, he's gonna call. No eating, no eating at the table, sir. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't know about this one. You're all right. You're all right. Well, you're all right. For forever, you know, like when you first were able to play poker and like, check, doctor. You had to wear your Let's see if uh, the doctor fires again. Nope, he checks. Yeah. Takes the free card. Entire meals at the yeah. table, you know. Now let's see if he represents. That, it didn't matter because I eat so fast. Going, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I eat that fast. He's the anti-Chris. Nope. Yeah, once you check back the turn, you kind of you kind of gave up. Would you prefer a bet on the turn then? Leave your options open to keep firing if the diamond comes off. Well, you you saw what I saw and what what Barry probably saw is on the flop. George lifted up his cards and he was about to get rid of them. So he he showed weakness. If you if you look at that, I do like uh, barreling this thing. It's a diamond. Garrett doesn't straddle. Yeah, that lifting up of the cards and then calling, it's like one of two things. It's either exactly what it appears, which is weakness, or immense strength. And I think in this game, it's way more likely to just be weakness. Yeah, we got a round. We're going to do a round. Yeah, what, George seems like just a pretty honest guy. He's winning yeah. a bunch. He's, he's not going to he's not gonna go to that level right now. I don't think so. I think we got ourselves around here. Yeah. If you guys are enjoying the show, please hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. We are doing this show Monday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Pacific time. My man, TGAF, has been here all week crushing it. If you guys missed any of the shows, they are all archived on our YouTube channel. We won't harass them for the likes, but if we get to, when we get to a thousand likes, a thousand blue thumbs, I will tell them a Garrett and Johnson story from before Johnson won the, the main event. I like it. Okay, so it's story time if we get a thousand, a thousand thumbs up. Yes. I mean, we're going to get them, but if they want that story, they need to... And then, and then I, I have endless stories of Garrett. I'm not afraid to embarrass him. I'm actually amazed that I've never had you on my podcast. I don't, I don't know why. I, I don't even... Hey, George. King seven hits a king on the turn. Three spades out there. 
Pardon me? Yes. Saya? Saya, she approved she today? Come. She can come. Garrett, no, now checks. she approved you be here? She can come. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> check. Come. Check, check. River's a blank. <laughs> here comes a tiny bit. When you say tiny, what do you think? Like 1,100? Mm, maybe just a thousand. Yeah, you're right. Oh, he's oh. had a lot. Oh! I thought for a second I saw it was two chips. It was 1,100. I was going to drop the mic and just walk out. I, I think it's too big. But then again, Garrett has that image where people just, any pair they want to call here. It's kind of right in the middle for me. I would have gone smaller or bigger if I thought you couldn't fold anything to me. Is it a good fold? What do I know? I'm going to see it anyway. It is. Garrett wasn't lying. It was a good fold, George. We're good friends. Who is it? There's a legend right there with a nice bag. I've played with that gentleman a ton, too. I know a lot of the chat's going to be angry, but I'm not at all. That looks like Armenian Mike. That is. That is indeed Armenian Mike. Uh, certainly a staple in the LA poker games. I'm going to stand next to Mike because I think he's got a cover. He made a mistake one time. It happens. I, I've made a mistake before, have you? I said if a I've never made a mistake. But I, I mean, listen, I mean, right. I understand it though. I empathize when people do make mistakes. Right. Right. Well, you can't empathize. You can sympathize. I've played a ton with Armenian Mike. Please, He's got a big please. heart. I'm happy that, that people aren't holding him, uh, holding a grudge against him for too long. Ace, 10, seven, two diamonds out there. Gut shot for Garrett. He's gonna bet, not gonna get through. Jeremy's gonna call at least once with ace, nine. No, in all seriousness, though, I mean, listen, we're all human. We all make mistakes. I mean, I'd like to think that, I'd like to think that nobody is judged by their worst moments, their absolute worst moments, because we all had them, right? You know, I think redemption is part of life. And another truth in the poker world, especially the high stakes poker world, the more action you are, the more the more you can get away with. It's just, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, if you're like that nitty annoying guy and you pull that, you're done. But, you know, if you're a friendly guy and you and you give action and people want you at the table, then, you know, they give you a pass once in a while. Yeah. That was a pretty tight fold right there for Jeremy. It really was. But you know what he's thinking? 2,200 on the turn. I don't have a diamond. What's the river bet going to be? No ever you got to be careful with this. <laughs> Take a look at the chip counts here. I Get a new dealer like in the box. Garrett with 130. George with 45. Julie with just 8,400. Yeah, I, I don't feel wonderful. <laughs> Take that happiness and get out of here. Yeah, go have a smoke. What's up, man? It's been a minute. How are you, dude? Pretty good. How are you? Good, good. What's up, Jared? How are you doing? Garrett up a cool 29.5, George up 15. Everybody else pretty much down. Barry uh, really just that one hand. You know, he lost 22,000 with a set of sevens. 60% equity. Poker. I don't know when you guys do it. The collection? No, I think we did just the tip. <laughs> that thing come out right. We just the tip for Lauren. Sure, now it's Nick. Yeah. So it's first card. Now it's both. How much is it today? Uh, Francisco's run poorly today, but 14 a person maybe, or is it more? I watched him play all day yesterday, and he has gotten so much better than just a few years ago. I expect that he's going to do some things in this just game. Just put a six out there first, would you? Have you been playing much this week at Hustler? I played a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. How how have the games been? Uh, good. We we had a five five ten one night and a five ten twenty one night. Nice. And funny you asked the general manager here. Sean is very committed to blowing up this poker room, and whatever game is on stream is going to be soon is going to be spread 
out in the regular part of the room. I don't think there's any question. I mean, Hustler's already a really nice casino. I've played a lot here. Queen high flop. Looks like eights are still in the lead, and they are. That is Nick in the big blind with pocket eights. This was a straddled pot, by the way, 1950 in there. I, this has already been, a, it's a great room. It's, it's very freeway accessible. It's eight miles from the beach. The food is amazing. The people that work here are great. And yeah, as you mentioned, you know, Sean, who's general manager here, is committed. I, I, I don't think there's any, any way that this poker room isn't very shortly, if it's not already, the premier place to play poker in LA. Yeah, he, he's going to give people discounts at, at hotels, from people from out of town. Look at this, Jeremy with the delayed aggression, the delayed testosterone. Last hand he folded that top uh, pair and made him with six. Of spades, huh? So he's Jeez. going for it this hand. And so uh. Nick's got a hand that he probably can't go to war with. Two eights without a spade and sure enough, flicks those cards in the muck and Jeremy takes it down. Do you do that sometimes? You don't like a week you play the hand so you play the next one strong. Yeah, I mean we're all human, right? 176 total, I believe. You guys do uh, 50 tip, is that what you say? Yeah, is that right? Yeah. How are we doing? Do you know? 50? It's 50, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Who, who got it? I win. Oh, you won it. You didn't, you didn't even hear me say what I said. I said put a six there. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I said put a six there. I didn't even know it came out. I, was, I stopped paying attention. We're talking about time flop. The card far furthest to the left decides who pays the collection for the half hour and the tip. So you mentioned it. Mike in the game now. Yeah. So we are playing eight handed. And I didn't think he played this big. So. This will be, um, I mean, I knew he played big. I just didn't, I didn't know he played this big. I'm intrigued to watch him play. He's extra stylish today. No doubt. Three ways. Queen, 10, 8. Francisco with a pair of tens. Garrett with the overcard and the gutter. And Francisco over bets the pot 2100 into 1850. Just not messing around. I don't hate it. A lot of draws available. You got Garrett to fold a bunch of equity. Yeah, I love White Lotus. That's a really good one. I want to thank you all for joining us here at the big game. We are at Hustler Casino. This is Hustler Casino Live. DGAF, David Tuckman calling the action. Playing 50, 100 with a $100 big blind ante. And then, of course, straddle as well. Got a $200 straddle in there. You're not one of us here. I think, I think a lot of us here are men who don't like to be told what to do. Is that a no, no, no. Yes. You're the big star. You can tell us no, what to do. Come on, come on. <laughs> really, really and guess what's on? Loves when you tell that $200 straddle that you predicted earlier on. You know You're a star, I, kid. I actually, <laughs> so <laughs> Armenian Mike's going to call. Yeah. Julie's going to raise That's this up. Julie is not very deep yeah. relative to. The blinds, the ante, and the straddle. This is what makes Garrett so good. Having a conversation, being social, and just a casual three bet against reading correctly that she's going to be very wide against Armenian Mike's limp. I assume she's she just jammed this. I think she's got a little bit more than our 7,600, we say. I'm looking at the stacks. Looks like she's probably got closer to, say, 96. Still jam. Right? Okay, so apparently she's got 17-6. Oh. Now what do you do? Let's start together. That's an awkward stack in this. 
Yeah, that is a really awkward stack. So she started the hand with 20K. Yeah, I mean, she certainly cannot fold. She's gonna call this. She thought about everything though. You could see you could see the wheels turning. Queen six three. Garrett <laughs> on the free roll with the King of Clubs. And a tiny little bet by him. And I think Ace King versus Ace King. It's gonna be Garrett's who's going to uh well, maybe not so quick. Wow. Board pairs. Julia with a uh, stack to pot ratio of one, pretty much. And Garrett says, You want it, you got to put it all in. This would be a pretty incredible call. Unlucky flop for Julie. And she's gonna use that little time chip. How does he know? I don't know, you're friends with him, you tell me. Uh, I don't know, I can't figure it out. This is a really tough spot for him. He doesn't have the ace of clubs. He has the king of clubs. What does she have that she called the, the three bet and the flop with? Francisco, where were you born? Mexico. I mean, I guess, is it a case of, okay, what kind of hands is she raising, flatting my three bet from out of, you know, in position, then calling my raise, and, you know, calling my bet on the flop and not moving all in with. <laughs> Julie reaching in her, uh, her bag for some more chips. You see that on the left side of your screen. Yeah, you owe me 200. Garrett up somewhere in the neighborhood of 40,000 now. You take 150 or what? Hey, I'll take 100. Does this rattle? Yeah. I don't know how much I'm adding on yet. Hold on. Sorry, I have right now. Julia with pocket fives. I feel like it's like the third time she's had fives today. She had five yeah. twice, sixes 4K. once. 4K. 4K. Has she started that hand effectively 100 big blinds deep? You could jam. It's a lot to jam ace king, even against Garrett. I think she played it fine. It's just a horrible flop for her. Garrett's going to call with sixes. Jeremy's in there as well. Ace high flop. Jeremy with a pair of tens and a gut shot. Julie checks. Probably going to check through one more time. Mm. It does. Pot is 2,000. If anybody takes a shot at it. Nope, Jeremy's going to win this one. Nondescript hands. Hit me. We were dead the whole way. Yeah. I'm get bored to bet. Arminian Mike, right? Thank you. <laughs> yes. I think his name's just Mike. Love you. Huh? <laughs> this is Russian Mike. I know, Mike. man. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah. Mike, you gonna straddle or no? Thank you. <laughs> My man. People are asking where they can hear 
uh, the podcast I did with Garrett. I did a G-Man week, uh, but they got they got to sign up. They got to get on my uh, behind my paywall. They want to hear that, unfortunately. I feel like I'm the straddle cop. No, yeah, usually I am. Sorry. You can take it over anytime. Yeah, yeah, I will. I will. My fault. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the least I can do after binking the three, right? Yeah, binking everybody's better. Julie picks up two red ten. She's going to raise. Jeremy's going to certainly play this. Just a question to be three bets or just calls. He's just going to call. It's a thankless job, though, right? To say the least. <laughs> There's no upside. Yeah. <laughs> Armenia Mike makes the call as well. Three ways to the flop. Pots 1950. If somebody wants to pay for your podcast so they can get a hold of that one, how do they? Here's a king, by the way. Armenian Mike out flops. Two better hands. Julie has to bet here. 900. 900. So how can people get a hold of your podcast? They can go to patreon.com backslash DGAF poker player. I've interviewed a lot of people. Um, over the years, I'm in season four right now, and yeah, I did I did five five uh, drops Ooh. with Garrett. Oh, this is a tough run out for Julie. Julie is running poorly. Yeah, I mean she's got to be thinking, okay, well, I mean I block straight draws, but I mean five six, an eight, she's gonna check it here. And I mean, are you betting for value? You always run one? No, wow, she did uh, not I bet. I prefer to, but that's why I said that. I would have value owned myself there for sure. Uh, yeah, that was that was. I just like the other guy. That was pretty amazing. She, didn't, I, I thought I she gave her a the, ton of credit, right? She would bet the turn once, and yeah. then just I've learned, turn small and then just yeah, yeah. I've check it back over on the river. Time, uh, some people don't love that, and I'd rather like be amicable than run once. Right. But if we're ever in, we'll just run once. Done. Done. Yeah. I mean, discussing running it once or twice. I, yeah, I'm definitely losing. I give give uh, Julie yeah, all the credit in the world. To, yeah, I'm definitely I'm losing one more street of value like on that one. If it's sure. small, I really don't want yeah. to. Yeah. I know. I just like the people to be consistent. That's my thing. Yeah. Some guys like run once when they have the better hand. It's just like so annoying. Yeah. yeah. Garrett prefers to run once, but he realizes, as a top pro, he needs to do what the other guy wants. I thought his answer was perfect. You know, Barry asked him, what do you want to do? He said, I prefer once, but I'll do whatever you want. Barry said, well, do it. Okay, well, let's do what you want. He said, okay, once. And they will be all in again. Yeah. I mean, and, and again, listen, this is not, you know, this is not their first rodeo. And it won't be their last. So whether it's tonight, whether it's next Friday, whether it's two months from now, it'll happen again and again. Garrett picks up a pot. Pretty good flop for eights against Jack-10. Nothing Francisco can do there. So much luck in poker, so many different ways. If I just decide to call there, which I'll do sometimes, turn bricks, you go all in, I fold, hands over, you know? He's talking about the 6-5 of clubs hand, which I would have been inclined to just call. But I love it though. You can play the same hand. I don't know what those stacks were. I, I'm not sure he would have to fold the turn. That one I feel pretty confident saying like you could do either, like call or go all in, and then the difference in dollars is huge. Yeah. And that's interesting that he says that. So I wonder if it's some sort of like randomizer type thing in his head where he's thinking, you know, 50% of the time I'm going to go all in with this, 50% of the time I'm going to call with it. Well, especially because the whole deck's like a scare card in PLO, right? Yeah. yeah, seriously. What are you saying on the turn one? I would, uh, uh, like if I just called his raise on the flop, the turn was a brick, and if he just goes all in, I just like, have to fold. It's hard for him to call yeah. it. Yeah. You're saying like the way you? Like you're in my hand. When you I think on. it's either none or very little or, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He no, also, Garrett like also hates talking strat, but he also like knows that he has to occasionally of the hand. throw yeah. people a bone here and there. Yeah, if, you, if you don't want to ever, just all good. I just that hand. A little bit of something for everybody here. Armenian Mike with a pair and a straight draw. Francisco with the jack. He's got a straight draw as well. Again, George, yeah, thing I was telling straight Don, draw and a pair. Once, but if you'd like to go twice, no problem. Okay. I couldn't remember. Francisco's going to raise here. 
Unless it's small, right? Yeah. yeah. But for my stack, you'll get What's that? For my stack, you'll get yeah. yeah. You're like, that small no, stack? Like George calls. And you want to go twice. Wow. Minnie and Mike's going to give it up. Yeah. Pot 4600. <laughs> and Francisco hits a pair. That's not what he wanted to do. No, it's not. I just said that since Nick's eating, I'll wait till he's done to go eat. Oh, is that where he is? He's yeah, but I didn't want to leave the table at the same time. I felt like, yeah. keep, let's keep. I think that's good to have one person. Yeah. It's too many. I'm just saying it because other people should do the same. Yeah. Is George thinking about the Mirage right now? Or just eat food. Yeah, that is. Two thousand on top. I was going to ask you, I was yeah. thinking my, I'm thinking to myself, this is always just a call, right? But George, finding value in it with two diamonds and two spades, right? Yeah, since since there are two flush draws out there. Um, and, and Francis is not, they're not super deep where it could be a huge blunder. I don't mind the raise. I love Jelena's. But personally, probably would have just called. One of our go-tos when we have uh, like guests in town, like Juicer, Juicer, Jolina, just because yeah. like if, Juicer, when someone bets uh, the turn in Francisco's spot, they're Juicer usually Juicer bluffing. Like, Where's yeah. that one at? Very close to it. Close yeah. to it. It's like around the yeah, you should definitely around. check it out. Yeah, Abbot Kinney's a good place to take visitors. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah, I think it got voted like the or they have you at least tied. Like Street in America. Yeah. Like a few years ago. It's on you, George. When you get a chance. I heard you guys talking about um, whatever it is, like Bestia, if that's what's pronounced, in Babel. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, the Mediterranean one, I, is it called Babel? I don't want to be mispronouncing it. Anyway. Yeah. I, I think that one's. Babel or Babel, I love it. It's incredible. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I love that one. But I like Mediterranean food a lot more than Italian yeah. anyway, so I think that's Can like part of it. Can you my phone for me when I go yeah. to eat? Yeah. I think if I could eat one food every day for the rest of my life, I'd determine it would be Mediterranean. It's, it's pretty awesome, yeah. Well, I love it, and you have like well, the Jake, most yeah. healthy options. Sure. Like, yeah. like, I love sushi, but I couldn't eat it every day. 400. That bread at Bavel is, oh my god. George betting his flush draw. So many things there. Mm. That's middle they have the duck hummus. They had their yeah, duck hummus. I didn't have that. Yeah. We had a few like of them. Duck. Yeah, of course. Like Someone in chat uh, just retold a story that I've told on my podcast about Garrett. I love him. Where he went for it. We were playing together. He went for it. All streets. And, and the guy called him. And he announced yeah, 10 high on just a board where like 10 high was ridiculous. No, I haven't been there. And I'm, I'm Lebanese. I just, I was at the uh, table and we were good friends. Yeah, and I just yeah. looked at him. I said, was there at least a good 10 high? And he just started nodding uncontrollably. And, and he showed the 10 nine for the nut 10 high. I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah. And just didn't care that he had punted off, you know, 10K plus to, to someone. I, you know what? I got to tell you, when people bluff out there, and if you play poker, you're, you know, bluffing is part of the game. Yeah. I've been there. So good. You see yeah, good yeah, players when they get right? caught, they just proudly turn their hand over because they know that's yeah, part of the so game. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I just don't understand the whole like, you know, being sheepish about it and kind of, you know, feeling stupid. There's nothing to feel stupid about. That's part of the game. And we're all stupid sometimes too. Yeah, nothing wrong with that also. King high flop, Armenian Mike with a pair of jacks, Garrett with a gut shot. He's got the ace of diamonds as well. I'm curious to see how he plays this. He bets it on the flop. Gets called in both spots from George with the ace nine. Turns a blank. It's a pretty ambitious call by George. With a player to act behind him. Wow. And Garrett's going to fire again into two players. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I've heard of it though. I heard it's really good. It has that Gets the ace nine to fold. You know what place is good? It's Cassia. Have you been there? They have that thing they have also at Avra, which is like that little dip. Have you been to Avra? And he gets no, two he better hands to fold. I'm a restaurant list, and I'm okay. not kidding. Like, I love finding new places. I know, I told Brian about Matsunisa in here. Like, okay. me and my fiance okay. are big foodies, and we're always trying to find new spots, so if you have any, y'all... Whenever you feel like driving to the South Bay, every once in a while, let me know. I've, 
10 yeah. places that oh, I love. Yeah, Where? I'll ask you. For... All over? All over Manhattan Beach, Hermosa. One of them is a place called Nick's. I think I mentioned that to you. Yeah. It's got to be a bar and grill. Amazing. Right? I yeah. want this list. That's exactly right, yeah. Super good. Nick's. The, Nick's that's is what, as what, American as that's apple what, pie. You're going to spend the Nick's money? Yeah. <laughs> Nick's money. <laughs> Nick's, yeah. Yeah, come here. Yeah. That's perfect. Every time I go, is, is Bertucci here? Or? <laughs> no. No, every time Trying to get me a free dessert, you know? Straddle not on in this hand. Okay. Armenian okay. Mike just calling. Okay. How much is that? Yeah, it's fine. Nikki's Pizzeria. Be it. Nick, let me get you squared away here. What do you want in change? Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're in the hand, so. No, I don't care. You know, you can give me 3,000. Yeah, of course. You know, give me change. Yes. That's the bank. Pretty good sizing for Nick. I'm almost positive you've seen this, Garrett. Shake of the head from Armenian Mike. No, I've heard it's uh, awesome. Yeah, because I was I just uh, in Costa Rica. And a good fold from our medium too, so yeah, They yeah, talked about that. that the whole trip. Yeah. No. Yeah, you must watch I heard it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Really good. And it's very uh, free solo ish. Yeah. Nice. Free solo is one of my favorite movies. Yeah, that's what That I one's was, incredible. That's yeah. it's, it's basically the free solo of surfing. Yeah. 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 I thought it was so good. I haven't seen it yet. The guy is so nuts. And his name's Garrett, actually. Is guy. it really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Garrett. Uh, McNamara is his nice. name. I always get excited about that because there's not too many Garrett's, you know? This guy is a badass dude. I mean, anybody that's going to surf up. What's that? Oh, against, my, against all my wishes, huh? Oh, I didn't know that. No, no, I don't care. Garrett punted on Survivor, if you didn't know. Uh, um, I have never, ever seen even one episode of Survivor. I mean, I maybe in my entire life watched a grand total of like six minutes and 21 seconds. Yeah, he had... I, haven't wa I only watched a little of his, and he, yeah. had, he had something that can keep you safe. I don't know what it's called. And he didn't bring it to the meeting, got voted out, and... So it's like uh, he was a huge favorite to not get voted out, and he got voted out early. Maybe, the, maybe the first one on his group. Wow. <laughs> no one ever made fun of him for that at the poker table. I promise you. Nobody. No. There have been a lot of poker players that have kind of, you know, been on whether it's Survivor, or Amazing Race, you know, those reality type shows. A pair of kings here for George with a straight draw aces and a straight draw for Julie. You can see the percentages in the bottom left corner of your screen. Plus their stack sizes, their positions in the hands, so forth and so on. Once again, thanks for watching us. Hustler Casino Live, Monday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Pacific time. It has been DGAF's week. If you guys missed any of his shows, check them out. They're all free on our YouTube channel. It was fun getting my feet wet this week. Thank you and Nicole and Mark for the you were guidance. Great. Honestly, I mean, you were fantastic. Natural. Not surprised at all. Uh, Julie's going to bet 2600 here. George is at least intrigued. I wonder if he's thinking about bluffing her. I'm going to pay you how much? 26. Instead, he's just going to call. Pot is 94.50. George looking for a king or a jack. It's a queen. I imagine probably goes check, check. Who knows? Thank you. I think so, bet a little. I'm wrong. I have a king. There's king. There's Jack. 
I think she should be betting there. Yeah, when I when I saw the, what she did with the tens earlier on, you know, there are some players out there that are kind of when the pot gets to a certain size, I guess they're just content not value betting super super thin. Mm -hmm. it, it's fairly thin. She can only get paid off by a king, but right. his hand seems a lot like a king. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it, She's not going to value own herself very often. He would at least think about leading if he had a queen. Armenian Mike with sevens, Francisco with queen jack. A lot of limping from Armenian Mike. Nick with eight six, he's going to raise it up. 600 this time. George in there with the ambitious ace three off suit. Pot just over 2,000, three ways. So have you seen Hacks yet? Did we talk about that? I love Hacks. Hacks was great. Great. And then uh, on our flights, we watched, um, uh, what is it? I'm forgetting the name now. I don't expect that. It's on Netflix and it's about uh, like two lesbian chicks. They're both bisexual actually. Do you know what I'm talking about? Sure. Free Can something. Can somebody bring me a coffee? Good fold. You know what I'm about? Yeah. Yeah, Louis. Just watch no, the whole no, no, no. So Armenian Mike, after she's limp calling the raise, decides to lead out with you know, sevens. Well, For pot, right? Uh, I haven't seen it, yeah, but I, I know. I think Rejection that's by the dealer. She's the writer, producer, and star. Right, 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 right. Anyway, I think you'd like it. It was really good. Okay. I saw that. Uh, right? I didn't Is it British? No. No, uh, -uh. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And the, I do. the yeah. leader name's May. In real yeah, life, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I don't remember um, what it's called, but I know what you're talking about. That's HBO cool. is like at a point where I feel like you don't even really need to know much about a show. You just turn it on, and it's always going to be pretty good. That's great. It's going to be somewhere between like pretty good and incredible. Okay, yeah, I feel like every time. Yeah, it's really hard these days yeah. with uh, brands to. I wouldn't say that about any other um, company, Raise like us, streaming like service or whatever. That's like so consistently great at HBO. No, I already know that. See, the my menu. daughter feels that way about Netflix. She's like, if I watch it on Netflix, it's gonna no be good. Way. There's so much trash on Netflix. So uh, much great stuff. Too, yeah, he so much awful TV. Yeah. I guess there's a great. I gotta watch Heal though. I'm now I'm intrigued to watch that show. Yeah, what, what's the, the famous movie that Julie produced? Is it Hell or High Water? Sometimes this stuff doesn't even get promoted. Yeah. Like I had a movie on there, and I don't think, you know, they didn't promote it. But then I, other stuff, they're really good at promoting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Daily Show, The Daily Show, last week tonight, sorry, again did a part three. On the Sackler family. Yeah, I know. Did you watch it? Yeah. So I have it was good, huh? yeah. double yeah, check with sources here. Yes, you were correct. Hello, High Water, and her new show on Star is called yeah, Heels. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be awesome. I can't They're get enough of it. We're also doing a big Netflix miniseries on the Sacklers, and um, there's something coming out on Showtime that's called Dope Sick for Hulu. Okay. That's about the opioids, which it's about, that one's about a doctor. That's what's crazy is. These doctors got manipulated into pushing yeah. it. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. then they have so much guilt, you know. Yeah. It's a wild story. Three thousand. Big bet. It's crazy when you think about George ain't how scared though, I don't think. And how many people it's killing. Yeah. Mm, Barry telling the story that he, he hit trips in the river, right? Not just the death. Right? Like the a lot of people would do this with a hand like ace king. When the when one of the smaller cards pairs, it's just a, a freebie to bet a lot for value and try and have a worse kicker pay you off. Right, Nick? I didn't even hear the subject. I swear. <laughs> I swear it's not even political. We're talking about how great uh, Oxy is. Yeah. Oh, it's great. Oh. Yeah. There's the call. Good call. Good call. Pink. I saw Jeremy walk back, but I'm gonna mess that hand up. 
I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go eat after this hand. I want to thank you all for joining us. There's our mini and Mike, professional jokester. I like it. I've spent a lot of time with him. He has a really good heart. He's very funny. I have fist bump with him probably more than anyone else in LA poker. Get a raise here from Garrett with Queen Eight offsuit. No. Nice George hand. calls. Oh, you just Francisco's in there. Oh, Gets called by two yeah, worst turn hands. Off, uh, have him turn off C2. You don't expect that, right? I mean, you raise with Queen 8 off suit and you get called in two spots. Both hands are worse. This will be interesting. I think in the past, Garrett always wins his hand against Francisco. Francisco is a tougher player now. Let's see if that uh, happens here. Wow. Uh, George is going to take one off. Float. The game's getting tougher. There's a raise from Francisco. I like it. You do? If George had folded, I don't like it. When George calls, I like it. George is protecting you from Garrett saying, yeah, right. I'm going to call here and then put a ton in on the next card. But with George behind, you can't. You beat me every pot, George. Huh? You beat me every pot. Wow. I'm scared about the you, night, no, the no night. Garrett. Huh? And this hand, I'm scared about you, no, really. him. No, no, I got lucky. I'm mean, lucky. Well, I call myself Francisco the Pro because I feel I play more better like a pro right now. And um, I like challenge pro players. I'm on top of everybody because my skills double, triple up, 300%. And I think I'm the best right now. And I think I can play anybody. Thank you. Well, I asked earlier on why Francisco is called a pro, and there you have it. What percentage was he being serious? Rematch, George. He has gotten much, much better. Hopefully, he's being 100% serious. I think he's being genuine. I don't think there's sarcasm there. I mean, I could be wrong, but Barry with sevens. Sevens were uh, uh, his demise earlier on. Flopped the set of sevens up against a straight win. flush draw of Garrett. All the money went in on the flop, and Garrett hit the straight on the river. What a nice group of guys we got here. He made the grave mistake of flopping a set against Garrett. Yeah. yeah How like dare he? I wish I didn't have to leave, but I had to go. Huh? Last night, we have a lot of fun. So, uh, what's okay? I will say this. Whether Francisco is the best yeah, player in the yeah, world I right now or not, it, it benefits like him to think that. that. Right? Yeah, and, and even if he's not yeah, the best the player in the world, the, the this might be the best version of Francisco. It, it clearly is. If you, if you look at his other play this week, it is. But if you sit down with Garrett and you think, I'm just as good as this guy or better, you're going to play better than, oh my God, this guy never loses. So you still got texts. Several people texted me about how insane it was. Raise from George, Jeremy calls. It was like crazy. I turned it off and people were texting me like hands about it more. I'm like, I gotta turn it back on. This Yeah, they did. I mean, it was playing bigger than this game. Way bigger. It was playing bigger than this. It was crazy. I they're talking about Tuesday's game. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't yeah. it? Well, you hear him saying it's like that game was actually playing bigger than this game. <laughs> yeah, Nick, because you were sitting yeah, with you a lot of money. Players that don't fold, that Go to your box. You're right. Challenge Garrett. What were you guys playing? We were only playing a 5-5 five -five ante game with a 50, 50 big blind ante, but it was like nine uh, assassins, like nine kamikazes. It was... Nobody folded. There are multiple, multiple thirty thousand dollar pots in a five five fifty game. So, I mean, I think there was a. Was there a fifty thousand dollar pot? The min open was three hundred, and the ante was five bucks. <laughs> well, there's the fifty. Which makes yeah, yeah. If you put that on the card, minimum raise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 You might as well have been. Pretty standard. The yeah. Old, the old. 60x, 60X yeah. Minimum rate, yeah. Yeah, I'll just make it 6,000. Yeah. There was one raise that was 120 times the big one. It was like yeah. a centered open. Nice. <laughs> I kind of want to play that 5-5, five, five, $50 big blind really, anti game yeah. and, yeah. and raise to like 20. <laughs> I, I would just open for $15 Sorry. and see I, if I, anyone laughed. That's what I mean. I mean, like, 
it'd be so kind of weird and unorthodox. I just wonder how people would react to it. You know? Those guys would just shake their head and put put several. Put 300, right. Those are a bunch of animals. I love That's those what guys. I mean, though. Instead of limping in, I'll throw this at you. Instead of a limp re-raising with some of your big hands, you could almost treat the, the $20 bet as a limp. Yeah, I like that it's unsolved. There's a lot of experimenting to do pre-flop. Right. We saw Ludacris doing that. George is in trouble here. Yeah, for sure. And he just raised, and that's... Hmm. Yeah, Nick with just $9,700 behind and in position on a really dry board. I assume if you're Nick, just call. Yes. Because it has that feel of I'm raising to see where I'm at, or you could click it back one more thousand. Forty-five hundred total. That's a big. Nick basically saying you want to play this hand, you got to play. He might get George to fold the queen. Oh, here. He's gonna fold. He was seeing. He was seeing where he's at. Nick, an old school thing. You on the show? You should be easy on people. I figured. You, I figured you just smelled weakness. Huh? Yo. I figured you just smelled weakness, and you were making a, a move. No, that's no, what I. No, that's no, what I, I think. A, I have a queen. I have a queen. Oh, wait, wait are you folding a queen? <laughs> I mean, I can tell you, if you're Nick, this has got you got to be a little bit disappointed. I'm raising you because you. Yeah, I mean, you you, you do win over a couple thousand in a hand, but you you regret. So you show me your hand, but if you shove, then I know what I'm what I should do. So that means you're folding. I think because now I know what you have. The queen jack, right? Yeah. See. <laughs> Please show a hand work with Queen Jack. Jack. Right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good he right. can't. It's like Daniel Negreanu. He actually at my age. Right. <laughs> he <laughs> might not even get it right. Stuff. Well, he's probably the ace queen. Or you fucking. You're so good. No, 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 no. No, you're pro. You. No, that's no, what no, I had. I'm not pro. I'm not that's pro. what I I'm had. No, he wouldn't say that unless he had. Yeah. That's Jack what I had. You know. That's why. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah. You're like uh Also, you did a great job politicking for the next hand, too. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, George, yeah. the number four yeah. ranked player yeah. from yeah. Lebanon. Yeah. I'm the owner of Stuck 10K. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is according to Lebanon <laughs> Weekly. Yeah, that's right. That's like right. The basketball yeah. That's like good players in Lebanon. This is, this is like an early Facebook. There's no, uh, there's no profits yet, man. Number two. I don't know. Oh, Usually I'm up on the, the top right. ten. Yeah. This year... Just because of I COVID, have no I haven't really been paying attention to the. I mean, I think it depends on the publication well, maybe you're looking a at. Profitable yeah, if I just yeah. call there, huh? Oh, shit, yeah, I'm right. doing everything wrong. Maybe you're right. Or he hits the jack. I know. They were they were pre-revenue, and <laughs> now every company goes, <laughs> yeah. "Well, we'll figure out how to make money." Oh, we don't need the paywall. <laughs> <Yeah>. Subscriptions, <laughs> subscriptions. Everyone just takes that. Uh, just I like this when no one has anything. This is when poker happens. Where he's like. He's like, you Jeremy takes a shot it. at it. You know what? Like a million dollars is a you know I love to fold sometimes. A billion okay. dollars. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't. I never seen that. You are but definitely really allowed to fold. Idea. I like taking these yeah, shots the in the three-way pots. Ace high is gonna have a hard time I mean, calling you. Right? I like it better. And he had some like backdoor stuff. Like He's got a good yeah, image. Hey, you mentioned that the other day. Bluffing into two players as opposed to one. Yeah, you've got to get through another hand, but your bluff is more credible. And it's not just with bluffing. Francisco's raised with 7-3 on King-King-7 against Garrett's C-Bet and George's call. Like, you know, every time I come if George here, doesn't call, lead, Francisco like, raising there, it's going to be very problematic. I forget that that is, but with Garrett like having to worry about the other guy who called, he just can't, he's handcuffed. He has to fold. Him and Ben Stiller. And he's like, you will go to sleep. Yeah. Or I will put Lee Pep here, George, our most active player. <laughs> She's like... Arminian and Mike, a pretty small hurt. sample size. He only joined us about 25 because minutes ago. Garrett on a cool 37%. We're well, eight handed. Garrett up 35,000. He's leading the field. George up 16. Barry, as of now, the player most in the red, down 26,000. Almost all of that in one hand. Relax, just take it. He doesn't have a girlfriend. Well, I mean, that's why you're here, right? He's working you. So, working, girl. Yeah. Like, what's this? Take everything. So Garrett's making about twenty-four thousand an hour. You think that brought down his hourly rate, or? 
Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. I think I saw one of those. It's a pretty good hourly, huh? It's a diamond, that's all I know. Not bad. It's a good hour for him. It's a really good, like, two months for me. Yeah, I mean, sure. So, right? How yeah. about uh, Armenian Mike flopping the flush? Garrett, though, open-ended with the nine of spades. Normally, that less than 1% would worry me, but not with Garrett. I, I think he's got this. <laughs> I mean, if you do, I I'll, I'll give you Garrett. I'll take Armenian Mike in the sand. Check of spades. Wow. Uh -oh. That locks it up. Yeah. The Jack of Spades would actually give both players. And it saves Garrett. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Ten. Well, he's, he's definitely going to value bet here. If he doesn't, he's a god. You like this check from Armenian Mike, huh? Yes. Let the pro value on himself, right? Raise 2500 would, oh, just the cup? Just the tip? Just the cup? Good fold. Pretty easy fold, but... Yeah, Armenian Mike opting to check raise with the ace high flush. Okay, guys, it's going to be and Luis. This hand? I don't like Luis. <laughs> Not here for I want to thank all of you for joining us here. Hustler Casino Live. This is our big game Friday night. Garrett with $135,000 in front of him. Players are playing 5,100 with a 100 big blind ante. So far, the game not playing quite as big as it did last week. But it is still very early. As you look at Francisco. I'm David Tuckman. Joining me in the booth for this week, DGAF. Of course, you can follow him on Twitter at DGAF Poker Player. Correct. And you can also find his podcast. Just search for DGAF. Yep, it's called Sessions. Should be the first thing that pops up. There's a bunch of free stuff and a bunch of stuff behind a paywall. If you have one, I'll have one. Sure. Cocktails. Sorry, I can, I can do the cocktail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Jeremy and I would like uh, each a Bloody Mary, spicy. extra spicy, yeah. extra ice, and extra olives. Okay. That sounds delicious. Action flop. You can bring me his olives. I love him. Barry continues to run bad. Will he get bailed out once in his life? Yeah, and unfortunately, you know, if he hits the five, he makes the straight and George makes a full house. You're eating less these days, Nick. I'm getting worried about you. I am. Just this last week because I just felt I needed to just recalibrate a little bit. 15? Yeah, you were actually. <laughs> I noticed it, I swear. The last time we played, yeah. Three to four. Usually you have, like, honestly. Four to like, five meals? Yeah, seriously. I'm, Mary bets 1,500. <laughs> pretty good ones, too. George is pretty old school. I think he's going to raise here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the clock. Mm -hmm. 10 seconds. Go. This call is good. Caught now 54. Okay. Okay. Barry with uh, pretty much the worst hand you can have. He can't beat the board. I mean, he's got sevens and sixes with an ace. Right. Yeah, good point. Six thousand. Cold. Paul. I have a seven. Oh, that's a good hand. Good hand, George. Yeah. <coughs> that's a very good hand. You guys are no Talk about George's just call there with the seven. It was a six thousand dollar bet in the fifty five hundred. So Barry oh, okay, went seven. over pot. <laughs> There's nothing else to do but call. Oh man, I'm a loser. Because a seven is just a hand that he can have. Pocket sixes. Yeah, pocket sixes. A seven. Uh, you can't get called. If, if you raise, you can't get Thank called you. by anything well well that you beat. You yeah, well done. Yeah, got lucky. Are you a pro, George? 
no, no, no. You know, I, I, I believe it or not, I learned this about few years ago. Like maybe three. But you, you play very good. No. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes uh, I play stupid. Unfortunate spot there for Barry. I gave all my money to Saya. You know Saya. You don't know Saya. You know Saya. <laughs> nah, she's scared. Yeah. Yeah. Nick raising it up with Ace Nine suited. Jeremy's yeah. gonna call. Francisco in the big blinds. <coughs> Calls as well. Queen Jack nine, two spades out there. Four hundred. Interesting bet by Nick. No back doors. Bottom pair. Jeremy calls. Francisco calls. Pot twenty two fifty. Turns a blank. Your own food. Yeah. Yep. Francisco gonna play that check call lead out play here. The old stop and go. Now Jeremy's in a tough spot. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you have to show him like nothing. They don't even care, they just have to say it. Yeah, exactly. And Francisco is going to take that one down. Once again, you are watching Hustler Casino Live. David Zuckman, DGAF here for the ride. We'll be here for the next, I don't know, four or five hours. However long these guys play oh, for. Yeah. And girls. It's like carrot. I can't really let you eat those carrots. Even better, like, you got to keep your mask over your nose. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like you worked at yogurt once we get to 1,000 blue hey, thumbs, I'm, standing somewhere and someone does this I'm going to tell me. a story like, oh about God. Garrett <laughs> and the world champ John Sin. <laughs> Pretty funny story, I think. Don't Just don't ask me again. <laughs> you have a bunch of money and he goes, sounds good. <laughs> Just ask me what? Time. like About the math. About the math. Oh. <laughs> Nick did that every time. He was all about it. He's like, I'll never talk to you again. You did that in Vegas too. You're like, I'm limping. Yes, sir. I'm limping. You were like, listen, buddy. I'm a limper. Come back again. Here's this. Interesting. No, no, right. No, there. Oh. Nick decides to limp. I wonder if that's because Garrett's in the game. I don't think he normally limps. I'm not sure. I, I Come on, man. George is not having it. Nick, like, Punish the limpers, like George. Being like, Excuse me, sir. This and just Nick just breezing right, right by them. Four clubs exposed. Not saying a word. <laughs> I just picture Nick. Your being a, your I mom. Nick being in one of the videos where it's like on the on Instagram where it's a fight between the person. Six security guards are rolling around on top of me. <laughs> George should win this with a bet. Might be beneath him, yeah. Maybe Whole Foods. There's no there's nothing for my shitty diet in there. Yeah. Yeah, Whole Foods might even be worse. Or Air One. Can you picture Nick? And he does. No. What is Air One? If it was a heads up pot, I could see Nick calling there with a backdoor nut plus straw and the ace high. I've been uh, looking for goji berries. With the player behind, he has got to let it go. It's a very nice story. Hey, you guys got an eggplant sandwich? Hey, you guys got brajol in here. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been to Bay Cities in Santa Monica? Oh my god, it's so freaking it's good. What is it? You well, would like that place. I got this one called Amazing the Godfather, sandwich. bro. It's made for you. Really? Sandwich? It's the yeah. best sandwich of Italian it. here. It's like Maybe, Cola, maybe I do need some text from you guys, just all these places, you know? And there's also an Italian grocery there. So What's the name of, oh, name it, it. say it one more time. Bay Cities. Bay Cities. Bay Cities, that's easy. They have like an Italian grocery there with all these Their great Italian sandwiches. Their Italian sandwiches are amazing. Yeah? Really good. All right. Yeah. It's only like 
an hour drive. Mm -hmm. What is man doing? Hey, for a nice Godfather sandwich, he might it's be nothing. Able to get like an Uber. Well, Nick now, now wants to go there. Yeah. He likes the name. Yeah. If Daisy. you're on the west side at any time. Yeah. 300. When, uh, when we were in Costa Rica, like Thank a lot you. of the locals would like come up with nicknames for me and stuff. One of them on one of the tours referred to me as Alpha Macho. Alpha Macho. Which I, which I <laughs> lost, by the way. But I've never met someone who embodies Alpha Macho more than you. More than me? Yeah, in every way. <laughs> that should be your nickname. That's funny. I can work with that. Alpha Macho is a lot cooler than Santa Claus. I mean, so when you were in Costa Rica, Santa. I don't even get it. I was in Costa Rica, nobody ever kind of Santa interesting you never heard of him? Santa because I, I, Antonio won money off me in the bets at Christmas time, so he called me Santa. They love it when Americans speak Spanish. You know, I think it's like a great compliment. Takes it down. <laughs> Go back. Yeah. Just be like, hey, anyone Alpha Macho? Alpha Macho. Come on. Alpha Macho. Good name for a, that's a good name for a sandwich, though. Yeah. Alpha Macho is a great name. Where was this? Where were you here? Costa Rica. How'd you like that? It was, it was incredible, yeah. How, how long were you, did you go for? Uh, two weeks. Wow. I feel like you have to go minimum like 10 days to one of those places. I think so, yeah. I just hate traveling. Me like, too. Yeah, I, I like getting days. there, yeah. So when I go far, I want to go at least Same. Two weeks, yeah. so. I can go like 10 Where'd days. Where did you go this last trip? Uh, three cities in Costa Rica. Oh, that's where you were just looking. Mm -hmm. 300. Have you been? Thanks. Just you and your girl? Uh, yeah, oh. but one of my closest friends got married. So eventually it was a big group of us at the end. I got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Armenia Mike just flatting Ace King. One day we're gonna get you, man. Give me what? Traveling to the other You can get me like to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> in Julie Santa Monica. Aggression. I could see Armenia Mike. Wanna take a 16 hour flight to Thailand? Doing anything she here. No, except and, for full. No, it can't. <laughs> she's drawn totally we'll dead. Stay in a nice hostel she's, together. She's drawn totally dead. <laughs> yeah. Never happened. Oh, Better chance of life. Yeah. She, she travels does. without you a lot, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Same here. That's up now. Yeah. Not uh, with the 16 to 18 hour Yeah. Flight. Just because I don't want to go doesn't mean you can't go. Yeah, yeah. Check. My fiance really wants to go to. I think she's going to bet small here. Nice. Well, that sounds awesome. I want to go to Antarctica. It'd be great. I hope she bets small. Mm -hmm. Looks like a little bit more than small. There's like a. It's called like. Well, I do like a bet. She three bet pre flop. Like crazy. Yeah, she goes about 75% pot like there. there. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of that, but I am a fan of her movie. Well, last time you said that, it, do you think that it's she's betting that big and just shutting down? Like that's it. That's the bet. Yeah, that was a different situation. This, when it's a 6 6 he's either fold, like, you want to protect your equity? You're not bluffing him, though. Huh? A small bet can protect your equity. Yeah, this is pretty much, you know, pot size bet here on the river, a little bit more than pot. I mean, when you bet that much on the flop and you get called, the, the good news is you know that you're beat. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can go back to like, you know, 2002 poker, like, well, we bet to get our information. We got information at least. Yeah, got it. <laughs> All right, I fold, I fold, I fold. Nice good hand, fold. Mike. Have you been? You know what? I've never been there. Yeah. I would like to go. Yeah, yeah. Same Same actually, where I'm from. What do you have, Ace King? Like nice answer. answer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ace King, indeed. Yeah. Hopefully one day. So we got 462 oh. likes, 2,400 people watching. Thank you all for joining us. We're here Monday through Friday, and if you miss any of the shows, they're all free. Never a paywall, always available for free here on our YouTube channel. And someone's in the chat's asking when I'm going to drop that Garrett story. At 1K likes, 1,000 blue thumbs. Sometimes it's, it's like that. Beyonce's been to Morocco and shit. Oh, Morocco is beautiful. Yeah. Looks like a very nice place. Especially that Marrakesh, Marrakesh city. You feel like you're uh, 2,000 years yeah, back. Yeah, she went to a bunch of cities in Morocco. Yeah. There he is, Garrett. Of course, Jeremy. 
top ten. I definitely want to go. I've heard great things. Yeah. Do you ever drink uh, pineapple what's, juice? What's one? Uh, have you, it's just it's uh, so good. Next picture yeah, bowl. This kind of feels like the calm before the storm, you know? Just uh, kind of had a chill evening. We had that the fireworks, obviously, with the sevens versus five, six of clubs. Cooler situation, but you know, absent of except for a few hands here and there, it's been pretty. Pretty yeah, calm. Yeah, Garrett eating was bad for the game. <laughs> Distracted. But he's done now. And so he's ready to uh, to squeeze with king queen offsuit. And Francisco is a tough player these days. I promise you, I'm not joking. Francisco, Garrett, your ATM. For now, again. For now. For now on. No. He didn't even hear me. Does she love it? Is she with Isaac? Love it. Yeah. She really loves traveling and like kind of like she can go really nice or like. What do you guys in the chat yeah. think uh, Garrett's wedding costs? I think it's important to do something. Well, if you were setting a line, what would the line be? You're asking me. Yeah, I mean, if you don't know. Um, if you know, then don't say it. But if you don't know, I'm just curious. I don't know. I'd say 125K would be the line. Okay. I mean, he said it was a small wedding. Only 75 people. But you said the ring was 70K? No, that was uh, George's wife. Oh, l let me start over. Okay. And it, I, I, you know, let's not. Yeah, the ring's not really part of the wedding. Yes. <laughs> no, but if you spend seventy on a ring, the wedding can't be less good than point. seventy. Good point. Good point. <laughs> oh, okay. That changes everything. I'm gonna go with maybe emergency with a fifty. Fifty k. Mm-hmm. What you said? I mean, small wedding. All right, I'll give some good guesses in here. No, he Sixty thousand k. He's like, I can't, I can't. The movie is taking. That's a lot. That's a nice wedding. Somebody says four hundred and twenty-five thousand. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know where he's getting married, but he said it's like kind of like a a, a private estate. It's in California. I mean, it's going to be pricey. Yeah. Well, you can check go over to the locker and Ace is good. Check it. It's just like a table. Just walk around the corner. Whatever you do, do the right thing. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Jeremy's going to bet. Yeah, and he's right doing the right thing. thing. I don't know if that's the right thing. Okay. okay. I told you to check. Yeah, yeah. quite You went 800. 800. I have a seven, but I'm not full for you. The real question is, will Garrett win enough today to cover his wedding? That's what I was getting at. Okay. That's, that's kind of where I was going. He's up about 33,000 today. We've got a lot of time left. Absolutely. Semi-auto here. Thank you. But Garrett's up 32.9. George up 25.3. He's having a day. Armenian Mike joined us late, but it's all been uh, it's been good for him. Up 6,800. Barry and Julie are uh, are unlucky so far, and uh, neither one playing bad so at all. Like Just uh, really some unfortunate okay. spots for both players. Francisco down 11,000 as well. Gene Gluck says uh, 75 people, maybe 40, 50k. <laughs> Seems reasonable. You ever been there? I mean, weddings are pretty crazy. I mean, you literally can spend 15k in a. I mean, you can spend 5k in a wedding and 500k in a wedding. True. Yeah, not as big as Tuesday's game. You gotta go. Yeah, it's an incredible place. It's a jungle in in the middle of the city in the middle of the jungle, right? Yeah. Ace four for Garrett. Do you remember how much your wedding cost? It's like sort of rainy season. I think it was. Yeah. Thirty-five thousand. Yeah, I, I, I think it's reasonable. Because as yeah. they say, in this day and age, thirty-five thousand is, is a reasonable season. number. It was a long time ago. Or I've been you know. still though. I mean, yeah. yeah. How about you? Mine was mine was less. I've been married and divorced and married again. Um, my first wedding was a little bit more money, probably around that thirty thousand number. My second wedding, we paid good. for it ourselves. So like it, it was last it probably, it like you know, more like 18-ish. Yeah. Also, if you really don't like rain, just stay near the beach. It rains less there. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've seen a couple times though. Francisco has. Yeah, great place. Like we've talked about all these places you love, like that are so expensive, like Switzerland and Costa Rica. It's like everything's 50% off. Yeah. So, yeah. I wanted to go to Australia. Mm -hmm. I've been there too. It's awesome. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that, oh, there I want to go too. Right. Yeah. But I feel like there's too many dangerous things to kill you there. Everything's a dangerous <laughs> animal. <laughs> so many dangerous things. It's the thing. Jewish. Coconut hand. Coconut, coconut hitting so your the, head. The poisonous dart frogs and sharks. No, you, you, get, you, get, a, you get a um, tour. You. you get a tour. Cool. Yeah, I mean, you get a nice tour. I was going to say before the players so rudely interrupted me, you've seen Francisco fight fire with fire a couple times, and it's worked out well. I predict a, in an all-in pot no? between him and Garrett in the next oh, no. two hours. Look, look like from here. No, Jeremy's going to three-bet this. I, I don't think Julie's going to fold. No, she's going to call. She's going to 5K behind. 5K more. So yeah. 5,000 more behind there. So Julie actually has Jeremy covered. George is in there as well with 10-9. <laughs> Pot 3,900. An interesting flop. So uh, open-ended here for Julie. George with top pair. Jeremy with a whiff. Not going to stop him from betting, though. This is, a, this is a tough continuation bet, but I respect his heart here. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Board pairs, eights, still open-ended. Since he did opt to bet the flop, this is a great card to barrel on. Check. Any checks? How about New Zealand? New Zealand, this is good. Because everyone that was that hoping to make two pair, game. their two pair would That's be insignificant I want to I against an over pair. Do it together, obviously, right? Yeah. yeah. This isn't New gonna Zealand work either. Is it's got a lot of nah, George has got top reaction. pair. He's got a gut Wolverine, shot. We can so see the gut shot's no so good, but top pair is. 29 total. So 29. Like Pot's now 10-4, 29 to call. This is, uh, okay. Thrilling like stuff. Yeah. we haven't had a ton of, of huge pots, and this is one of them. Yeah, whenever people ask me, like, what's the one country I have to I think to go he's going to call. Jeremy's going to fold. It'll be interesting to see if Julie turns her eights into nice a bluff on a brick that. river. That's a lot of countries. Costa Rica people are so nice. 10 seconds. Wow, he, she doesn't have to. George, let it go. Rewarded for aggression. Show me the river. Show me the river. You got it. You got it. Let me get a river. Oh, I, I know the movie you're talking about. I know the ninth. Maybe I saw it forever. Yeah. Nine, What's that? Nine, 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 she would have got there. Right? Was the river a 10? Yeah. yeah. I think, unless I was just one of his. Yeah. Better. Better, better. Good news. I'm gonna add five. Garrett, up 30,000, getting married in a couple of months, went to Costa Rica. Living the dream. He really Costa, is. I, I'm a fan of Costa Rica. I've been there twice. It is it is a sweet spot. Yeah, I've been there one time. I, I, I loved it. Okay. Yeah. It's early. And it was cheap. It's, it's really cool country, too, because there's so many different spots. Like, if you go inland, you've got, like, cloud forests. You've got, like, the coast where you can go surfing. The, you know, for a country that's not, you know, huge... They've got a lot of different things to offer. Yes, no. agreed. Is Barry going to win a pot today? Yeah, he's had a tough day. Ryan and the nude, but I didn't want to say that. Barry raises, George three bets. You see this? Oh, an Armenian Mike picks up ace king. I don't think George always three bets pocket sixes. It's that same thing of he feels like he played the last hand kind of weak, and now it's time to, to balance that out by being strong in the next one. 
Might be attacking, you know, Barry, too. Barry's having a bad day. The guy who can't win a hand, the, the unlucky guy gets attacked. It's, it's like shark to blood, right? Exactly. I was going to say that exactly. Jack 4 3, sixes are good. I check again. Yeah, it seems like they might be friends and they're going to check down. Yeah. And I'm 100% okay with it. Okay, no problem. My new friend. Two Armenian guys. <laughs> now we are in trouble. Lebanese. <laughs> Lebanese, Armenian, is almost the same. <laughs> They're all the same. I don't, I don't know. I don't agree with that. Somebody's <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, well, yeah, Francisco does not speak for all of us. Sisters, maybe 2,000 years ago. <laughs> well, I don't know, right? Armenian. Armenian, Lebanese. No? I've always thought Francisco's trying to be funny. Maybe he's just inadvertently hilarious. I, I, I mean, listen, I'll take it either way. Yeah. You know, I paid yet. I bought my house from Armenian. I mean, I think I say some stupid things that I, I don't intend to be funny that probably are. So, cool. I actually prefer it when someone's accidentally hilarious. Barry picks up nines now. Okay. I mean, I'm now rooting for the guy, right? Of course. He ended up, like, investing in a pizza place. George is going to call. Like, really? oh, yeah. Jeremy yeah. calls. Yeah, yeah. So the builder and Haracha were, like, friends. Julie suited the eight three out of the big blind. Yeah. No. Good discipline, Julie. Not partners. Uh, but it's suited. Come on. From his friend. Yeah. Okay. yeah? I love and it's only 200 bucks. and Right. You're getting almost six to one. Yeah, it is. She would have flopped top pair. All right, horrible yeah, fold, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Saved herself money because Barry's got nines. And the she didn't go that way. I keep ten thousand. She said, "Francisco, I really need the money." She's always welcome. Does Barry win a pot? George, not yet. George is fighting. Come on, George. Let this guy win one pot. He came over too, and I did a little. George makes the call. Pot's twenty-five fifty. There's the nine. Now Barry checks. George, by the way, has picked Ooh. up some equity. He can actually catch a ten. That would be brutal. Oh. No. It's a three. Queen high. Queen high is not going to get the job done. Barry with a the set. There you go, Barry. Wins a pot. You guys might not be able to hear. I'm, I'm, I'm applauding. There, can you hear that? Nice hand, doctor. Thank you, George. Appreciate it. Yes. Thank you for the words of encouragement. <laughs> We've all been there where our stack looks like uh, Barry's. I mean, look at Barry's stack. It looks like he's playing a tournament. Yeah, I've been there way too many times. It's just it's disheartening. Yeah, hit me up with hit me up with the questions on break. Where where is it? Huntington Beach. Huntington, yeah. Barry picks up deuces. He's going to raise the 300s. Third hand in a row, Barry is raised. This time he's going to face another three bet. So he's raised three times in a row. And two of the three hands he faced a, ra a three bet. Do you see that it's a bigger three bet with jacks than it was with sixes? It's a good read. <laughs> Is that your yeah. medical opinion? <laughs> <laughs> it's your wiener. It's your wiener. Oh, that Bloody Mary looks delicious. Doesn't it? <laughs> Man. Why so much? You don't, you don't need medical. <laughs> Jeremy, is it painful when you urinate? So <laughs> Rather than I like my hand. TV. <laughs> yes. That's a good reason. Yeah. I don't like my hand. Get it through. <laughs> yeah. I like, yeah. Take a look. Take a look. I like this. Have you been a good boy in Vegas? I don't know about this. <laughs> Nick trying to get a peek. I have the lowest you know possible pair, Jeremy, Oh, okay. Hmm. You know if you're a bad boy in Vegas and you I'm not going to tell you what I have, but it was the lowest, the lowest possible. Yeah, I'm, I see it on the stream anyway. Yeah. And you go to those clubs It'll be the highlight of the stream. Like yeah. Then yeah. That will fall off. Oh. That's apparently the Yeah, thing. I don't do that. What happened with this? Like, you, you don't play? play? Yeah. Who? What do we you think play? about a new straddle round? Who? I'm in favor. Uh, I don't like no. it. I love it. They don't play no. They don't play no. Yeah, no, play no, play no, play no yeah, comment about those guys. guys. Yeah. I don't know. Even no, no, no. Oh, no, I think even you're the last one. one. I, love I love them too. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll do one and then like you don't have to do this one because it sounds like people didn't finish on yours. Yeah. 
These guys go way back as well. Garrett, Marmini, and Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not fair. What is that? A straddle? Garrett is just so. Oh yeah, no, it's not a raise. Amicable about it, you know. He's just. He does everything right, you know. I mean, obviously, he plays the game in a way, but he also just. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Presents himself at the poker table the right way. You got to, or you don't get the action. Yeah. There are, are really great players out there that are not getting action. So we're going to do a little straddling now. 9-4 deuce, two diamonds out there. Looks like Garrett's got the best hand right now, the pair of fours. He was in the straddle. Yeah, you? This was limped around, by the way. These olives are so good. Yeah, when it goes your way. Francisco just bet 11,000? No. No. I'm very picky about... I swear to no, you, probably 11, most of my life I couldn't stand Okay, that makes more sense, right? Actually, it was a limp pot. <laughs> yeah, limp pot. And he did bet 1,100. <laughs> well, if that was the case, I might like him too. But. What was it that I said last night? I laughed at something. Any pink. For me? No, I said you. Uh... <laughs> Garrett's getting sick of Francisco in a good way. They're going to they're gonna battle soon. Oh, right. Yeah, no, we were flying with this guy and he said... Just like when, uh, what's his name said, oh, just Julie? Oh, and then I had to bluff him? Oh, yeah, oh I bluff his balls off. By the way, that... Huh? It wasn't just that comment. There were a few comments. Right. Don't you get him. Well, please. No, I mean, I haven't... Listen, I haven't played with him in a couple of years, and he's my friend, but he was like... Uh, yeah, no. uh, yeah. So the straddle is on, and two yeah. hands in a row, we have seen yeah. players yeah. with... Check around. Garrett, can you spread your cards? Ronnie, oh, I bluffed What could hand. certainly be raising hands... Uh, just limp. Yeah. Me and Mike with a pair of nines. Don't know what Garrett has. George has trips. Right. Barry with the only club from what we see, but he's out of there. I hear the argument that that sometimes the straddle kills action, and that's almost never true, except it's been true in the last couple of hands. <laughs> I've made that argument in certain games. I think if players, and I don't think that's the case in this game, by the way, but I think sometimes if you put straddles in and players are uncomfortable playing that big, then suddenly it just becomes a lot of limping. And that's not necessarily a bad thing if you're in the game, because right. you can attack that. But from a you know fan's point of view, from watching the game, sometimes it can actually inhibit the action. It can. It, it's rare. In the last two pots we've had have been straddled and limped. Pretty much the only limps we've seen all day. And somebody else was like, yeah, he does that. And I said to him, we have to talk about this. Oh, I'm the big man. No, what, I busted him because he lied on the stream. It wasn't even a stream, really. It wasn't an actual. Is that a straddle? Julie picks up aces. Oh. She's not going to limp here. Okay. Excuse me, is that a straddle? Yeah. You what? Barry's got sixes. He's going to call. When I use the single fight K, he canceled the last hour. Oh, Ronnie? No, no. Jeremy's going to come in with a suited 10 5. George is gambling. Yeah. So uh, I call George in there as well. Andy. So four ways. Pots yeah. 20, no, what, 2,500? Again, no comment about those guys. Nine, four, four. That is, uh, sure I mean, that's such a that. beautiful yeah. flop for aces. I don't even know the topic. Yeah. I mean, you, are you betting yeah. tiny here with aces? This is one of the rare times where you could, uh, with What's Julie's here, image, right? she could definitely just check. But Alpha Macho doesn't if you have a around, but image like Francisco or Garrett, I'm, I'm, you should uh, definitely I'm, uh, bet Tiny. I'm maturing. Or Barry calls. Alpha Macho? Oh, I love it's it. It's a sick name. Alpha Macho? It's sick. Yeah. What do you call Nick Alpha Macho? Yeah, if you like talk to like, maybe not just a Spanish speaker, but someone from Costa Rica. Because too, the like, turn card's higher than the, oh, the high card on like the flop, the this oh, would be a spot like, to check. Like if it was an eight, you'd be more inclined to bet again. And sure enough, another bet gets Barry to fold. 
Macho Libre. Macho Libre? Macho Libre. 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 Yeah, I, I already didn't like uh, one sizing he chose where I thought it should be their smaller bed. 1500, yeah. yeah. No, I heard about it. I remember it. Oh, yeah, top pair. Oh, it's funny movie. It's actually funny. This is me after losing a bunch of weight. Yeah, I don't know what he would have said. Actually, I do. He called me Winnie the Pooh. Who? Francisco. Uh, uh, well, if we say it enough, maybe we get it to stick. Garrett, my new nickname, you know? Yeah. We'll work it. I mean... I'll make it happen. Okay, thanks. Get on the button with tens. As you were saying, there was, uh, you cut him on. Lauren, tell Ryan up there. On. His name needs so to be Alpha Macho. Okay, I like it. On the graphics, please. Alpha Macho. We can make that happen. Yeah, you want to tell Ryan or you want me to? He heard it, so we're there. I mean, I. I I'd be surprised if that was not in the graphics in the next 11 minutes. You know one thing we haven't seen a lot of tonight, I'm kind of surprised, is we haven't seen any really, like, you know, three-bet moves. They're basically, we're just seeing when somebody three-bets, they have it. I haven't seen any three-bet bluffs. Yeah. I'm trying to remember one. I mean, I'm thinking, I'm just seeing three-bets with they have it, you know? Well, they're still getting warmed up. No, absolutely. It's just surprising that I haven't seen a, you know, I haven't seen somebody take a king four suited or an ace five suited and three bet with a hand like that. Why would you do that? Or squeeze. I mean, what's the difference? You're right. We haven't, we haven't seen a late three bet all night. Like, it was a better call than, yeah. It was a bad call either way. Yeah. pot, I think. What is Nick's name supposed to be changed to? Alpha Macho? Sounded better, you know? I, I think I that's know. what I heard, yeah. Alpha Macho. From watching him on stream, I like he it. He does things that I was like, wow, I never knew this about him. Yeah. He's definitely somebody that my perception of his game changed watching him on stream when uh -huh. he has yeah. versus playing with him live. What was the difference with your perception? I play with him in like those friendly games. So you know it's hard yeah. to say. We don't play 10, 7, 4, 2 diamonds out there. Set of 7s right? here for Francisco. Uh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> Garrett's got a pair of fours. Let's see how this plays yeah. out. Francisco and Garrett have been going at each other. Garrett's pretty much gotten the best of everybody at this table except for Francisco. And it's a wet board. Same way I would never. There's that small bet on the flop. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Garrett actually picks up some equity. He's got a gut shot now. Game. It's nothing that would Francisco will and he bets yeah, 3,000. No, so no sorry, that's right. Armenian Mike. Interesting. <laughs> AM, I, I, I kind of just assumed he folded. I like the aggression. He just got... No, not at all. He got kind of unlucky here. He's just, he's just saying, I got 5-6. That's it. Well, he, he ran into a set, which is brutal. Garrett's gonna fold. Yeah. yeah. All in. There's the all in, and this hand's over. Oops. I don't hate that all in at all. You call there, it's so strong. And if your opponent has 5 6, you just go whatever. You know, if your opponent has 5 6 here, you just you just chalk it up to, you know, unlucky. And you still have, you still have 10 outs. Right? And and he doesn't know Armenian Mike's drawing dead or I think he was drawing dead. Oh yeah. There's only one guy I can think of now. Yeah. Once again, I want to thank you all for joining us here Hustler Casino Live. Hi, this is Brad. Hi, this is Andrew. And we want to congratulate Nick and Ryan on the successful launch of Hustler Casino Live. We also want to announce our partnership with Hustler Casino. We're going to be doing meetup games there regularly. Stay tuned for all the excitement. Make sure you follow Hustler Casino Live and us on social media for all the info. We're going to find out. Later. Is it just me or does it just feel like when Andrew Nimi shaves, he turns into Brad Owen? Interesting. Right? Uh, okay. 
Very interesting. Uh, Garrett up 31,000, George up 24, and change. And then everybody else, I mean, Ian and Mike is basically even after uh, trying that ambitious bluff that did not work. And then everybody else is down. Barry obviously having a, a tough day. Julia's kind of clawed her way back a little bit. My wife said, you can go play poker, but don't lie up there, not here. You gotta get out of your system. Yeah, he needs to say that. Because I'll never forget. Also, he has like a free pass for life. He can just do whatever he wants. Like the first time I played. Immediately, if he gets caught, he goes to no English. Yeah. And like yeah. the first time I played Francisco, every time he's How like, much? oh, that was a bad fault. I yeah. love you. And I was like, man, I'm like, and I go back and look, he just has like a straight flush or something. I'm like, Francisco, you had it? He's like, no. Yeah. I don't he really it. believed yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. Francisco, why that you fall nothing? Yeah. Believe me, when he bluffed you, he show you. Sometimes. You surprised Francisco no folded uh, Jack I eight my suited? Right. I'm a pro now. <laughs> he's a pro. Uh, Francisco you know why I find a good name? Nick, I find a very good name for Yuli. It's, it's so weird to me, I never get it. I found a good name for Yuli. You can put it in. The Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman? Yuli, the Wonder Woman. Uh, I don't know, is it mandatory to straddle? The, yeah. Well, yeah. We, did, we did one no, we, round. We Who started? Yeah, yeah. You started, Gary? Who Garrett. started? Garrett started it. Okay. I think DC Comics owns the copyright is the problem. I'm Wonder Woman. Yeah, Yuli, the Wonder Woman. It's going to be uh, seven hundred. Yeah, if that's the worst it gets. Straddles on. Yeah, Barry's picked up. Barry's picked up a inordinate number of pairs, and unfortunately for him, they haven't really worked out very well. Oh, stop it! It's wait, just funny how can breathe and everything. Garrett mentioned it earlier. How many how how many different ways luck is involved in poker? You know, one day you're hitting. You're getting your opponents to fold. I think like the really small ones are the most psycho of all. And Garrett was saying the big example. pot they played, sometimes he calls, which I prefer, yeah, I and sometimes he goes all in, which he just chose in the one guy goes, for no, big hit. <laughs> yeah. and he didn't no real reason. Yeah. 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 And here again, I mean, Barry, another big that? hand, yeah. and again, just gets out flopped. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, you have a free pass for life. Just do what you want. Why does he get so long? What's that? Yeah. The only fortunate thing for him is that Jeremy did three bet. He would have had to call, he would have lost more. Yeah, I think because he says it in such a beautiful voice. Yeah, and at this point, he won't lose any more, at least. Jeremy bets 1,400, Armenian really Mike calls. Yes. Because with the shit that really matters, the guy couldn't be more of a class act. Right. The guy's never going to owe a guy a dollar. He's never going to wrong someone, etc. So it's like, if he wants to fib about that, like, who cares? <laughs> I'm going to give him bad news again. I think Jeremy just deduced this. Right? Now you you're down 150. It? Huh? You say he seduced it? I said induced. Oh. I mean, he might, he might seduce. I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I don't know what happens behind the camera. I don't know. You, got, you, got, you, got, you woke me up a little bit there. Now you're making me bite. Yeah, there's the call. Okay. And I'm going to say this in the most politically they correct way Jack possible. Mm. Oh, wow. When there is a guy behind you who's a lot of action and prone to doing stuff like I mean the Mike just did. Oh, I'm not gonna sing to you. When you can. That's not Barry awkward opens, you do it. It is when he you does have ace jack of diamonds. <laughs> sing to me. When that guy's yeah, not behind like you, you're inclined to three bet. When he is behind you, oh, you're more inclined oh, to oh, just call. That? Oh, that's funny. And <laughs> if that's what he was thinking, I'll take a beating in the chat got rewarded that, for, for that adjustment. Wait, what? That is such a good point. The chat, no matter what you do. Oh, no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't win in the chat. No matter what you do, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Even you're susceptible. Not much, Not but, really. yeah. but sometimes. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, they get them on like two or three. I won't say what they are, but they get them on two or yeah. three things. They like to. I'm gay. Okay, you said it. And my spray tan. Your bad. spray tan, yeah. And uh, sometimes the. Welcome. <laughs> I stop spray tan. <laughs> you can't help the gay yeah. thing. I don't. I don't know what I could do to convince them I'm heterosexual. <laughs> what if I want to? <laughs> yeah, I don't even. Yeah, just yeah. let them go with it. Yeah. yeah the comments are I, I don't watch them very often, but I, when I do see it. They're not pleasant. That's what I can say. It's tough. Don't look at that. It's tough being out there. Going back to what you just said, it's such a good point you bring up in terms of, you know, 
when players are deciding what hands to three bet with, what situations to three bet with, there's a lot that goes into it. And part of that is just simply, okay, who is behind me? Who's in the big blinds? Do I want that player involved? You know, if there's, you know, let's say there there are a couple of recreation. Do you want to isolate a pro? Say, you know, do I want to three bet Garrett and isolate him, or would I rather let the other players in? I used to do that a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, there are certain hands that will play better even heads up against Garrett. Vans tennis shoes. Ace Jack suited plays well against many players. And if that's what Jeremy was thinking, it depends. All Way on board with that. Garrett open ended oh, here. Totally Hits a nine. Armenian Mike with a pair of queens. I, I don't fit in it, but I would wear it to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I can bring it and drape it over my one of my shoulders. George's had a nice day. He's up to 52,000 in front of him. Yeah, believe it or not. You wouldn't think so, but I was, you know, in my sophomore year. Stuff it in there, Armenian Mike. Uh, Armenian Mike is all in for 3,400. Yeah. Back over to yeah, Garrett. But when you're in high school, it's not like you. If college is no and you impossible, see, if you're not. He, he's got you know. the price. Yeah, he's just getting the right price. <laughs> That's what I'm built for, both of those. I mean, is he ever worried that he's drawing dead though? I like his opponent already has Jack-10. So he factors that in, but he also factors in that like the he has the best hand sometimes. Good point. There are two spades out there. Yeah. So Garrett actually isolated and does not hit. Pair of queens are good. Garrett taps the table. Nice little pot there for Armenian Mike. You're never allowed to fold, George. You win every hand. No, I mean, you're the collection. I knew I was behind. What? Yeah. 200? It's two? Yeah, 200. Yeah, I've been in, in games at the Bellagio, and there's like all of us people trying to make a few bucks in poker, and then there's one guy that has like private jets and whatnot, and he just wants to be in the pots, and he's happy to double up. He's happy to throw in flags at any time, and you open, and a clueless new pro will three bet and just shut the guy out relentlessly. And that's. Jeremy wouldn't do that. I always point this out. I mean, it's it's kind of simple when it comes to poker, in my in my view. But I think people sometimes forget this. Like, you do have to kind of think like, okay, what are we trying to accomplish? with this bet, whether it's a, a raise, a three bet, a four bet, whatever it is, what are we trying to accomplish? <laughs> it's a very good idea to have a reason for everything you do. Right? It's so simple, though. Yeah, but the, the tough part is factoring all the variables, and it's not just ranges. It's, it's yeah. so much beyond that. What is the structure of this game? It is 50, 100, so small blind 50, big blind 100. Big blind also throws $100 in the middle to start the hand. And the straddle is on often. Minimum buy-in, $10,000. Maximum, I think, is a billion. Yeah, I mean, if you want to buy in for, you know, a billion two, we'd probably let you, but we'd have to get management approval. Yeah, the, the floor man dedicated this show, Luis. Is it Luis or Luis? Do you know? I think it's Luis. Luis would have to uh, approve that. Uh, Jeremy with a pair of threes has the best hand. But he's going to fold. Barry bets. I had a pair. I feel like I was good. Barry on a roll. Well, really Let's go, Barry. With that sincerity. Try it. You really only have make three movies and really say, three movies? That's it. <laughs> you just have to handle money. He or she only, she only make three movies. And they, you, he said, what kind of, well, I don't know, talk about money or anything, but he was like, he said I only put his three movies. Julie does have no money. She only makes three movies. <laughs> and the, you guys ever Google that? I like the Julia reaction. Yes. Say, three you movies? You ever check my... Yeah. <laughs> she was so mad. <laughs> Pretty bad. Julie Yarn, man. Academy Jeremy oh, used like to go play with him. Huh? Jeremy used to go <laughs> play with him. With Justin? With that, he invited me one time, and I, ha I have something bad feeling. You, uh, Jeremy went a couple times. Uh, no, no problem. You should uh, Google his name. Wait, you played with him recently? No. See what Not happens. Since the beginning of Yeah, I, I think I know what you're talking about. Remember one time you invited me, Jeremy? It's uh -huh. time for Garrett with to get out of line. Jeremy with uh, Destin? Yeah, he needs a dance partner, though. Not far away. 
Well, Francisco will I, definitely I, dance I, I, with I him. Kind of Francisco is not scared. He would be good for the show, but he's not ever going to play here. But Jeremy's kind of deep. It, it it wouldn't have surprised me if Garrett three bet a bad hand out of position just to say. Well, he's going to raise here with uh, absolute nothing. Yeah, he, he chose to wait for flop to come down. But I just kind of sensed that he was, he was going to... Low T time. Say silently, you have too much yeah, money. Men too. Right don't open on my like on my big blind. It's disrespectful. I don't know. Most is the morning. That's why guys always wake up with a kickstand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I it. Sorry. She said, I always get sleepier on this time. I said, well, it's low T time for men between like four and seven is yeah, low yeah. T. And yeah. I said, that's why in the morning men wake up with kickstands because yeah. That's like when that's they're high when tier. You're younger. There's not many kickstands. To me, later I think it's just <laughs> is that, is that <laughs> medical or is that Mary. alpha matcha <laughs> sign? That's both. Both. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a straddle on a call. Next day is with a kickstand. Straddle pot. I think that's a function for. Yeah, Who's got the most testosterone like at the pot. table? Yeah. Eight hundred. Raise eight hundred. Next, gonna raise it up to eight hundred. After Armenian Mike calls. Oh, jeez, scare me! I thought it was gonna be like thirty-eight hundred. Like, oh fuck! A call though, but I didn't like it. Nick has a sting or a screen. Wow. Sorry, sorry, man. I shouldn't be talking. Ooh, <laughs> cost me 600. Yeah. Oh, like what that, What did he have? Man. No, he had a, he had no hand. He had a fun no. hand. I don't know. Oh, yeah. No, no, Show no. it, show it. Here, like that. King Jack. Oh. That's not bad. King, King Jack. King Club. Right hand. Suited, suited. Right hand. Mike, you want to keep the around? Going? Clubs? Maybe. You want clubs? Mm -hmm. Clubs, sir. Yeah, clubs too small. Oh boy. That would have been fun. <laughs> All right, we got ourselves a straddle around here. Oh man. So Another soon. straddle around here. So, so we'll play uh, 5100 and <laughs> a 100 big blind ante and a $200 too straddle. Soon. Too soon. Too funny, funny, too soon. If you're just joining us, by the way, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're at the Hustler Casino, like eight miles from the beach. This is Hustler Casino Live. I'm David Tuckman. Hopefully, uh, from a scheduling standpoint, when I'm in town, I'll probably do, you know, probably a couple of shows okay. a week. <laughs> My man, DGAF, will uh, hopefully come out like once a month from Vegas and uh, have like a week for yourself. Yeah, that's the plan is to do one week every month. If, uh, if I didn't ruin my... My gig uh, we can this pick week. It up next hand, Francis, no, I think if anything, yeah, it cemented it. Nice Got some me. action here. A seven deuce. Nick is the original razor. Garrett called on the button. How's right now the movie? George called as well. Very good. Everything, and I believe this bet will probably get through, and it does. Well, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna ask them. Mike have big chips. Yes. It'd be great for them to be in front. One big one. Yeah, one. Yeah. Push him up. Push him up front for him. They need, they need to go out so players over here can see him. Thank you. I was just looking. Oh shit. Whatever. Yeah, we don't want to Alex Torelli anybody. Yeah. Dangerous man. Yeah. Yeah. man with the Francisco. Oh, who's traveling? The players were talking about how mean the chat can be. I feel like it's been nicer this week. I kind of, whatever day, said that it's transparent if you're if you're a hater that you're just unhappy, right? That, and uh, I feel like it's been nicer this week. Maybe it's just all the people who listen to my podcast are in here. Every other is the best that we could do here, okay? Just to give other people don't want to do it a break. Right, so is this it or not? Well, no, we're off right now because we just did one. Just just because I don't... I wouldn't have looked at my card. We've already... We know why. Let's just leave it at that. We know why. Let's just drop it. A lot of people think a straddle doubles the stakes. The stakes is actually how much money you have at the table. It doesn't do anything to the stakes. It just makes... Yes, yes. Tita, Tita. Half as deep. Thank you, George. Effectively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, George. Can we send the service here? Here, me too. Here you go, Louis. Thank you. Okay. Everything's right. based yeah, off the big blind. And the, the straddle becomes the, the big blind amount. I just want good luck. Nothing else No, because we're going every other. Well, I don't think we do. They don't have it in here. There's nowhere. Okay. Uh, I, I can post it. You know what? Can you post me, sir? 
Can, Raise from Nick, Barry calls. It will, we'll work it out if you need to. If you want to, we'll figure it out. Starbucks, yeah. George in there as well. Another tough hand to play. I did. Under the gun, ace six suited. Julie's going to come along. What, Nick Rays? I call. I wanted to know if I had anybody behind me. Good flop for Julie. Yeah, and she's got an open-ended straight draw, obviously. And this is just a flop she can bluff. She's the one that had the best price and was closing the action pre-flop, so she has all the hands. I will not be surprised have, if she check raises here. You have an ace. Jesus, right, this is getting spooky. Yeah. This is getting spooky, bro. So you're looking for the pipe. <laughs> she just calls. Getting spooky. Pot 2850. Yeah, double, double suited aces. Are you ever betting this if you're Julie? Oh, Swami. Kind of that check call lead out with the four. I mean, I, you're the one who has more fours in your range. I wouldn't know. I, I'm raising in her spot on okay. the flop just incessantly. Well, George is going to bet 1500. He's going to try to tell a story that he's got the four. Protein bars or lemon? Let's see if Julie wants to raise now. Nope, she's still just going to call. Brand, Nick gets right out now. of the way, I imagine. Yep. Pot 58.50. Wow, George has the best hand. He Nine high. Does he give up and win it with nine high? He doesn't seem like a person who gives up. 25. You can't. If, if you're getting that out of line with nine George, high. George, George of the jungle. What is that? Nothing? Nothing. Nine high. Nice. Like Little does he know he was bluffing with the best hand. I kind of, I would have loved to check down. Win it with nine high. He's like alpha matcha this. I don't need to. She had a draw. She had a draw too. He knew she had a draw. But he I'm done. Yeah. her other card point, might be higher totally than a nine exposed. or one of the pairs on the board. That's what I had too. My ace napkin. Yeah. Well, I did, I did, if a five gives me a straight, I'd ace six. Uh, so ace napkin. Yeah. Ace napkin. You should have. Could have, should have, could have, would have. Yeah, he could. That's the problem. With, that's why it's hard. on every other one of those, so he goes fair. To assume he had. Mm-hmm. Hey, look at that. There's Mike, Armenia. Mike, look at I can finally see his face. What a face. Barry raising it up bye under bye. the gun. No <laughs> straddle bye. this round. Let see Let's see your face, Mike. Julie wants to see you. I don't want to bluff no more. Oh, he here. can't hear. Jeremy makes the call. So three ways. Good? That was pretty good. Yeah, pretty good, huh? Man, I could get Buddy Mary. Yeah. Things starting to turn a little bit better yeah, yeah. for Barry. Flop's top pair. And he should just take it down quickly. Armenian Armenia might have Queen-10, and isn't it Ace-6-3? Yeah. Let it go. Good fold. <laughs> Jeremy just shaking his head like, yeah, it's a tough fold there. <laughs> but you got to let it go, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a solid no, I, fold. I, I need to get some, uh, I don't have a check with you. Gary, you have a parking pass? Mm -hmm. Me? I'm sorry? Oh, it looks like he no, folded second pair on the flop, uh, maybe. No, I don't, I don't think that's right. No, no, I just come in the flop. I saw the flop. It was yeah, a 6 3. By the parking where the pass is. The gate. Oh. Just a little bit of a graphic snafu. I think so. And you've been doing this for a long time. It's just very common with the RFID. It's just going to happen. Well, I, I mean. The chips, the cards have little chips in them, right? And they're, they're, but if somebody were to fold their hand over the flop area, then the, you know, the, the RFID will pick up those cards, the folded hand sometimes. Interesting. I, so, I, I didn't know that. I bet a lot of people watching didn't know that. Yeah, there's some ways that it can happen. 
overall pretty incredible technology. It is, it is. It's one of the reasons why a lot of times if you see a show being done uh, and it's going to be done in post-production, like let's say the World Series of Poker, that would be done on ESPN, or this year it's going to be on CBS Sports for the main event, they will actually have a backup. They'll have RFID, but then they'll also have, they'll have a camera as well. Got it. To make sure. And you'll be commentating the... the Not the main event, no. No. I don't think. I would assume it would be Lon McCarran and Norm Chad and maybe Jamie Kerstetter, but I don't know. Not yet. I really want to watch that. Yeah, I've ever thought about going uh, totally. Tanya Harding on Norman Chad. Oh, I don't think I'd be the replacement for Norman Chad. Uh, I'd have to go Tanya Harding on Lon, and then probably also Ali Najad. Nice. Yeah, that looks cool. Maybe Jeff Platt. Oh, no. Yeah, there's a list, but I mean, if I did it to all of them, maybe I'd, maybe I'd get that chance then. Well, Besides just something to think about. Show. Yeah, I mean, I'm, hey, listen, I put on a little bit of weight, you know, so I probably look more like Tanya Harding now than I did when I was younger, so. Very good. Seen that one, Garrett? I'm definitely more attractive than Tanya Harding. Really? I mean, and I can skate as well as her. You're, you're an attractive guy. I kind of like Tanya. <laughs> I like those who are flawed. That one, the flight attendant was really good. See that? Yeah, I mean, who wants to be with somebody perfect, right? Not me. Oh, hacks. I like hacks. I think Francisco, isn't it Jack 8 8 flop? I believe so. Yeah, well, if it is, Francisco's going to like it. How many seasons? Oh, is it Jack Jack 8? Okay. That's the thing. I hate the old school model of like an episode per week. I know, that's my show. I hate it. It is? How about White Lotus? It's killing me. I'm like. Oh, White Lotus is such a good show. You watch that? I can't wait. I have not seen it. Oh, everybody at home. You hear Julie talking about White Lotus. That is a good show. No, but everyone says I would love it. Nick just bluff. I mean, did Gary just bluff a couple people? I don't know. I don't know what he had. I'm surprised Nick folded Ace High, unless Nick called. Season three is coming, so you should watch the first two seasons before season three drops. I'm rewatching The Sopranos right now. I'm on like season four. It's so. There's. The, I, I. I. feel like we've got some gremlins playing with our, our graphics right now. So I'm sure we'll get that sorted out. I'm re watching it too. Right oh, it's now. Francisco. Yeah. So Francisco nods his head. Says, "Okay, I believe you. I'll pick a better. I'll pick a better spot. Another hand for Garrett." Garrett and George are big winners today. It's tough though. For those of you at home, I mean, we're, we've we've gotten spoiled. It's like you know when we were younger, that one show per week thing, and you gotta wait. But now, dude, don't do that to me. I want to watch like three shows a night. And <laughs> I want to see a whole series in like three weeks. Leave me alone. So Don't make me wait. Been Agreed. For years, right? I yeah. think it's, uh, but no, it's coming now. I just saw the trailer for Finally, season three. Right. What an incredibly safe show. Yeah. Awesome. You watch Billions too? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Billions is good. I feel like I stopped watching. Which show are you watching right now? Just uh, White Lotus. Yeah, that's it? Yeah. My wife and I just finished uh, the last season of Bosch. And, and we are watching. We're watching Ted Lasso. We're in the middle. I mean, we're we're caught up. It's it's again. It's the once a week thing. Yeah. So we're caught up in Ted Lasso. We just finished Bosch, and I'm, we're watching White Lotus. Get a raise here from Nick. Oh, how about a limp re raise here from Armenian Mike? No. No. Oh, he thought about it. It looked like he grabbed that yellow green chip. He wanted to. He also likes to make you think he's gonna raise just doing? for the fun of it. He he is a pretty jovial guy in general. <laughs> seven seven four. She was really likable too, Doja Cat. Yeah. You're gonna be. You haven't seen episode three of the second season. That's the one. Checks through. Ace of Hearts on the turn. Both George and Armenian Mike with a heart draw. Garrett again. We don't know what he has. Not at all. Garrett, they're really like that. I know. I mean, they must be. Probably at least one seven. <laughs> Armenian Mike going nowhere. Makes the call. Garrett quickly folds. Oh, Sorry. Nick's not in there. He had a, he had a pocket threes. Oh, I fell out of my hand. No, yeah. Yeah. 
Like, why are you guys so naked all the time? Why is this is really hard when you have the draw, putting the guy who called you on the draw. George is maybe figuring it out right now, though, and this will be a really good bet. Would it be? Yes. Okay. I mean, obviously, we can see that it would be because of re results. I'm just wondering, you know, it's a raised pot. How many aces does Armenian Mike have in his range, and how many hearts does he have? How often does he pick up hearts? The, the thing Armenian Mike did on the turn was he just called really fast. It's so indicative of a draw. And that's why if George has king six of hearts, he can actually check and call the river. You have to do it if you want to win it. This is the problem. But you have nothing, yeah. Hearts, yeah, hearts, you would, uh, you would kill me, yeah. You had two hearts, huh? I had smaller hearts. Gotta call the turn, bro. I know, I fucked up. That's why. With two sevens and an ace out, I didn't feel great, you know. Probably right, though, in this game. They both have nothing? Yep. They, yeah, they both have nothing. Mike's first. I got outplayed again. That is the list that people George has outplayed. Yeah. Jesus. Francisco limping in. Garrett's not going to limp. He's going to raise to 400 with Queen Nine of Diamonds. Will Francisco limp re raise this? Oh, he's not going to get a chance to. I don't have a bluff in hand. That's why I throw it away. <laughs> so a limp, a raise, a three bet here from Jeremy. Garrett's gonna have to fold. No, no, not so fast. You said you're waiting for Garrett to get a little out of line. I, I thought there was a player behind him. I'm, he's not folding in position ever. No, he's on the button. Jeremy does not have the king of clubs. This is the nightmare playing against Garrett. You three bet out of position, you get a flop like this, and he knows the most you have is a pair of aces. And will you call all that money? And he thinks no. That he's going to raise right away. But he probably didn't watch where Jeremy picked off Antonio last Friday. What's the play here if you're Jeremy? Are you three betting? Are you just calling? I assume folding is never an option. I think he's gonna. What would you no, forget about what he's gonna do? I don't want to project it. I want to. Ask, what, what should he be doing? What should he be doing? He should probably decide that that he's not folding against Garrett and to call and then check call the all in. But but raising really doesn't do anything unless you think Garrett's like semi bluffing a big draw here. But you're too deep to. Yeah, Jeremy's got another 17,000 behind. When he calls this, he'll have a little bit under 15. Players just keep getting better. And Garrett watched last Friday. He knows Jeremy picked off a bigger bluff than what you're going to see on the turn card. Jeremy makes the call. Oh, man. This is it. I mean, if you've got to pick a card where Garrett is almost always going to be double barreling, the perfect action card, this is it. I'm calling my shot. Jeremy's not folding those kings. No, I don't think you can. But I don't think Garrett's going to slow down, though, right? Depends. He did pick up a bunch of equity. It depends what he thinks. If he thinks Jeremy's not folding, then he just... Take the free card? Take the free card, bink, and then... What do we got here? A small bet. Is it about 4,000? Yeah, 4,000. So what's the play now if you're Jeremy? Again, I don't. I don't... Don't predict what he wants to do. I want to know, what would you do if you were in Jeremy's spot? It's very clear. It's all in. The pot's big enough now. Well, you're not it's calling. It's so wet. You'll have 10K behind, and the pot will be almost 18K. It's all in. <laughs> Nine ten of clubs is a hand that you know Garrett could theoretically have here. Obviously, we can see that he picked up diamonds. I think that's what his this small bet is is some kind of a spread out the middle of them. leveling thing with with Chairman. Well, 
becomes and it's very like it becomes it becomes part of your uh, all in. Yeah. There's the all in. Well played. There's the all in. It's ten thousand eight hundred to call. You're getting about yeah, Garrett. This is just a math question now, right? What I do here? Yeah, the the small turn bet was bizarre. Hey, hey. You heard him. What did I do here? <laughs> is that right? Oh, that's what he's all in for. Yeah, it's ten eight more. Garrett put himself in this really weird spot where it's actually really close. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he, he, it's close enough he should call. He's a gambler. He, he, <laughs> he doesn't mind being off by a few points. But he definitely stepped into it this hand. He, he underestimated Jeremy. Yeah, and, and I assume at this point he probably realizes, you know, my queen is not good. But I have to call. I've got the straight draw. I got the flush draw. That's fine. I'll go twice. And he loves the gamble. They're gonna go twice. Garrett looking for a diamond, a five or a ten. There's a diamond. <laughs> There's a queen, which is no good. Garrett thought for a second. Wait a second. Do you have jacks? Yeah. Do you have jacks? Could I win both? He could have. It's a good shove instead of call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get scooped. Yeah. Yeah. God damn, hit Gary on so good. Jeremy played that hand. Yeah. Thanks Fantastic. for that. It's dicey. <laughs> Would you understand it? <laughs> now Garrett knows that, that he can't push him off a 20K stack. Playing with Garrett's always a challenge. I actually really love it. I think he's one of the best players maybe in the world when it comes to cash games. Um, he's just an animal, has relentless pressure, but I really feel like it's the only way to make my game better is to play against guys like him and players of his caliber. There you have it, Jeremy. Speaking about Garrett, and that was, uh, that was a really interesting hand. And you know, to your point, you said, Jeremy played the hand perfect, you know, three bet. Let out, call the raise, and then check raise all in on the on the uh, on the turn. And again, I mean, he got it in good. It was 68-32, and they get it in. So you can't be uh, you got to be pretty happy with that. You're, yeah. He's definitely. Uh, Antonio thought that, that he could get him off a big stack, and he's not scared, Jeremy. So a raise here from Julie. Garrett three bets. Armenian Mike calls. Julie's going to come along for the ride as well. She's dominated. So is Armenian Mike for that matter. And it doesn't matter because the flop seven seven three. Again, it is Garrett who's the three better. Pot is forty four fifty. It's funny. I wasn't worried about the diamond. Actually, starting to pick up here. Thought I was dodging clubs. That was a good river for me. That's the other issue. You hear Jeremy say, I thought I was dodging clubs. And think about it, you don't even know the diamonds are the ones you you're, you want to fade. Yeah. So. I think Garrett flats with a flush draw on that flop, to be honest. But I understand what he's saying. Maybe he's, but I'm saying, maybe if he's got a, a combo draw, like you said, though. Well, if he, if or no? Flop, uh, he definitely. Some of the time, he's going to do ball. everything. <laughs> right. I love that answer. Whatever. <laughs> and this would be interesting. If Armenia Mike raises. Just don't know what he's repping. Oh, he's re he's repping pocket tens, maybe. Let it go. Julie lets it go. Can you turn it off? Using the bathroom? Let it go. It's a nice, quick... Well, I was going to say a bailout, but he actually won money on the last hand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So... I mean... He even said it. He goes, what did I get myself into? But, you know, he hits one of them. They run it twice. Makes a little bit of money, and then three bets this one and wins more money. 
people were asking us to be hard on Garrett sometimes. Uh, Jeremy outplayed him that hand, clearly. I mean, I, think, I, mean I, I like the raise by Garrett, to be honest. I, and I think when he picks up that much equity in the turn, it's, I don't have a problem with him betting there. Yeah, I like. I, I don't like the 4K bet, but do you go smaller or bigger? I I, I check or go all in. Okay. Just what you decide. Is the guy? Is this the guy going to call off his deck? If he is, let's try and hit. If he's not, let's let's get it in now. Fair enough. Queen Jack six. Three hearts. She was friends with the wife, and she knew that. That he had killed the other one. Three hundred. Have you watched the staircase? That's a good one. I don't really watch TV. It's a very good one. Isn't that great? Owl theory. It's really hard to know. The Jace is the best one of those ever. I love that. That one's insane. Making a murder is really good. Great one too, for sure. I watch all of those. Like my fiance's parents think I'm like a sadistic person because I just enjoy. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I just find them fascinating. The serial killer. Like the Bundy one was good. I watched the both the Zac Efron one and the actual like doc. I just like Dateline. I watch a lot of Dateline. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that's good. Well, as you come here for poker, everybody, I know you guys. You all come here for poker, and what do you get? You get recommendations from people in the industry about what shows to watch. It's pretty strong. Yeah, I mean, Hustler Casino Live is bringing it all to you, right? No, when I'm playing online, I'm almost always watching recommendations. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, Ryan and, and Nick have created a monster in Hustler Casino Live. Next week, who knows? Maybe we'll get some, you know, we'll get some food suggestions. Yeah, and, uh, I think Garrett even mentioned that he might, you know, I, they recommended earlier a few restaurants in town. A pair of kings here for Barry. I missed my big bang. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, it's about 3,000, by the way. Yeah. First week. First week. And if it gets the showdown, Barry will win it. I mean, if we, they used to play five weeks per season. Maybe they cut it out for four, maybe. Yeah, maybe three or four. They four, have, I think. Uh, that's extra game this year. Yeah, maybe they cut it out three or four, right? You win. Well played. You win. Yeah, it used to be five. <laughs> You could be fine. Nice call, Doctor. Thank you for the words of encouragement, George. I appreciate it. Yeah, so Barrett bet 3,000 and then Couldn't got come, called come and one time. you win. Garrett likes to win pots. Yeah. Those, are, those make the toughest players. I mean, are there people out there that don't like to win pots? No, but I mean he, he really likes to win <laughs> pots. <laughs> He just won the the one before and I had a three with a good kicker. Not bad. Yeah. That relentless uh aggression is why he's so good. Three hundred to go. Barry goes three hundred, Garrett Coles. Barry in the unenviable spot of having Garrett to his left. Julie with aces. Again, we really haven't seen any three-bet bluffs today. We've seen bluffs on the flop. Of course, flop bluffs in the river. We've seen plenty of those. But pre-flop, it's been pretty straightforward. Julie's three-bet, Barry calls. Garrett's coming in there as well. Francisco, what does he do? He calls. Good read. Mm. A six is coming, chips. right? <laughs> a lucky chips. Hope you win with him. No, no. Yes, of course it is. <laughs> There's the six. No, no, my chips are we didn't know this, by the way. No. I mean, we are on a delay, so yeah. this happened an hour ago, but we did not know. We are in our booth, no phones, no access to the outside world whatsoever. Julie's going to bet 2300 King-Queen goes in the muck. What does Garrett do here? Does he raise right away? Does he just call? 
he, let's see how much money she has. She has a lot. She's got 17 behind. Yeah, he's going to start getting it in now. He goes 8,000. If she's shorter, he just called. Ah, oh, this is tough. This is beyond tough. Oh, 5,700. She only has 17 behind. Just what a disgusting spot for her with aces against this particular player. I don't see any world where she doesn't get it all in right here. So she's actually got 20,000 behind. Can she call here and see a turn? <laughs> no. It's all in her fold. There's so many. Yeah, it's 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 all in. There's no. Just a cooler. It's just a cooler. You just gotta you just gotta pay Garrett. What bluffs is he doing this with? Oh really? Yeah. Uh, six five, seven five, four five, eight nine with one of those suits. Eight seven maybe. Probably not with someone behind him, but. There's the all in, there's the call. And Julie's got a basically a two outer here. I think they're gonna run it two times. This pot fifty one thousand four hundred. Garrett well in the lead. There's a nine by the way. Francisco would have hit it. Garrett hits quads the second time around and he's gonna win it all. So the wedding's paid for. Depending, yeah. Either that or his fiance is watching and going, okay, now I'm getting what I want. <laughs> I, got, I got a feeling she was getting what she wants before anyway. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I don't think the sand had anything to do with it. Tough yeah. luck for Julie. She's had a tough blow. I mean, you know, she raises three bets with aces, the 1600, gets called in three spots, so the pot is already bloated. Yeah, it's all good. Nick, uh, Nick and against the player as aggressive as Garrett, she can't find the fold. Every homeless kid. No. Yeah, there must be a lot of philanthropy yeah. or something. And uh, he's the eighth wonder. The eighth wonder. Hey, you hear me? If he gets called, I have two nines. I turned the knife. I didn't look at the hand. Oh, hard for him to just call. Oh, shit. <laughs> what did he have? Uh, just a set, and then it made full house on the top board and quads on the bottom. Oh, okay. Quads on the right. Nice answer. What do you guys play tonight? How big? What? Up 51 in change. George is having a nice day. Up 28. Yeah, and Julie is uh, waving the white flag. She is done for the night. She'll be back, though. Heck of a player. And uh, just some unfortunate spots for her tonight. But uh, she'll be back. No doubt about that. Sometimes you just got to know when to quit, though, for the night, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't blame her at all. It's just such a tough... You just saw him get really out of line with uh, Jeremy. And, and that's you know that's a great point for anybody in the chat who's thinking why can't you fold that? You don't like it, you can. can Let's. It. It's really easy when we can see the cards from the commentator's perspective or the fans' perspective at home. It's really easy to be results oriented, and we do our best try not to be. But an orbit ago, literally an orbit ago, we saw him raise with queen nine of diamonds. On a, I mean, he had nothing but runner runner outs. He just had back door. Actually, and yeah. you know, we're all sitting there. Well, oh, you gotta, you know. Play the kings in this manner, so forth. Yeah, we can't both say you have to get in kings and you have to fold aces. <laughs> right. In similar spots. I mean, it was. I mean, obviously that was multi-way, as opposed to heads up. True. Uh, yeah. So it's a little bit different, but still. For what? Okay, well that's a deuce. I'm gonna see three. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so no. 
But Julie if, can pay it because she's still in the game. If Garrett had a really yeah. deep player behind him, right, right. his raise on the flop, if she's out, of the game, if she's out I pay. then becomes really strong. But he didn't have that. So yeah. she has to get it in. Does that make sense? Wow. I mean, my guess is, let me ask you this. Heads up, he was able to raise with yeah, very little equity. Turns money, out he so turned a ton of equity, but he didn't have much to flop. Did. When he's raising with players I, behind 20, him, I know, I know. Is, it come. is it safe to assume that he probably doesn't have those zero, the very low Adios. equity ones? He probably, Adios. you know, maybe he has <laughs> six, five type <laughs> things like that. Extremely <laughs> safe to say that. Okay. Okay. No, I didn't say that. No, no, no. I would tell you to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Ten thousand behind. For That's true. It would be a waste of your time, wouldn't it? Now, Nick just mentioned that she is that. not That's gone. Right. That's why I didn't know you what you were saying. So I don't know. We'll find out, obviously, fairly shortly whether uh, Julia is coming back for more or whether she has called it a night. Armenian Mike, by the way, just calling, limping in here under the gun, plus two with ace queen. Is Francisco in there with 9-3 yeah, sure. off? Apparently. Check. And he flops a pair of nines. Nick with a pair of nines as well. <laughs> That's true. But if we run two times, he wins. No, I don't run two times. I, will, I like one time. Yeah, check around, Mike bet 300, and then pull to him. I believe there's a, an ace on the board. Yeah, there is. Okay, ace 10 5, so pardon me. Button move. She doesn't want to give you the money. I do, I always do. <laughs> like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Still, we're still not at 1,000 likes. I see, I see nearly 2,700 people watching. If you guys are enjoying the show, it is free. It's always going to be free. If you miss a show, just subscribe to you, uh, the YouTube channel here, and Should you can watch back? any of our shows at your convenience. The only it thing we like ask for you is subscribe, tell your friends about it, and when you're watching it, if you like it, hit that thumbs up. When we get to 1,000, uh, my co-commentator here, DGAF has, uh, has said that he will tell you a story that I've been waiting for. So please, let's get to a thousand. Yeah, that's the only way. I'm not going to ask you for money. You don't even have to be nice to me. Just hit that thumbs up. In fact, I kind of like it. I mean, if you want to, you know, make fun of me, just be funny. Nothing wrong with a troll, as long as you're funny. Yeah. Barry has aces, so he's going to get stacked by Garrett this hand. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Barry, Barry's going to double up here. Barry's going to double up. Yep, I like it. Got a raise. We got a three bet. Oh. <laughs> hand over. Hand over. Are you just calling that? I mean, I know it's really easy because I can see the cards, but it's heads up. You're in position. With Barry's stack size, do you, ju do you even have a four bet range or just flat this? So, with Barry's, if I'm Barry, ten seconds. Yeah, if I'm Barry, uh, I, I never am against forcing people to put more money in when, when they're behind. Okay. But there's definitely merit to him flatting if, if you know, because he th if he thinks Garrett might try and bluff him. Or, or overvalue whatever if he flops top pair. Can I get five uh, whites? Yeah. But I'm never against. It, it's nice to just win a couple thousand dollars without chips, any too, risk, right? Okay. I just have room for like four stacks here. Are you lefty? No. Yeah. Oh. You? Mm -mm. I'm left. Great, great, great chat. <laughs> See you guys out there. <laughs> I just, you know, I got my chips on the proper side. I just was wondering if you were. Francisco, <laughs> gonna <laughs> limp in <laughs> under the gun with Ace Queen <laughs> suited. Yeah, ignore him. Man. Yeah. This is very yeah. interesting. He's annoying also when he's right yeah. next to me. Yeah. Garrett have, on like, the button, and you buildings. wonder if this is part of what Francisco is thinking. Absolutely. He knows I can limp. Garrett's gonna try to punish me on the button, and I'm gonna go big here with the Ace Queen.
Armenian might call. Oh, he just calls. Wow, okay, that's surprising. Well, he flops an ace. Yeah, once again, the graphics are wrong. There is an ace out there. It's ace, six, deuce, two clubs. Garrett not drawing dead, but not going to win this hand very often. And he is now drawing dead. No, he has a flush draw. Oh, sorry. You know, I should have just assumed that Garrett is always <laughs> gonna Garrett is always gonna pick up some equity on the turn. I think we'll see. I should assume that, you're right. I think we'll see like a a non queen diamond on the river. <laughs> Garrett bets a thousand. What's the play for Francisco? His hand is ridiculously underrepped. Remember he limped and then called a raise. Yeah, I I'm not even sure because I just I don't know if I've done that in 15 <laughs> years. Well, he's going to raise to 4,000. I'm always a fan of making the guy pay. So Garrett bet 1,000. Francisco check raises the turn to 4,000. Back over to Garrett. He's getting call it 2.5 to 1. Plus implied odds if he were to hit. Plus some reverse implied odds. Of course. Mm -hmm. And he's just going to give it up. No, it's Julie. Francisco's been a thorn in Garrett's side today. Yeah. He's the only one at the table that's been a thorn. Really? I mean, Jeremy yeah. got the. Jeremy really should have had the best of them, but didn't. I mean, in fairness, Barry even got it in good against him, right? Yeah, that's that's step one. Can you give me fifty There is a look at Barry. Back to her hand, even even though there were players behind which is why some would probably say that you can fold aces because you raise with players behind, like you said. So he doesn't have any of this the zero equity stuff or the, the backdoor only equity stuff. But I do think he has enough pair and open ended or just open ended and backdoor stuff. I, I that you just have to get it in there. Garrett's going to raise up with King Jack. Aces are cheap. Seven high flop. Two hearts out there. Armenian Mike has the ace of hearts. George with a wheel draw. Ace eight's the best hand. Check's drew again. Let's do this. Ace eight. So Garrett can't bluff here. You saw that he wanted to, but he realizes his image is kind of tarnished temporarily. He's been caught bluffing a couple times in a row, or a couple times lately. So he wanted to bet that turn. Yeah, she cut players uh, up, obviously. Julie not here. Nick has gotten up. So we're playing a little shorthanded. Oh, the fool's here. Okay. I always think this is kind of intriguing when you're playing poker. How the game dynamic can change. Not only, you know, maybe one guy is on tilt or, you know, one girl is on tilt, whatever it might be. Maybe somebody's on lockdown, but also just when, you know, a couple of people get up and go start walking and you're suddenly playing five-handed or six-handed instead of eight-handed. Yeah, it's uh, benefits Garrett a ton, obviously. It, it, it's just so much more fun to play with less players at the table. Francisco will, will be tough shorthanded as well. First time we check, right? We see the flop free. No raise here. You no don't straddle, no raise. You don't have to play horrible, horrible hands. You can still fold them even if it's five-handed or whatever. 
That was actually one of the things I learned. I remember when I was commentating on World Series of Poker six max tournaments, and I, I just assumed, and this is a hundred years ago when I first started doing it. Then, and I think like a lot of people, I just assumed the six max was just like just maniacal, crazy, raising three bet, four bet, and in actuality, it was really quite tight. Well. Yeah, if if you you were commentating uh, a tournament or a great, it players. was a tournament final table, and it was yeah. good, but it was good players. Yeah, and it, it was obviously very different than a cash game, but still, though, it just wasn't nearly as crazy as I thought it would be. Yeah, and it, and if it's just two blinds, and right. it's just not going to be maniacal. There were anties, though. Right, but how horrible would the game have been if it was nine-handed? It would have been. It would have been. Well, that's the that's tight. the weird thing, though. The nine-handed game sometimes actually had more action than a six six max, as strange as it might seem. That yeah, that does seem strange. I mean, I think that's also mainly because of you know ICM considerations in tournaments. Yeah, which you're not going to obviously have in a cash game. Thanks for joining us here, Hustler Casino Live. Let's see if we can get 3,000. We're 2750. And I still want to see a thousand thumbs up. I got 849. Come on, guys. 850. If you're watching the show and you like it, I have been told that those thumbs up really help us on YouTube. So do us a favor, and we will continue bringing you these shows. We're going to bring you the shows whether you do the thumbs up or not, but we're asking you to help us out. Yeah, if you could see. All the efforts to go into the show, uh, it, it's it's pretty unbelievable. Got an action flop here, Garrett with the flush draw, Francisco with top pair. Pot is already forty one hundred dollars. Garrett knows he cannot push Francisco around to get a little old school here. Yeah, and Francisco has has bet half pot. Garrett's just gonna call. He does. King of Hearts. Really no reason for Francisco to slow down, right? Nope. It, it is scary playing against someone who would go all in at any time, but this is how, how much he's evolved. And, and Garrett knows he's just gonna, just gonna fold. I gotta tell you, Garrett is so disciplined. I mean, Obviously, it's a lot easier when it's not your money and you're not emotional about it. But I know sitting at the table sometimes, you got to flush draw. It's so really tough to fold that. Be careful. It's harder Any when you're losing 50K yeah. than when you're winning you're 50K. Loud, but, right? but yes, agreed. Because is he folding that? Like, Let me ask you. Is he like folding that? You know him. Is he folding it if he's down 50K? Okay. You, you, like, you've seen when like, he's, when he's really throwing a party in, on stream, he'll gamble a lot more and he'll play worse. He's a human being. Yeah. Yeah, that's people like. I went through the table many times. That's that's killed the game too. Yeah. How much? I feel like Francisco just gets ace queen every hand now. Yeah. I feel like he's gotten much better at poker. Aside from his limping pre-flop. He's limping. He just limped. He limped ace queen in the cutoff. Yeah. I'm okay if he does it when, when Garrett's on the button, but when Garrett's in the blinds, he should be opening. I mean, it's definitely unconventional. Uh, he might pick him off again. The mistake Francisco made there, he called too quick on the turn. If he takes his time and calls, Garrett is done with it. Things a live pro can pick up. Once again, that is DGAF next to me. He's been here all week. If you missed any of his shows, check him out. They're all available for free on YouTube. I'm David Tuckman, and of course you are watching Hustler Casino Live Monday through Friday, 9 p 9, 9, 5 p.m. 
to 10 p.m. Pacific time. And, and tonight it's until 11 p.m., correct? Is it? Yeah. I, I don't even look. I'm like, whenever you let me know when I'm done. Yeah. You probably pulled me Because we we're going to do overtime on other nights, too. If the night's really good and they're still playing, we're not going to go anywhere. So it's all good. We're at 929. Almost at 1,000. Barry with ace jack. Nick with queen nine. There's a raise. There's just a call. Thought Barry might three bet that. He decides just to flat. He needed an energy drink, Garrett. Okay, tired of One thing I never get tired of. Winning? Nick with top pair. <laughs> Francisco with a gutter. Getting the play and win is a pretty, pretty good combo. Big combo. No call and. I wouldn't be shocked if Francisco bluffs. So he's got the check of hearts. Can he rip hearts? So she asks more now, like check, check. It would be, a, yeah, it would be a check raise. It would be how he would do it. But Nick check back. Nick's gonna win. Definitely being able to use your significant others like a sounding board is pretty important for sure. I'd lose my mind if I had to talk to myself after. Bad session. There's small bets not going to get the job done, that's for sure. And a quick call here from Nick. Very good. Uh, Vertucci takes down the pot. Take a look at our winnings. Garrett up 43,000. George up 27. Jeremy up 2,500. Julie, Barry having a tough day. Vertucci trying to claw his way back. Take a look at the V-pips. Handful of players up over 40%. Nobody below 20. Garrett with uh, nearly 150k at the table. George, who's on his left, with 57,000. Armenia and Mike are short stack with about 10. Again, we're playing 5,100 with 100 big blind ante. Straddle has kind of been in intermittent. Yeah, for a while they're doing one round of straddle, one one round off. Sometimes the lull in the game is just no one's getting any cards. That's what happened here. Yeah, and you get a couple of people getting up from the table. And, and we can see, obviously, Garrett has gotten up for a second. Julie's been up for a while. She has rebought, though. You can see the chips in front of seat number two on the left side of your screen. Looks like Garrett's talking to a bodybuilder back there. Yeah, people often think that I, I, I lift weights, I'm into bodybuilding. I'm not. It's just natural. Yeah. Yeah. Is that more of a blessing or a curse? It's kind of a curse, you know, because a lot of people, they... I feel like I am... Um, people look at me and they just only see me for my physical. Right. And they, they, they don't see me for my mind. Five shows in a row, that's a lot. But you did all five or... So this is actually my fault that the the game has slowed down. I was uh, talking to to Garrett when I when I showed up. They're ahead of us, and uh, that's why the game's hit a lull. Is that you? That's me. Yeah, that was the that was the joke. Yeah, you'll have to work on like. How is that possible? I thought his microphone was turned off. Aren't we on a one-hour delay though? That's so weird. Uh, more, more than one for the big game. Just taking all oh. the precautions. That makes sense. Okay, times, yeah. fair enough. And uh, these guys are waiting for the whale to get, get back at the table. Really hard to beat them. I was a little confused. I was like, wait a second. You were here an hour ago. I don't understand. Okay, that makes way more sense. Yeah. So that was your bodybuilding joke. Okay. That was, I mean, yeah. <laughs> what a thing to come back to. Yeah. So I put it. You won the 
It's a different spin. Nick, I'm never going to give you. kind of like teed it up for me. He threw me a softball, and I totally missed. My bad. Get a raise here from Barry. No. George called. Arminian Mike. He looks like he's going to re-raise all the time. I, I think that's what he wants people to think, but then he just almost always just calls. Jack 10-7, Barry. Over cards, open-ended. Pair sevens exactly for George. <laughs> Barry doesn't bet it. Barry was the pre-flop raiser. Eh. I know. How about just get there? Beautiful. And Armenian Mike makes a smaller straight. Yeah, this is going to be trouble for Armenian Mike. I mean. No, no. Oh, no. I wasn't talking about poker. That's boring. Yeah. In situations, and I want to ask you what you think. In situations where I know my opponent might have a really, really strong second best hand, like an eight in this case, do you go a little bit crazy in overbet pots? Um. So if he just fl if he just called the turn, which he did, sure he can do that on the river, because then he's repping all the missed stuff. Yeah. Here. That's the only one. Is there a menu? Wow! Quick fold. Yeah, wow! That was amazing. Yeah, there's a menu here. I don't have it. He knows. I mean, Mike bet turn, got called, snap fold with the straight. Bet folded river. I mean, that's about as good as you can play eights, right? That's great. Yeah. It's not a, a classic bluffing spot, but I'm surprised he didn't even think. Just assume that Barry was not raising the river after calling turn. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to get that later. Thank you. I thought that was going to be much more lucrative for Barry. Raise here from Barry Garrett, three bets. This is one of the weaker hands we've seen three bet today. Yep. He wants to clear out all the riffraff, be in position, and he has a better hand. Pretty good situation. Wonder Woman is back. Take your advice, Francis. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Salmon? Barry calls. Salmon, that's good. And flops a queen. Yeah, I always get it here. That's right. Rough start for Barry, but things have definitely started to look up for him. Thank you. Good looking out. Barry check calls. Yeah, right. This will go check, check. I do miss Nick with like three scoops of Neapolitan ice cream. I know, this just doesn't this feel right, like, does it? it? No, it really. Don't worry, I'll be back. I'm starting to get worried about you. Don't, Clubs don't get me. there, Barry My makes the straight, down this way, Garrett too. gives up. You may not like it. Yeah, I save you for ordering fried chicken or things like that. Thank you. <laughs> fried chicken sounds good. It, then I'll order it. So thank fried you. chicken, yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah, I've just heard about the salmon oh, here. As, you have you had it? I've had it. Yeah, like I said, the food here is good. Yeah. It's like actually, I think we said it earlier, but Hustler is committed to making this I mean, the spot really. to play poker like, in like L.A. And in a couple of weeks, like that soon, the game that's going to be streamed will be going in, on other tables as well. Yeah, no doubt. Like pizza you'll have. All the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was younger, we used to go to uh, Popeye's. I thought Popeye's was good. It is good. I never like Popeye's. I never. It's awesome. You know, I was making fun of my wife for, you know, feels like every, like, month she's getting a new gadget for the kitchen. Okay. But, you know, a while ago she went and got an air fryer. And I was like, okay. And I will never make fun of her again because she's been making some fried chicken out of the air fryer. It's like God's food. Yeah, I've heard those those things are life changing. Oh, it is, it is amazing. Anybody in the chat, what do you guys think? I get thumbs up for that. Yeah. Who's had, who's had some fried chicken out of the air fryer? Someone's going to say it's the worst yeah, thing ever it's, invented. It's, no, and it's really good. I know, but someone's going to say that for sure. Yeah, see? Timothy's there. Yeah, I don't know. 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 I don
No. David as well. No, I mean, I'm not even kidding. I was like, what is this thing? She's like, no, it's an air fryer. And not only that, like, it, it was like... It tasted amazing without like all the oil and yeah. grease. How much how much are those things about the one you got? Do you know? Huh? Do you know how much I, they're? I have no idea. Yeah. I don't think it was a lot though, maybe a couple hundred dollars. I have no idea, I'll be honest. Somebody can Google and let me know. I have no idea. I can't imagine it was that much money. I'm always in for Is this once again they're not straddled? David says sixty bucks. Maybe a hundred. Okay, so I'm I'm overstating it. I have no idea. 800? 800. There you go, Jeremy. I mean, I'm married. You've been married. My wife doesn't... She doesn't ask me. She doesn't ask me before she buys something. No, she's no. Cer- I, I she's certainly not going to come that, to me and yeah. be like, hey, this is this much. Uh, like, yeah, whatever. It just shows up. I've, if we don't get two Amazon Jordan. packages a day, yeah. I'm like, something's wrong. Something's wrong. Yeah. Okay. No, I've just heard such yeah, great things about those. Longer, longer. Get one. Yeah, it's seriously. Long. It's... It, I don't use it. My wife doesn't let me touch it, but it's it's... Miraculous, the food that comes out of it. Jeremy could win a nice bot here. Yes, for eight hundred. Eight hundred. Oh, quasi cooler. George just got bored and limp call with eight seven off. So he's been. Well, he's been some. doing that. I, we saw him. He he called the raise at seven three, suited earlier on. And I think those lulls in the action that you mentioned, they affect different players differently. You know, some players, they're cool with it. They can they can sit there for hours and hours and hours and just wait for the game to pick up again. And some players kind of force it. Nice. Jeremy picks up a nice little pot. Jeremy's having a decent day. He's up. Okay, so for anybody who has an air fryer, my wife did this, and it was so cool. Okay, so you know, like, you know, mozzarella string cheese. Sure. Right, if you've got kids, you got you always have that in your friggin' fridge, right? Absolutely. So she took that, put it in the freezer, so they were frozen. Then wrapped them in bacon, put them in the air fryer. Unbelievable. Oh. Yeah, that sounds pretty great. Right. It's it's bacon wrapped around mozzarella cheese. Lightly fried. I mean, what's not to love, right? Uh, I know. For those of you, those uh, vegetarians out there, vegans, I apologize. But, yeah. Like sorry, George not sorry. George ball. limping Jack six suited out of the gun, so he's <laughs> just gotten a little bit bored. I, absolutely, I noticed that. Yeah, like I said, he called the raise at seven three. Let's go, Julie. Punish the limpers. Julie's back. Come on, Julie. One thousand. Five hundred. Hustler Casino Live, the big game every Friday. Mondays will uh, more often than not be PLO. And then, of course, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, more No Limit Hold'em. George, getting bored with the Jack Six, flopping the best of it. Julie does have overcards and the gut shot. All right, good bet, Julie. She bet bigger in this situation earlier in the stream. George checks. I think my biggest spot ever win, you and Gary was there. The one that get the uh, golf. That's the biggest spot ever win. What'd you have? Remember you went there in the, in the... Yeah, but what was the hand? I don't... I have five... Julie's gonna double barrel I this. I have five, seven, jack. Uh, I raised, he bet 5,000, I raised to 18. I mean, does she dollars. think that she's gonna get George to fold the jack? That's 107,000, that's 100. Um, yeah. I mean, she must think that because yeah. If he doesn't Before have one, hand, she doesn't need to bluff. You were there. Right, she's beating king queen. She beats queen nine, nine eight. What He's not a great candidate in general to bluff. Well, she, in, in fairness, she does not know what we know, which is that clearly George has been bored the last last ten minutes or so. True. Uh, he hits his second pair, but obviously it does not improve his hands. As he has Jackson tens with a six kicker. I, I don't think she can win this pot. Up there in San Diego. She has to go super big, right? I, I and just, even then. I just, it's just not going to work. I don't think. It's a long time ago. Those are big I mean, she is repping aces or kings, right? I just went one time. Or ace jack? 
Uh, do people bet three times with aces and kings on a paired Could flop have. three one, ways? Two million, quickly, easily. <laughs> Maybe not. Games, you, know? yeah. <laughs> you ran bad one time and you're like, all right, fuck it, I'm down. No, I went because uh, a couple days before I win like 60k in the yeah. commerce. Well, you knew it was like a I feel like once he calls the turn, yeah, but I, I, it's time to give up. I was that. I wasn't even good for. Yeah, You're wrong. Probably a decade ago now. I mean, it's such a weird spot to bluff, yeah. and he might be thinking, well, she can't be bluffing, can yeah, she? Sure. Years, right? it, it could work. Uh, he could get <laughs> leveled here. They just want to sleep, right? And they'll come. He's dead. I think when push comes to shove, though, he's going to toss those chips in the pot. He's just getting too good a price. It's getting more than three to one. She's been unlucky all day. Call. Yeah. Call. Jack. People ask whether calling the clock makes people more inclined to call or fold. That just proves it right there that it's call. The the, the dealer said 10 seconds, which is similar to someone calling a clock, and he said call. Is everyone being nice in the chat today? Yeah. Chat is top notch. We're at 979 likes. Let's get that to 1,000, guys. There are a lot of people watching. I know. Sometimes that means a lot of people who are watching who are not clicking that like button. Come on. Sorry. Free content Monday through Friday. Okay, all right. No problem. Yeah, this is our big game. They're playing 5,100 with a $100 big blind ante. DGAF. David Tuckman calling the action. That's a look at Garrett. The legend that is. I do, I think so. I do, I think so. He's got 150,000 on the table. That's $150,000 at the table. Ace, ace, queen out there. Francisco with trip aces. This was limped around again. Francisco just not raising with his big aces. Yeah, he's, he's limping a lot. And there we have it. We're at a thousand. A thousand likes. And you see somebody in the chat going, it's story time. You're like, 10? We have 1,000 exactly. Or does it? I have no idea. I assume it's not exact, but could be. Give me 20? Yeah. Just do what you want with it, right? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, I don't know if you're going to put it now, but I'm saying you'll have it. Yeah. No, no, no. Now, if you're paying attention, you'll notice that Francisco has been limping in with some big aces. So you can't discount, even though this is a limp round pot, you can't say he doesn't have a big ace here. <laughs> a lot of whites in here, though, this time. Yeah. Jeremy's been pretty locked in all day. With the right chips, you can get a million. I don't, I don't want to you what? With the right chips, you can get a million. That's, that's easy. easy. All right, so I'll make this story quick because I feel another big hand coming on. Well, if a big hand happens, just pause the story pause and then continue. Sure. That's fine. We're not in a rush. We got, we got at least a couple hours of poker, so. So I used to... You want those colors? Drive up to LA from San Diego and I'd stay at the Commerce, but I'd often check in early in the morning to save one night of a room. Can we get 10, 1, so I'd play that night for Julie, for and then uh, 10, 1, if, you are, yeah, yeah, if you play in LA, between Julie 2 and 6 a.m. you cannot drink at the table. You have to sneak it, right? Well, 
no, Garrett okay. and I wanted to have a few beers it. after 2 a.m. So we, we went out to my car my in the parking lot and just had a few what? beers and, oh, or maybe a little bit more than that. And then uh, we came in back in the, in the commerce poker room and uh, Johnson, this was well before he won the main event. <laughs> and I'll pause it right here. Yeah. Great. Nice huh? I like it. I like it. There you go. It's a nice teaser. People waiting on the edge of their seat. Get a three bet here from Francisco. So Francisco, who has not raised with Ace Jack or Ace Queen the last hour, decides to three bet this one to 2,500. Thank you for your cooperation. I'll say one thing about Francisco. You can't put this guy in a box. I mean, try to figure nope. out what, what he has. He is very unpredictable. Indeed. And he correctly realized that Jeremy's having a good day. That's a good person to, to try and bluff. So, And he's limp called a bunch. So a limp, a limp re-raise has lots of... Uh, you don't play the main event tournament, right? Lots of credit there. Oh, yeah? Anyways, we came back into the commerce and walked into the poker room, and we both loved yeah, right. Johnson. He was the nicest guy before he won, before he got all the money, and he was playing 1020. And Garrett was just so you happy better. to see him that he just like went up and tackled him. And Johnson had bet two or three thousand on the river, and. His, when you're bluffing, the last thing you want is someone to come tackle you. And the guy that was tanking got a read from that and snap called and won the money. And uh, it was just unfortunate for Johnson, but uh, I think he's recovered. One more hunger, right? I, I have a question to ask you, but I want to wait for the hand in this hand here. So we got a raise from Barry, a call from Garrett. Francisco calls. Armenia Mike calls. Four-way action. Pots 25-50. Case King. Are you surprised Garrett flat it with Ace Jack? Yeah, you wonder if there's he picks up and up. Because he has been three betting Barry a ton. Of course he did. But this one he decides not to. Now he's got a gut shot to Broadway on a rainbow board. A bet from Barry. Garrett calls. We can see one of the Queens is dead. And Francisco in kind of a, a precarious spot as well. Well, if a Queen comes. A queen's coming, right? I mean, that's just a, a given. Man, if it comes, that's just so rough. Barry with top set. Check, check. Checks around. Barry. I mean, I've seen this happen too, and you have as well. You have a rough night, you lose with the set, you're losing with some pairs. You just get a little gun shy, right? You're just scared that your opponent always has the nuts. I mean, and on a king 10 board, a nine completes the obvious straight. Yeah. Two players in there. Uh, I don't mind the check at all. This would be a big fold by Francisco. Not a huge fold, but a big fold. I think he's going to make it. And I'm wrong. Well, Barry does get some action. Good catch. Case King. What a flop. I have a king. Makes him some money. I have a king. So was it obvious? So when when Garrett hugged him, what did what was uh, John's reaction? So I, I saw it. I saw that, that John had bet. It was a big bet for 1020. It was 2,000 yeah. or 3,000. And yeah, I saw it and was waiting for the hand to end, but Garrett was too excited to see him. Maybe he had a couple more beers than I did. And, uh... Oh, bump pad or no? Collection hand. Gonna be collection hand. And yeah, whoever the, the villain was, collection just... Hand. I saw the whole thing, just looked at him. He just he just was very unsettled because he was bluffing, right? You, right. You, you don't want anyone tackling you in that spot. And it cost him the pot, perhaps. But then he won the main event. So... Uh, He's okay. Did Garrett give him the $2,000 back? No. I mean, we, we probably jumped in that game and gave it back. So, inadvertently. 
By the way, Johnson is like one of the nicest guys. I've played with him a few times here in LA and he's just, yeah, I mean, just such an unassuming guy. I mean, plays 5'10", 10'20", you know, kind of mid-stakes, no-limit hold'em player. Good player, obviously. Yeah. Was always the nicest guy before he won the yeah. main event. And people are not happy with that story. They want something dirtier. I've got those, too. I was just thinking a lot of poker fans out there. The World Series of Poker main event champion and... I liked it. The the live stream champion. I don't know. Yeah. I, I thought it was a good story. A wholesome story. I guess they want to hear. I mean, you could tell the same story and just be like, oh, and that's when John Sin turned around and punched Garrett in the face and they started wrestling. And they're both 86 from Commerce. I mean, yeah, I'm not trying. happening, but hey. <laughs> I mean, I have some. Well, listen, you're going to be coming back. I mean, you'll be here a week every month. So you got to save some stories, right? True. Mike, are you okay with the big battle? You had the battle last time, Mike? Yeah, I was, I was not a... I was no, no, I, I was... Just had the battle. No. The yeah, the battle for Mike. I told the story of Francisco beating me in my biggest pot ever. Yeah. I think when I... Yeah, you're right. On Tuesday with you. He wasn't Francisco the pro back then. Oh wow! Wow, you let you let Francisco the recreational player beat you? Yeah, <laughs> ruined my life. Man, it's weak. Okay. Have some. But we'll get more. I promise. All right. Thank you. We will definitely get more DGAF stories. And if you want more of them, you can always subscribe to his podcast. Search for it, the DGAF Sessions podcast. Find it. A lot of the podcasts are free, pay a little bit of money, help them out, and then you get the rest of them. And you get some really good ones, including the week of podcasts with Garrett, and I imagine lots of storytelling. Lots of storytelling in that one. Um, many other characters from the poker world. <laughs> Had a really good two-part interview with Matt Berkey around the same time. I get it, you're good. Matt Moore. Berkey's a great one. Matt Moore, too. I've had Matt Moore on my podcast. Uh, Berkey, I had on my podcast once, and I didn't know what direction it would go. We got a flush draw here for George. We got an open-ended straight draw for Julie. Top pair for Jeremy. Action flop. Gut shot for Francisco, but no backdoor spades. Pot is already 1,300. George bets 600. Jeremy calls. Julie's going to call as well. There's the jack. She was due. She's going to check. George has now picked up a straight draw to go along with the flush draw. Pretty scary card if you're Jeremy. And George takes the card. Does Jeremy bet? No. Wow. Blank on the river. Julie's going to check one more time. Very cagey. And it checks around. She doesn't get the value she was hoping for. But she did win a pot finally. Yes. Yeah. Good thing flush didn't come. I might have paid you off there. <laughs> she gets a couple speeches from <laughs> for winning a small pot. Yeah, isn't that the best? <laughs> I would I would, I totally would have paid you off. I have to need old Julie, she's a friend. Right. Uh, I wasn't paying. I mean don't fuck with me man. Grinding. I don't know if Jeremy wouldn't pay her off to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's yeah. You know, that hand is kind of a, uh, I think, makes a case for why we don't play as many hands out of position. It's just hard. But even when you make your hand, if you're out of yeah, position, it's hard to maximize the value. Yeah. George is ready to make right? true. true words. No, no, no. I know there's something is fishy. I just George, I hard. knew something was fishy. <laughs> he smelled it. Jeremy picks up kings again. Last time he had kings, he doubled up. 
Well, actually, he didn't double up. He should have doubled up. He got it all in with Garrett, and they chopped it up. My bad. Julie's going to call. No, pardon me. She's going to three bet. I like the aggression. Unfortunately, she ran into it again. I gave you 15, and you had about four or five left. What are you doing in Jeremy's spot? Are you four betting here? Yes. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, nine, fourteen, eighteen. Sizing. You're in position. Um, I, I think thirty-eight hundred is good. She's getting a count from him? I, I guess so, trying to figure out if it's worth it or not. Queen Jack offsuit, just not a hand that plays very well against a four bet range, is it? Yeah, I like this. I was going to say, it. this is a good spot to show your, your cards. I was going to do the same thing. I know, three times. Really bad hand. Well, you chopped once. Jeremy wins another. Yeah, great, great. I remember the first time I played in a big Friday game. I definitely had butterflies. I had seen Andy and Garrett and Gall and all them play before, but was definitely not, you know, feeling like I was on their level. And, you know, I got in there and mixed it up with them and realized that it's still poker. Everybody gets two cards and got more comfortable and gained confidence. And, yeah, I've, I've definitely learned a lot from playing those guys. They, you know, play at a very high level, but they've improved my game a lot. Do they have any other coffee besides great coffee? You're a good doctor. That's crazy. Always my intention to help people. And God tell me. Julie with another playable hand here. King 10 suited. Okay, give me a coffee with sugar and cream. You want iced coffee? So, Julie? Yeah. So I was saying before that hand, before, and then, Tina, when you get a second, I'm gonna George is going to come along through. Right. Julie three bets here to 900. So George uh, not going anywhere. He makes this call. Pots 2,000. Queen, queen, deuce, rainbow. See if Julie puts a bet out there and wins it, or George gets stubborn with an ace high. She's going to check it back. I don't mind this at all if she's going to bet the turn. Well, now he hits a pair of eights. Mm. She checks it again. Ooh. And she hits a 10. So it all worked out well for her, and uh, she's actually getting some value out of it. So Maximizes her pay. So also, if you her. blink, you won't notice. I yeah, this is. Quick. I mean, he's not bluffing. He's trying to get value, and 10 is good. So, yeah, when I had Brooke in my podcast, I was, you know, a lot of times I get, you know, some, some famous poker players on my show and on my, on my podcast. And I never know what direction it's going to go. You know, I'll have an outline of where I want it to go. Yeah. But then oftentimes, 10 minutes into it, you know, I'm tossing the paper out. I'm tossing the outline in the garbage because we've gone a completely different direction. And I remember talking to Berkey about his childhood and how he came out to, you know, and as a poker player and, and you know, the, the challenges and battles he had as an athlete, as a poker player. With his family, it was really fascinating. I was like, man, I had no idea. Almost identical to my interview with him. Yeah. And, and I do them the same way. I, I write some stuff down to guide me, and sometimes I just go completely off the rails. Right. You start a conversation, you've got a guideline, and then you realize you're like, wait a second. Okay, I, I don't care about that tournament. I just want to hear about. Yeah. Well, tell me about what happened when you were 16 again. Yeah. Very inspiring story. I imagine we'll see him on this stream. Oh, with no doubt. Yeah. No doubt at all. Barry picks up tens. This guy has had pocket pair after pocket pair today. Papas and tatas. 
Um, no, I, I he's definitely uh, clawed goodbye, back a little Pim. bit, but <laughs> goodbye, Pim. I love how you go right she's, serious she's on me. Has yeah, a long way to go. <laughs> Julie, by the way, is the original no, razor. Coffee? Barry just called. Coffee, your wife says and Julie tatas. flops a jack. No tatas. <laughs> she should be able to get some money out of him. Armenian Mike with a pair of sixes. You know what I mean? I said tatas, but I knew it was close. Five hundred dollar bet by Julie. Barry calls. I tried to say papas and tatas. Yeah, tatas. Armenian Mike coming along, seeing if he can spike two pair or trips. Papas and tatas. Or a four or five. Yeah. Papas and tatas. That would be a great restaurant. That's a good name. Everybody goes. Yeah. Everybody goes. Julie will bet again. And then they have a big. You want to hire waiters? Safe enough card. Yeah, make sure you have a big menu. No, big like, menu. No, yeah, big menu. She's going to bet about 1,800. No. Yeah. And the girls? Uh, 1,800. And the girls? Uh, you know what I mean? Barry's we, noticed we, that she's menu. opened up her game a bunch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, two diamonds out there. I like that. When's the last time you've been to a food Maybe they don't let you put that name, you I mean, I've been there at some point in my life, but I couldn't tell you in years. Yeah. When I was like 21, they took me there for my birthday. The good news when Barry faces Julie is that one of them has to win at least, because both of them had a rough night. True. <laughs> Julie bets 5,500. Barry does not make the call. She's going into the zone. Leave her alone. She said, going into a zone, leave me alone. I know you didn't. She said, Jeremy, don't talk. I don't like being unfriendly. I just like focusing. Someone asked what's considered high stakes. This. This well, is high stakes. This is definitely high stakes. <laughs> uh, Tuesday's game was definitely high stakes. It was huge. That was an enormous game. Yeah, like I said earlier, stakes is really the amount of money on the on the table, more so than what the blinds are. I mean, there was a game at the Golden Nugget for years that was like a one-two blind game where people would buy in for twenty thousand. Yeah, that's funny. High, high stakes. Yeah, I mean, the funny thing is, like Sklansky would talk about this and be like, "If there's no blinds though, and there's no antes, the game should be dead." But it wasn't. You know what I will have? Well, there's ego. They weren't factoring in ego. Right. And. Lack of patience. Look at Julie. Julie really opening up here. Let's go, Julie. I like this version of Julie. Yeah, aggressive Julie. Yeah. <laughs> and and frankly, a continuation bet will probably get the job done. Yes. I mean, Mike is pretty stubborn, but. <laughs> By the way, if there's ever a live tell, I'm gonna go back to my limit hold'em days. If you're playing against an opponent, I'm, I'm curious what you think about this one. For this is way back when I used to prop and I was limit hold'em. Notice how, notice how Mike grabbed his chip, then checked. And he's almost grabbing his chips to like, kind of like, oh, I'm ready to call you. Whenever I saw a dude do that in limit hold'em, 100% I bet. Yep, that, that's a pretty reliable tell. Man, I just had it. It's probably really bad. They're going to chop this up if it goes to showdown, by the way. You get half, Julie. Just turn it over. You win. You win. Now, be careful when you play live poker because there are good players out there that will try to give you reverse tells. Of course. But that, like, you know, if you're playing against a recreational player and they grab their chips, like, threatening to call you, just bet. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that combined with the the, the eye contact he made, especially if they pause for a moment too. Yeah. Michael Myers has nine. Oh, it's Friday the thirteenth today. Ah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I should go home and scare the shit out of my kids. Friday the thirteenth. Put on some spooky mask. Oh, yeah. Just walk in their room and wake them up at like midnight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give them some PTSD for later. Yeah, exactly. Hey. <laughs> I mean, if they're going to go to therapy when they're older, I want to have something to talk about. Sure. I mean, honestly, if you can't fuck with your kids, why are you having them? 
Barry with the 10 6. You know what? I mean, the pressure of having that guy. I feel like poker hour, is you know? very much like a fight. <laughs> like, everybody's got a plan until you get punched in the face. Yeah, just right? walking then in. Then what? You can never get any. You know, fast forward, uh, you know, fast forward for four some hours. Reason, some guys are down 35K. Julie's down a lot. And it's like, you know what? Let's play. Let, let's open the 10 6 of clubs and continuation bet with nothing. And it, and it worked because Garrett also had nothing. I haven't had one big hand. Not one. Allison Chain says you should toilet paper your own house, Tuck. I had a pair of like tens. That. that was it. I had a pair of tens. <laughs> Except one. you got to clean it up. Oh. And I had an ace jack real early against ace queen. I wouldn't have lost a lot of money if I didn't yeah. have some big hands. Yeah. Funny how that works. I know. It's careful what you ask yeah. for, right? Yeah. yeah. Did you have aces or kings in that hand? Well, you don't have to say. Aces, yeah. I'll say. Yeah, no, I know. I just... Yeah, I figure it had to be one I of the mean, two. I don't know. Like, I don't so know. we got the straddle on, and you got Garrett opening yeah, with yeah, queen so five suited, George flatting with ten nine suited, and Jeremy yeah. folding yeah. ace ten off suited. Would you like a three bet in George's uh, spot? With that board, no. Uh, sure. Yeah. And Jeremy thought about doing it, and his instinct was correct as well. Problem is, you're really deep against someone. Who's uh, really good at playing deep? I mean, I'm not. I'm not all for. It. Listen, I don't want to isolate Garrett, but when he opens in late position, and I've got a hand that I want to play like 10-9 suited, I don't mind kind of putting some pressure on him, especially in George's spot because he's the one player who has position on Garrett. Yeah, but look, Francisco with the eights. I like it. Somehow we all kind of just sense that Garrett. You just felt it, you know. Right. Sometimes you see Jeremy it, you know. wanted to. Francisco did. I mean, we could see the cards, but there was just something about it. You're a born customer. Even the best giveaway stuff. Yeah, I'm in late position. It's the first straddle we've seen in a while. There's some dead money in there. Garrett hasn't played a hand in a couple of orbits. This is pretty unlucky for Francisco. This is incredibly unlucky. I mean, there's an overcard, but you're not really scared of it when you have eights, right? No, you're not. You're not you're not scared of the hand that called and then called the big squeeze. I mean, and you you, you don't think he ever has an overpair to the nine because he didn't three bet pre. No, he doesn't have an overpair. You don't need to bet this much, but <sighs> funny thing is he's betting so much that it's like he's almost turning his eights into a bluff. That would be something, <laughs> right? Yeah. We saw it on Tuesday when Jack did that. Jack made that masterful play with top pair, a pair of jacks, and got Pablo to fold over pair with kings. Look at this. Look at this. It's crazy. Number four player in Lebanon. <laughs> okay, now I'm curious if, if Francisco picks up on that weakness. Yes. And does he barrel again? The problem is his hand is just too good. You can't know you have to bluff. You're, you're kind of just happy to get the show down with eights. Sometimes that sucks in poker. Sometimes your hand, it's kind of funny. Sometimes you make something or your hand is just too good. And you go like, if I actually had nothing, I win this pot. True. <laughs> yeah. If he had queen jack, he wins his pot. Right. That's the crazy thing. He might still win this pop, by the way. I think he just bet 5K. No, no, I think it was a time. Oh, is it a time? Okay, yeah, yeah. Good, no, good call. Thank you. Wow, this, he is the pro if he realizes he needs to bluff with eights. I think this is a bluff, right? If he does fire? He's not betting for value. No, he, no he's, he's trying checked. to get this showdown. Okay, fair enough. And this is just a check. It's nothing else ever. I'm on nine. Good. Yeah, yeah. It happens. I know it. I, I put them on the pair. Wow. Some kind of pair. Some kind of pair. He almost did turn the eights into a bluff. Whatever you're doing now. No, no man. The crazy I'm thing is, is, first time in my life, I, if he thinks his opponent occasionally has nines when he, you know, hemmed and hawed, 
If he bets the river, it really looks like his hand is like jacks, queens a lot. Yeah. Problem is George is just not scared money at all. No. A lot of plays that make no, sense, this, this you have to adjust like based on your, yeah, your opponent. Team, you know. yeah. Pretty unlucky by uh, pretty unlucky flop for Francisco. And now George is the one with eights. They're going around. Look at George's stack. Let's see George and Garrett all in tonight. Did George just open to a thousand? It is a straddled pot, so he goes five X. Okay, fair enough. Julie's gonna be gambling here. Oh, yeah, she's got pocket threes. Are you kidding me? Stay on the sidelines, Julie. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Do what you have to do. I mean, she's got 30,000 behind. So the game, if it wasn't out of the muck before, is out of the muck. Absolutely. You think? King 9 4. Me too. Francisco now with a pair of nines has the best hand. Check, check. I guess uh, it's all fair, fair play here. So it was jo it was Francisco with the eights against nine ten, and now it's Francisco with the pair of nines against George's eights. True. But much tougher spot here for Francisco with the player to act behind him. He does have his backdoor clubs. Yeah, he's calling. <laughs> all right, now it now it's all is fair. <laughs> right? It's about like the it. same. Oh, that's a pretty good turn card, though, for George. Can you rep? <laughs> Absolutely. Go make the meatloaf, ma. Pot is 8,100. And Francisco has... Almost uh, no aces in his range, so number four player from Lebanon. <laughs> is, okay, it, number four, and I'm not making fun, George. Okay, he could absolutely be the number four player from Lebanon. I'm wondering based on what rankings, because I have driven through LA where like a hamburger joint will be like, it's the voted the best hamburger in LA by who? What your mom said it was? I thought you, I thought you named the. It was the uh, Lebanon what Weekly. Yeah. I, I figured, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> prestigious. <laughs> so does Francisco use his time chip every time he wants to get the showdown cheap? <laughs> well, he said he was thinking about bluffing last time. He's thinking about bluffing with the best hand this time. He's thinking... Does he really think he's going to get a king to fold? That's what he's thinking. Even though he doesn't rep any aces. Wow. Boom. Funny thing is, if he had done that last hand, he wins. What if George pays him here, correctly reads that he's bluffing? That's always a nightmare at the table. The only thing I'm wondering is he... Francisco called a flop. King 9-4, rainbow flop. What, what does he have? What bluffs does he have in his range? Well, what, what aces does he have? Ace-9. I'm going to fold. I got your hand last time. This is going to make him sick. Okay. Who is it? You got to give him credit, though. How much tougher has Francisco gotten over the yeah. years? You have to wait till tomorrow. Oh, I'll see it tonight. No, tomorrow. Not tonight. Be tuning in, right? No, no, no. Tonight, his wife don't want to lend you watch the stream. <laughs> okay. He can fast forward. Francisco says he will win a tournament soon. Yeah, you your I, I believe, believe it. it, yeah. I believe him. He actually has a great style for yeah, tournament yeah, poker. Straddle. Thank you, sir. God damn it, Nick. What do I do? <laughs> I know. Nick's been pretty quiet today. Yeah, I he has. Nice hand, Francisco. Well Barry with ace 10. Garrett with the hand that absolutely demolished Barry earlier tonight. Oh, boy. Do you guys remember that one? He's really toned down the, the three betting. 
he might be thinking what you were thinking earlier on, that he doesn't want to isolate. He wants to let some of the players behind in. He doesn't want to shut out his friend, Mike. Possibly. King Jack Jack. Nick with trip jacks. You were just saying he's been quiet. Pot is 3,200. Nick's just going to lead out. Yeah, he's going to try and get value from a king. Do we like the lead out, or would you prefer him checking to the razor and kind of playing it more conventional? I prefer a little more conventional with such aggressive players behind you. Put up the flags. A bunch of bluffers Put up in the there. Flags. Here. Garrett, Francisco. I know I'm not going to get it from Lauren, so. It's different it when it's heads up. Either. It just looks so strong into the field. Jared always deals me some really good hands, like in the last couple months. You are watching Hustler Casino Live. DGAF has been here all week. You can watch all of his shows. They have all been archived on our YouTube channel. I'm David Tuckman. We're here Monday through Friday, 9. Why do I keep saying 9? 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Pacific time. Show is always free, and we uh, really appreciate you guys joining us. I see uh, we're at 28.50. Can we get the 3,000? You see next to the, the next to that yeah, like meant, button, three there's a share button. Bucket. Hit that share button. Let your friends know about it. If I've learned anything this week, it's that some people are going to be mad at you for saying that in the chat. Share? Yeah. Why? People don't like sharing? <laughs> I'm just telling you, you just made some people really mad. I'm always making somebody mad. Open-ended straight draw for Nick, Armenian Mike, uh, with a gutter and overs. He also has the ace of clubs. 13.50 in there. Nick's going to take a shot at it. He's going to use his squeaky clean image right here. Yeah, I don't think Armenian Mike's going to fold just yet, but we'll see. Not for 600. By the way, Armenian Mike only has 4,600. He's uh, kind of been hemorrhaging. It's like the slow bleed. Yeah. Yeah, bring it. You can leave him there. It's, it's cool. Thank you. No, he's going to let him. No, it calls. Okay. What do I owe you? <laughs> Looking for a little solidarity. Right? Thank you. And he hits. Nick does not need to bet. <laughs> Nick could give Armenian Mike a missed flush draw and be a hero right here. He's considering it. Yes. It, He's absolutely considering it. It is a good sizing by Armenian is that, Mike. Is that everything? Very polarized. Yeah, yeah, oh no, don't. What'd you say? Yeah, don't no, talk no, to no. him. Taxi. Yeah, see, Nick just figured that out real quick. Yeah. yeah, I don't care. Show it. Show it. Doesn't matter to me. If, I, if I'm happy to let anyone block me before it was Mike. Only Mike? Okay. I think I think Mike had a chance to get called there until he got up. Yeah, and said <laughs> this is for the taxi. He <laughs> said, what? Oh, fold. <laughs> I started one, and then a round later, Jeremy picked it up. Garrett is what they call up stuck. Yeah, and while there's been a ton of action recently, it hasn't really included him, <laughs> which might be frustrating. Yeah, he's had a few opportunities to three-bet Barry and has just opted to let it go multi-way. Yeah. He's still up like 25K, right? Who's that? Uh, Garrett. Oh, he's up 40. Oh, okay, so, yeah. I mean, he's not up the wedding, but he's probably up the rehearsal dinner. 
for sure. 10 high flop, pair of 10s here for Barry. George is going to take a shot at it with a straight draw. Am I drawing dead on a spoon or what? <laughs> check, check. And the river of George gets there. Easy game. George pays him off. Yeah, Barry. Barry's run pretty poorly today. And Gary told, told Garrett, please two no times. Please two times. He said, right? Yeah, Jamie, you got lucky, you told Gar Garrett, please two times. Hey, oh. I got lucky or he got lucky. Let's see. No, you lose the first one. Yeah, I know, but like I'm a big favorite. <laughs> yeah, but you get lucky. Well, yeah, I mean. Just say yes, Jeremy. <laughs> what kind of it's always right? best to just say yes, I did. If you run too tight, you lose all your chips. <laughs> It'd be nice to just win both of those and win a 45 feet or whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> no, but I mean, I was, he, brought, he brought it up. Yeah, I can feel, I can hear Glass half full, glass half empty. I'm an optimist. I'm a glass half full kind of guy. You're all pretty. King. Look at Barry. I think he three bet the small blind with seven, six of clubs. I like it. Really like it. Kind of stepping out a little bit. And stepping into it. Yeah. It's much better against a late raise than the under the gun open from one of the most solid players at the table. But I like where his heart's at. Right. And he's, he's got the best hand. Big, big, got to imagine Jeremy she takes one off, big, right? Big Absolutely. Especially on this price. He's getting three to one, plus implied odds. And we can see there's a decent chance that he'll get to see the river for free. Well, he just hits it right away. Look at this. Well, Jeremy, uh, Jeremy's the one who should have the ace, right? Oh, uh, no, Barry, Barry three bet, three flop. I'm sorry, Barry. I'm sorry, Barry's the one. My brain. And I don't hate Jeremy's flat pre flop because he opened on the gun and got three bet from the small blind. Normally, that is really strong. It just wasn't here. Pot is 9,400. Oh, oh, baby. Look at Jeremy's yeah, face. Jeremy's going to be sick. Look at Jeremy's face. Oh, I knew it was coming. Oh, no. seriously, man? The good thing is that Barry just kind of acted too quickly on the river. He didn't think about value better. I put him in a straight draw. Maybe two pairs. Maybe. Jeremy, if that pair doesn't come at the end, it's going to be a big bet for me. You're probably going to call, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better than an inadvertent needle. Needle. Right, if, the, if the two pair doesn't come, you're going to actually make another $6,000 from me. Bertucci likes his ice cream and his meatballs. Not necessarily together, but maybe. Jeremy, <laughs> yeah, Jeremy with the eye roll there. That was upsetting. See, that's the interesting thing that Barry just said. And if Barry watches this, I, I want to get your take as well. If you're going to bet when you're bluffing and you make two pair the way your opponent played that hand, why not bet it for value or at least think about it? Yeah, I think he just, he's been running poorly all day and he got bailed out for once and he just was happy to turn it over. I mean, is it too thin to bet value bet the way that hand played no. out? No. No. Again, you don't have to bet a ton. You can choose different sizing. Yeah, pot was what ten? I mean, he goes he goes thirty one hundred. Yeah. Something like that. Very simple. I mean, it's not the thickest value bet of all time. Bottom two on that board, but uh, I I think if he takes his time, he he bets something in that ballpark. Yeah. Like you said. 
hard time to do on that. There's also nothing wrong, like, if you bet that and don't get called, you kind of leave your opponents guessing a little bit. Okay, what did he have? What did he three bet me with? Sure. So he just misapplied something pre-flop. He, he misapplied the raising the late open from the small blind. He, he, he raised the tight guy, the solid players under the gun open. But you gotta love the heart. Gotta love the heart. King high flop. No suits. Pair of kings for Julie. Pair of nines for Francisco. Gut shot for Barry. And a backdoor flush he does not want to make. No. Pot is 2450. This pot already a little bit bloated. So Francisco raising it up. Julie snap calls. That's an interesting 3x raise there by, Julie, uh, by Francisco. Yeah, this pot now 49.50. Blank on the turn. Yeah, raising with that exact hand. Julie checks it back. And Julie's winning this pot. Yeah, it's a clean run out for her. He has to know his hand isn't good here. I wouldn't hate to see like a $12,000 bet. Instead, she's going to bet for value here. 7-8 missed. I mean, if I'm trying to, uh, you know, find a bluff in a range. Yeah. She doesn't bet much here. Give him a really good price. Solid full. No. Yeah, yeah, you come No. Garrett still pacing the field with 141,000. George on 66, though. Those players are right next to each other. Julie's rallying. Yeah, she's making a really good comeback. George on a V pip of nearly 50. Barry at 44. Julie ticking up to 23. Garrett, the most aggressive player pre-flop. Barry's gotten aggressive. Look at Armenian Mike's pre-flop raise. Just doesn't raise pre. What hand was that that he raised? <coughs> I don't remember. Maybe ace queen or something. But even then, I remember I thought he grabbed him and then didn't. George is up 36,000. Wow. One more straddle. Yeah, one round. All right. Yeah, let's do a round of straddles. It's not my money. Let's do it. Arminia Mike, one round. We have a new setup. Hi, this is Brad. Hi, I'm Andrew. And we want to congratulate Nick and Ryan on the mega successful Congratulations. launch of Hustler Woo. Casino Live. You did it, wow. Yes, amazing. We also want to announce our partnership with Hustler Casino. We're gonna be doing meetup games there regularly. Wow, you're gonna love it. Oh yeah. Make sure you follow everybody on social media, <laughs> especially Hustler Casino Live, Brad Owen, yes. and myself. Let's go. You're gonna love it. Boom. Those guys seem pretty excited about this new live stream. No, I don't blame them. And if you've never been to one of their meetups and you're in the LA area, come on out to Hustler when they're here. Not only is it a lot of fun, those are both very fun dudes, but the games are always very good when they're in town as well. 
And if you can ever get Brad with pocket jacks, uh, it's going to work out pretty well for you usually. Can you count one more time? <laughs> nice yeah, kid. <laughs> You got a tough job, Lord. Yeah. You got the players going, let's go as fast as fucking possible. <laughs> and production's trying to get it right. <laughs> Sometimes at odds. Someone asked what my thoughts are on eating on stream. Uh, not a fan of it. And I know Ryan's not either, but you also do have to accommodate the, the high stakes players. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just take good? it. No, no, yeah. take it, take it. Okay. I was just, just, I just want to slide it a little yep, closer yep, to me. For sure. Thanks. It's better, right? Yeah. yeah. Less likely of yep. spills. I'll bet 500. This should be interesting. Garrett has the best hand, and he cannot know it. And he doesn't care. You think I've never eaten before? I was, yeah, no. For instructions. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next step is you put this into your mouth. Okay. And then what do you do? Swallow after that? Oh my god. Launch her. She's your advisor. Straddle advisor. Straddle is on. Nick opens with King Queen off suit. Garrett wants to punish his friend. Yes. And he has the hand. Uh, you know what you're doing, and it's very disrespectful. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you're a boy of a man. Charging boy. <laughs> you got all the doors. <laughs> I know what you're doing, and it's very disrespectful. Is it really? No, no. Are no, you talking to me? Not you. Good yeah. fold, Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, I, I was really excited when George was going to potentially put this Got about an hour and a half left of tonight's show. I want to thank all of you for joining us. We are approaching 3,000. Oh, I'm going to get really excited if we have over 3,000 people watching. 5,100, 100 Big Blind Ante, DGAF, David Tuckman here in the booth calling the action. We're going to get you on the table at some point too, right? Um, not, yeah, not, I, I know, in the future, I know. Yeah, I think next year. That's the plan. Sometime next year. I haven't talked to Ryan about it, but... No, it'll happen, though, right? It's got to. Yeah. No, 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 come on. Timothy says it's a bad parenting to try to justify your plays in online poker to your one-year-old daughter. I don't have a daughter. I have two thank sons, you, but you have a daughter. I think that's I, that's actually good parenting, right? Very good parenting. Yeah. Well done, Timothy. Good job, buddy. Quantum Chad says Tuck really needs the likes. I do. I, I, I have some self-esteem issues. I've always had a little bit of confidence problem, and I I need it. I, I, I search it. Please. Also, I love those likes. Nick said he was going to beat us up if we didn't get to 1.5K. Oh. Yeah, board, George. There you go. And look at oh, those guns. Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Call, right? I guess you can just call. You were talking, I thought you were talking about George. Oh. Talking about George. Armenia yeah. Mike. Yeah. Oh, look at that. He raised. <laughs> I was wondering if he was going to raise that one. He did. He raised. And he hit top pair. Check it.
Enjoy your pizza. Don't do it. Okay, all right. George has second pair. It's up to you. I'm just kidding. I gotta say, Armenian Mike with the hat yeah. on like that kind of looks like George Clooney. Got a little bit of George Clooney in him. Oh, the, I mean, when you can't it? see most of his face, okay, just him. like that look right there. <laughs> yeah. I want to save the money. <laughs> oh, thank you. You want I save money, right? Huh? I know that. I know that. Check. Check. They checked a hand down earlier. They're, they're playing this one. That's how it goes. Yeah, I mean, George kind of made it out like I have a new friend. So, like, he didn't necessarily, you know, they, they, they weren't necessarily like, you know, a long time old buddies that play, you know, play soft versus each other. It just happens to be that hand. Seems like they became friends today. Right. This is a new thing. There we go. Armenian Mike needed that one. He was uh, down, not a lot. I mean, he only bought it for 10K, but things weren't going his way, that's for sure. Okay, I have a bad kicker. Yeah, yeah. I have 10 sex today. Maybe she won't invite me to Aro. Jordan asking if we can put up the numbers. Uh, we get we do that every I, I, I dealer change, so <laughs> probably in like 15, 20 minutes. So, so stick with us. You'll see uh, who is up what, who has how many chips in front of them, V pip percentage, all sorts of things like that. Lots of goodies we have for you. This is a straddled pot. I keep expecting Francisco to squeeze in good squeeze spots. How many? One, two, three. He just doesn't do it. Fish and the pot. <laughs> Queen high flop. That is a pretty special flop for George. Plus draw top pair. No one really has anything to mix no. it up with him. Wow. Look what a flop. Good fold, Barry. Wow. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. There you go. That's why they all fold. They can't wow. have nothing. All of it. Oh, that made me sweat. Wow. So hot. Yeah, because it was just real, so hot, you know? What kind of soup do you like? Seafood. Oh, seafood's good? Yeah. That's my second choice. It was very good. Salmon. What's that? It was very good. Uh, but I don't think oh, it's the right good. thing to eat seafood right now, only if you really, really want. Why? Yeah. You Time of the year? No. Why? You're right. When you play, while well, you play. Why? You, you get, uh, well, I get so sweaty. Oh, yeah, I did. I get it very hot. From the soup? From the seafood? Yeah, hot soup, it makes you sweat. The second choice is shrimp uh, chow mein shrimp. Shrimp chow mein. Jeremy's played very well yes. today. Yeah, I, I, I've been really impressed with this game. I, I said at the beginning of the show, you know, a lot of us came here to watch Garrett play, you know, but for me, I, I had seen Garrett play before. Not that I wasn't excited about seeing him again, but I really wanted to see Jeremy, and I've been really impressed with his game. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is to not do anything stupid over the course of five hours. And... I struggle with that I all the time. I definitely do. And he's succeeding at that, uh, I think, better than anyone else at the table. Just not doing anything stupid, right? Letting the yeah. game come to him? He hasn't had one mishap that I can remember. No. I mean, he had the ace-king. He gets unlucky with 6-7, six, six, Barry 6-7. Six, you know, he's got kings against the queen nine of diamonds that he got unlock, unlucky to chop. He played that hand great. Yeah. I mean, I, I think he's probably up a, a few thousand dollars, maybe breaking even right around there, but he could easily be up 30, 40 K today. Yeah, the gap between the professionals and the uh, recreational players just keeps getting smaller and smaller. I'm sure you know many, you know, quote unquote, recreational players who are better than some people who call themselves pros. Of course. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Six of spades, exposed. Sorry. 
The main difference is the recreational players don't get super stressed out when they lose. Okay. In general. Just heads up. <laughs> Eight high is the best hand right now. George is going to call with, with a gut shot. The eight plays. This is <laughs> special. That's just a pot where, you said this earlier, you know, a pot where nobody has anything and who wants it more, who goes after, who goes after and gets it. You look, you look, you had a king. Did you? Didn't you? Okay. <laughs> I thought he had one too. First bad read of the day. Bad read by me too. Zero one one. Uh, oh. One one. Travel. It must be nice, you think about it. You know, Garrett makes, I don't know, whatever, 50K tonight, 45K tonight, or something like that. I mean, he could, like, work 30 days a year. Sure. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, he loses occasionally, too. But it's just, uh, it's pretty amazing when you think about the numbers and the money that's just being thrown around. Julie picks up King Queen. She's going to raise to 800. Again, a straddle pot. Barry picks up jacks. Oh, the, the greens, the greens. He just called. Greens, yeah. You know, because you separate. So Barry, three bets with a 7-6. Small blind against under the gun. Here against hijack, he just flats with jacks on the button. Yeah, he might have been thinking the same thing other players have been thinking <laughs> about not shutting other players out. Yeah, for sure. George is in there with King-10. <coughs> Pot is 29-50. Jax, very much in the lead. Two diamonds out there. None of the three players have a diamond among them. What did you say? Julie's not going to fold quite yet with the uh, backdoor everything. She's going to bet. Oh, she's going to bet. It's been down, however, since. Paul, 1,400? Yes. George is gone. Yes. Look at my so beautiful. Well, now she's got a little bit more equity. She's got a gut shot with the overs. She's going to check. Who's better, Jeremy or Antonio? If a jack comes on the river, that's going to be ugly. Oh. It's just disgusting. I don't know if she's going to see a river, though. He just bet 3,000 in the 5,700. Or Jeremy or Phil Hemio. I mean, if she had picked up spades, obviously, it'd be a different story. Cash, but. I pick you. Tournaments, I pick him. She's in there. She is in there. 18% equity. Looking for a jack, a king, or a queen. It's the ace of diamonds. Diamonds get there. Was she going to use that? Well, and also it's an ace, which would be a, a reasonable card to bluff. You'd have to bet a lot. Even though he thought the ace hit her, he probably would have called a normal size bet on the river. Boy, Jack would have been sick if it came. Gives me set in your street. Yeah, I know you will. I would have hated that. I mean, yeah, you just got it. You the last one. I get five white. I mean, I guess the problem in poke a hole in this theory. The problem with her then betting when the diamond comes off is if she had a flush draw, she's probably betting the turn. Right. She's probably just going to continue yeah, I firing. Thought, Did, I, don't, I don't remember. Was it a front door flush yeah. draw? Yeah, front door diamonds. Like 9, 4, 5, 10. I, I don't think always. I actually kind of like a, a check on the flop. She doesn't have to fold with the king, queen of spades. But a check on the flop is reasonable on a 9 high flop. It's a pre-flop raiser. And uh, she still has many ways to win the hand. But... Well, Barry wins one there. Yeah, it was two people we wanted to win a hand. Yeah. It was a, a no-lose no situation. 
I guess I'll pick Dawn, right? If I have to pick a side, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, like... You are watching Hustler Casino Live. That is Julie Yorn. Takes that one down with the ace queen. He goes back and forth a lot. But I'm sure Paul will win again. We find out what the line is for fun. I definitely Yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. Let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. You know what could be good? Gal, Antonio. That's great. That's. Yeah, when are we going to see Gall on the show? Sure, Ryan. Oh, sure, Ryan, working his magic. I have a lot of faith in Ryan to come up with some great lineups. Absolutely. This show is not even two weeks old. It's not even ten episodes old. And look at the quality of the production. This is interesting. So a race from Julie, Armenia might just called out of the big blind with queens. Ooh, and he's not going to like what he sees. Well, he's got the queen of hearts. Okay. Oh, he's got the nut flush draw. Did you bet or have a ring interest on any of the prior ones? Or? No. 1,000. Uh, 1,000. Yeah. This group with the, I play like one of the online games that he's in. Sure, sure. Everyone is kind of rooting for Cheering him. Cheering club. Yeah. I like Dan. George's like, bet, by the way, the years, got the so king so nine to fold. Two, like, yeah, so it's, uh, both as players and personally, yeah. I like him. So Armenian Mike exactly. so, can't lose this one unless he folds. Yeah. Let's see how good of friends they are now. Yeah, but no, no, no hard. Because my call, that's why. 16? <laughs> How much do you have uh, no, here? No, 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 no. Just asking. Uh, occasionally I would tune in for like a half hour. And then the stuff that like would get passed around social media, I'd see. Right. So the crazy hands, yeah. I didn't, I didn't figure you forgot it would be watching. I'm a draw on my helmet. No, like, uh, uh, this again, bet's not going to get called by anything, I don't like think. Oh, no. That, uh, I think it's just because they're both like two of the biggest names in yeah, poker. No, like, I mean, you know. Yeah. No, I mean, I put it on. I didn't. How much that? Which one? Which one? No, I was just wondering if he, if he actually yeah. watched um, it. Yeah. I can't say I watched an hour. <laughs> yeah. what, wow. Each match was what, like seven or eight hours? hours. Yeah. Yeah. But it could be fast, but I guess they all were just long. Huh? Yeah. They're pretty long, yeah. Enjoy Phil likes to limp in those situations. Okay. So it makes it even longer, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah they're talking about the heads-up matches between Phil Helmuth <laughs> and Antonio. That's 15 for the taxi. Daniel Lagranu. Garrett wasn't interested in them. So I know Phil will have changed his opinion. Then the upcoming one, I believe Phil Helmuth is going to be taking on Tom Dwan. Yeah. yeah. He said there's only two people in the world. It should be interesting. I want to see Bill Perkins. Yeah, against cool. Garrett, one million each. It, yeah. Followed up with these because Doc never on goes, this show. Not that yeah. I games that great. Yeah, yeah, I, just, yeah. I never do go on Phil. Well, that's quite a compliment. That's super yeah. cool. Yeah. And actually, he was. He's at, never said anything like that about me. He was George is Grammys, really in the tank here, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My brother said, "Tell him to sit next to me." I go ask yeah. him who he said he would never stand up for. Yeah. Yeah. He said, "Doc." He goes, "Yeah, that's my brother." Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Sorry. That? Yeah, I mean, if he thinks Armenian Mike maybe has an ace and he's turning his ace into a bluff, I... I used to play with him, and he said he would never. He said there were only two people in the world he would never play heads up with, and he said I was one of them. But the reason was because I never go on. He said Doc never goes on tilt, which I really don't. No. I can't, re I can't remember every time on tilt. Yeah. That never stopped me from not tilting before. I, prob actually, I probably so. just jinxed myself yeah, like 15 minutes here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm better. But yeah, I Does he finally talk I himself into calling here? No. So it seems like. Cool. Yeah. He's good. I don't ever I don't ever, I don't ever lose my cool, but I don't. Yeah, I definitely call. Cool. Like, hey, he makes the call. Oh. Makes the call, and it's a full double up there from Armenian Mike. How much is that? It's 5,625. There you go. Pot's 15, 5. 600. When he asked him how much he had on the turn, and nice hand. I mean, Mike put all his chips out there. Something about that bothered. Your heart is better George. than mine. I knew you got the jack. Huh? No, I got eight. Yes. 
Armenian Mike wins a big one. He doubles up to 15,000. Small hit for George, who's still up on the day. Garrett's our big winner. Mike's winning now too, right? Who? Armenian Mike. Yeah, yeah, he's up like 5,000 now. Well, not he was down 5K, won a couple of small little pots, and then doubled up right there. Julie picks up ace, ten of diamonds. She's picking up some playable hands. Now, I, yeah, this is where I'm curious. I want to see what happens to George. I don't even know what he has yet. There it is, sixes. What happens to George now that he's maybe a little upstuck? I just did a small three bet in position. It's not the end of the world. Just get no. a heads up with Julie. Pot's 18.50. Julie hits a pair of 10s. She got back to her diamond. She's way ahead of George now. Check, check. Could have been smaller, but I do like a bet there. And he's just going to give it up. Good fold. Seems like an easy fold, but no, when you're no, steamed no, up, no, no, no. it's not. It's never easy. Well, today's Friday, and my body knows. From a strategic standpoint, when you three bet pre and the yeah, flop no, comes I'm out, king like 10, like four, or whatever it was, king 10, five, no, no. if you check back no, no, that like, flop, yeah, sometimes. can you just fold the turn? I play, or, I mean, I or do you have to kind of call, pay one off, all. you think? I don't let it so typically, typically... Yes, I play. You're going to bet small on that yeah, flop. Okay, but, I don't um, but if you check back, back yeah, then you can I'm level yourself. I, I is she really betting because I showed weakness? I don't think you're showing that much weakness because no, you could be easily play. checking back pocket jacks, a 10. A bunch of hands that you would be calling with. So I guess you can fold some of the worst ones you have. But but yeah, that's the, that's the problem is you can level yourself. Well, I checked back. Now I have to call down with sixes. She could have ace jack. And so on. And she could have ace jack. Got a hand developing here. We got a raise from Barry with jacks. Armenian Mike calls in between Francisco. We've seen him kind of play some of these, you know, big aces slow, but ace king, he goes 5x on it. Julie's going to fold ace 10. Back over to Barry, and he's not folding. Francisco's got 15 8 behind. Barry just calls. Barry doesn't tilt, he said. He uh, said that he said that? Yeah, he said someone won't play him heads up because he never tilts. I buy that. We saw it earlier when he uh, lost the set of sevens. Cool as a cucumber. Yeah. It's chill. Mike lets it go. Heads up here, Ace King versus Jax. Now, Francisco does not bet small. I mean, this could very easily be a $4,000 bet. Yeah. Goes three. So 3,000 into 3,500. And a snap call here from Barry. This is going to be really interesting if the if it turns a brick, and it is. And Francisco does have the ace of spades in his hand. Ooh. Does he pull the trigger? What do you think? I mean, Barry's hand is like face up, isn't it? I know we can see it, but he... What could you have? You know what he has. <laughs> Barry called a three bet, a $1,500 three bet. Like, tens, jacks. So if you're in Francisco's spot, you're just thinking, can he fold tens or jacks to an all-in? It's a little over the pot. I think the correct answer is no. That he won't do it. Yeah. I mean, I know I can see the cards, but I'm just like, you're thinking of like, what kind of hands does he call 1,500 with, and then also snap call a nine high flop? I 
Oh. Now he, sorry, go ahead. Now he does a small bet, which Francisco hates it. He, he thinks he probably has two overcards. And Ten seconds. He's right. He doesn't quite have enough equity to call, but it's close enough. If he can win anything after he hits an ace or a king, then it's fine. Barry called so quickly on the flop. I don't think he has top set here very often. You know what we got going on here, don't you? Seven more. Oh. Whoa! That is sexy. I mean, if there was a way to get your opponent to fold tens or jacks or maybe queens, this is might be the way to do it. What do you think? I prefer an all-in, but... But doesn't it serve the same purpose? Because you know if... A lot of times people will try and save a few chips when they're bluffing. Okay. As opposed to when they have it, they want the full double up. The whole enchilada. But you got to respect his heart here. Seven more to me. 10,000 total. Correct. Seven more. He's got to be thinking, though, it's not just seven more because it's going to be, you know, if he calls this, it's another 2850, really. He's in a tough spot. Good hand. Can I Ooh. see the river, please? Perfect. Wow. Uh, I think I bluff you. I don't know. Good hand. You have it? Yeah. I had you. Can I have a time shift? Well played. Just, yeah, it's right there. Just that is a really creative way to play that hand. Good hand. Thank you. Thank you. I wasn't sure. It is. Do you like it? I, I respect it. I didn't. I don't know much about Lord, Barry. I, I don't want to write the meal. I didn't think he was folding over a pair for, for that amount. Well, I call myself Francisco the Pro because I feel I play more better like a pros right now. And um, I like challenge pro players. I'm on top of everybody because my skills double, triple up, 300%. And I think I'm the best right now. And I. That I say, if I go all in, this yes. guy gonna Germany maybe call. For <laughs> so I don't know what to do. If that I play so certainly was made by a confident man. You know, and he just heard him say, like, he's like, I'm feeling like I'm playing like a pro. I feel like I'm playing as well as anybody, if not better. You know, and that's 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 something that a confident player will do. You know, when you're not feeling good about your game, you're not you're not playing ace king that way. No. So the funny thing is, I, I feel like if he just bets flop like he did, bets turn, bets river, I don't know if he gets jacks to fold. No. But by playing it that way, it, he made it, at least in Barry's eyes, it made him look stronger. Yeah, the bet and the check raise is, is very good, as Barry's confirming. I learned from Garrett. I should have checked the turn. Obviously. <laughs> I don't know that he should have checked the turn. I think he should have decided before he bet small what he was going to do. I said the pot is too big. There's too much money there. Yeah, you're playing it very, very well. Seriously. This guy definitely does not tilt. No, I, I honestly, I have so much respect for Barry. Yeah. I mean, there's no. No, I haven't played with you. Yeah, look, okay. he's just like literally just acknowledging, like, hey man, you just played great. Well played. Yeah. You got me. Gotta respect that. No, it's the first time we play. Yeah. Amazing bedside manner for the doctor. It was an expensive lesson I learned. Thank you, thank you. Sometimes I get crazy. Yeah. Now I know. I learned the same lesson with the other two players here. Jeremy with a gut shot to Broadway. Garrett with the best hand right now, the pair of fours. This is a straddled pot and a small raise in there. Jeremy's going to bet. You know what she, this, uh, the kid is? Garrett's uh, going to take one off. Let's play hands off, Francis. To me, you say any time, but kitty. Say, and I told him in front of everybody, let's put $20,000. We play 100, 200. We don't want to play 510. You fall all, all night. 
put 20,000 each one, yeah. and we play 100, 200. No, why? It's too big. So Jeremy so got 700 on the flop. Man, you fall, oh, follows nine. that up with 1,800 on the turn. Yeah. Garrett's not a believer. Can Jeremy fire a third bullet? He's the one that asked me. Let's play hands up any time. And should he? Said, okay, let's put 20K. Well, Garrett doesn't think that Jeremy would play no top pair or one pair this way. And perhaps he's correct. But it's still a really good call on the turn. That's the one I'm going to regret. Yeah, that one. And if he calls this. You know why I did? I don't want you to sleep tonight. I mean, do we not no, think Jeremy is playing ace king this no, way? No, I just kidding. <laughs> the ride home. I had two jacks. I, I don't know. Garrett certainly does not think that. No, but no, but but he said he he going to think about it. So I did in that purpose. I don't want you to sleep tonight. Think it. What the hell? No. I think I'm going kidding. to probably pay this off. Just kidding. I never like bothering nobody unless they bother me. This is pretty sick. <laughs> yeah. Always be nice with everybody. I should have checked the turn, obviously. Yes, he called. It's just great poker. Look at That's just great poker. I mean, I don't, I don't even mind the, the three barrel from Jeremy, but I think you, you nailed it on the head. Uh, Garrett doesn't think that Jeremy's going to play a one-pair hand in that manner, which means, okay, you've got two-pair plus or a lot of bluffs. Uh, heart draw so funny. came so on the turn, straight draws. We needle the fuck out of each other. It's incredible. <laughs> It's just, <laughs> you don't see that very often. Yeah. Just the call with bottom pair three times against Obviously, the tightest player who like hasn't had one. Yeah, and Jeremy's going to take a break. That's just, that's great poker. <laughs> Jeremy had plenty of equity. He started shaking. He started shaking. That's what I'm saying. He can do whatever he wants, all right? Like, it never comes across as malicious. Yeah, he's got that. Yeah. Jeremy, you're going to be up first. It's a 200 shell run. Oh. <laughs> it does take you off tilt a little bit to add on chips, doesn't it? Let the guy raise, man. <laughs> well, that was the highlight of the. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I want to, first of all, I want to give Jeremy credit. I think he's actually played really, really well today. I do. And I don't mind that triple barrel at all. That's going to work against, like, what, 98% of the players he plays against? Yes. More than that. More than that. I mean, it's just a great call. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> Jeremy George. raising. With you today. Call from Barry. A three bet from George. We got a lot of good hands in here. Jeremy may be a little bit on tilt now with H10 off suit. Is he contemplating making a move here? Ten seconds. He makes the call. Yep. And this happens to the best of us. You lose a big pot. Well, in that manner. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. You're, you're the tightest player, the, the most solid player, and you get called down by bottom. Nick player. calls. Barry calls. Four-way action. The pot is 11-4. This is what we've been waiting for all day. When I lose the kind of money, I go sleep five days, and I wake up, I'm recovering. There you go. Yeah. That's it. I think, like, I, I, I want to sleep for vacation five days. Yeah, yeah. You come back? Yeah. I'm back for I do that, too. Yeah? And I don't feel uh, sleep for a while. Queen 5-5. Five, five. Jacks are still in the lead. Remember, the three better, though, is George. Yeah. George checks. Yeah, sometimes I need a couple of days. Yeah. It's better. So many times I play poker, I go, I'll never play again. This is the very last time, dude. You, like you say, five days. Check. They're like, I'm ready to play again. Yeah. No, what I mean is if they lose like 20, 30K, something yeah. like that. Barry's hand is like ridiculously underrepresented, isn't it? That's what I'm saying. It certainly is. He'll, he'll call this. And then the river should go check, check. Can you get me chips? Yes. Yep, there's the call. Pot is 19 4. Heads up now. Check. Blind check. They're both happy to get the showdown with their hands. They both can expect to win. Ooh. Louis. Oh, here's a bluff card for George if he wants it. If you want to get, if you're trying to get a queen to fold. Uh, I might need a His hand just might be too good. Me? Yeah. I don't have to. I mean, oh, these. 
Nope, checks it back. Barry's going to win it. I'm going to be leaving in about 20 minutes. I don't know. Something like that. That's fine. Really? Yeah. Oh, I need a dog. Thank you. Thank you. Barry said I needed that one and he got it. Now oh, wait. Nice little pot for him. Yeah, we're good. Should I bet the river, huh? Yeah, I couldn't call the river, that's for sure. You would call it? No, I could not call the river. No chance. Garrett up 51K. George uh, had 66,000 in front of him, so he's lost about 17 since his high. Barry making a nice little move. Julie making a nice little move here. Nick, our short stack with just 9,700. There's the winnings. Garrett up 48K. George up 19K. Armenian Mike up 5,800. And then everybody else uh, down. Gaining humility. In character. My arm, I feel yeah, pain. exactly. That's better. I Everybody else is just leg, gaining I character. I cool, your finger's broke. Yeah. Broken finger. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, broken finger. Jeremy <laughs> Steven. Give me, just put it all on the table. The guy, the guy, yeah, the guy does the doctor, and he says, Yeah, don't go anywhere. The last hour of this show could be absolutely on fire. My leg hurts. guy says, you got a broken finger. Look at that. You guys are awesome. We're up over 3,100. People watching. Bang that thumb. Hit that like button. We want to get up to 1,500. Come on. We get to 1,500. Maybe maybe another story? Yeah, let, let me... Do I, got, I got time to prepare. We need 300 more likes. Yeah. I call. Should I tell the story about uh, myself and Francisco that I told before, but it was a different audience? Yeah, I think so. Why not? Okay. I like it. Yeah, 300 more likes. I'll uh, talk about the, the biggest pot I ever played. With all of our shows, by the way, all of our shows are free. You can watch them whenever you want to watch them. They're all available on YouTube. So all we ask you to do is hit that like button. Let your friends know about the show. We'll be here Monday through Friday. Georgie, rematch. Rematch. Look at this game. Look what the straddle has done. Look what... Took a while, but this game is officially out of the muck. Leo play. And they... Leo. Me and you. And they put... Leo and uh, that's an action flop. Both players the top pair. <laughs> Barry once again, just uh, one better than George. Yeah. Jacks versus the tens, and here Queen Jack versus Jack ten. Pot six thousand dollars. Might be a little bit of an action killer. While he's thinking, tell them why we're on a, a slight delay. Yeah, I mean, that's just for security of the game. And I mean, obviously, this is a live stream. There's a lot of money on the table. We're showing you the whole cards. Anytime you see whole cards on a poker game, it's never actually live, right? We know that. Pot is 11,000. Ace on the river. And is. This is probably going to go check, check, I would imagine. I guess this is how Israel but security feels. here is absolutely number one priority. We want to make sure the integrity of the game. I got a jack. Jack. I got a jack too. No, my jack's better. Queen jack there. He's going to win it. Another pot for Barry, and Barry's on fire. Some adversity for George lately. Yeah, he's he's uh, fallen yeah, from his uh, his height. I'm in a joke mood. Now. Yeah, you see Barry feeling good. But yeah, security here is number one priority. Give me the bad news. I can tell you that both of our phones were taken away. Everybody in the production room, phones are gone. And this is, and we're on delay. I mean, players, nobody at the table. They don't have their phones either. It's even better. You have to take a second or two to train. I'll tell you something. It actually makes for a more social game too. Rather than getting guys like you know stuck yeah, in your phone and looking at texts and texting people and before, going before, on Facebook or whatever. Any, any, any my joke now? Because they were never in English. <laughs> well, it's a still, it's still. But now you at least you catch. I get him. Yeah. What with the straddle? Uh, Mike did not straddle. Hundred to call this now. <laughs> when you're stuck 30 plus K, you don't like hearing that someone forgot to straddle. <laughs> no, not at all. 
But we do one round, one no Shout round. out to our production team, by the way. If you guys like what you're seeing, hit that like button. Yeah, you're right. One round, yes, yeah. The, uh, yeah. Uh, the production crew here is just absolutely knocked out of the park. Patrick, Ryan, Nick Fertucci, the whole team, they just crushed it. The graphics are amazing. TV quality for free on YouTube, five days a week. Oh, no. Yeah, this is likely to get chopped up. Not yet, as you can see, but... Don't you feel like the river is just always going to be a four? <laughs> Certainly could be. Pot's 23.50. There no, you they're go. going to chop it up. Garrett will bet big here because the only thing you get paid off by is a queen, which now has a boat. More than the pot. Yeah, 1.1x pot. This is really just a call, right? I mean, Garrett's either, he either has an ace or he's bluffing, right? Yes, absolutely. But if you want to say I raised Garrett. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry. You know what I mean? You have you cancer, you walk past to somebody else, you you don't strain it, you cut it from. That's a good doctor. All right, I have one for you. I don't know if you're going to get it. Early on in my poker career, I learned the hard way uh, about reopening the betting in a spot like that. And the guy jammed on me, and I'm like, well, I got a call. I got, you know, and sure enough, they had quads. Yeah. Garrett didn't even Francisco. think about how much does he have behind? What happens here if I stuff? Am I free rolling? <laughs> I think just because he's just doing so well and he doesn't want to be greedy. Yeah. It wouldn't work. Oh my God, but that was great. He would normally think about, well, can I win this pot? <laughs> Some way. That's the doctor's <laughs> advice. And by the way, I mean, um, if, if Garrett goes 2,500, you go 7,000, and then Garrett stuffs it in for 40K oh, more, and you have him covered. Yeah. Do you know the you're throwing where, up. Uh, right? I mean, like you're just feeling sick. Like, why did I just re raise him? Like, yeah. Like, does he have quads? Like, Am I. What would you <laughs> Seriously? What did I just do like, to myself? Up, you know, right. <laughs> and and like, Garrett well, didn't even know, think I'd about drive it. Her out to the forest. I'd open the car door and say, You're free. <laughs> Someone's asking if, if it's my last day commentating. Uh, it's shit. my last day of this week and this month, but I'm coming back September 6th all week. Marley Cordero is going to be yeah. here. Yeah. She's going to play some. She's going to commentate with me some. It's going to be fun. Sweet. It's one of my favorite. I might not see you. I'm trying to debate. I got. I. I, I might be headed down to San Diego for the uh, the Run Good tour. When's that? Small. Uh, it's that week, September seventh oh. to like eleventh. <laughs> Believe it or not, yeah, we just Marley Cordero though. I love Marley. When we were driving around, yeah, because it's such an easy listen. It was. We awesome. were having some drinks. I told her I was doing it, and she decided to come out that week and awesome. Texted Ryan that night. I mean, I have eight. You're right, you eight yeah, I too. commentated with Marley in Montenegro I when I covered the Triton Poker Tour, and it's like super and got to know her there. You know, like you could do it in the car. Yeah, she's whatever, very cool, like, very cool and chill and funny. And she might play this this game. She's yeah, not afraid to play big. No, like not at all. Talking, I, like, I don't think she, not this game. Thing, really, yeah, the Friday game. She might. She's yeah. played okay. bigger than this. No, no. Three hundred, six hundred. Actually, I didn't realize yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I figured we'd see her in like the five five fifty, like the Tuesday yeah. game. But probably will. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet. I'll look forward to that. Yeah, it'll be a fun week. I appreciate everyone that's helped me in my first week. Mark oh, Goon. Dude, you've been crushing. I, 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 you and Nicole. Hundred percent straight. Maybe oh, Mike picks up jacks. Cien percento. Okay. Out. I thought you were out. Jax is just the call. Cien. It's el mismo. I mean, Nick limped in, folds around. So the small blind, and he decides not to, and he's gonna, it's gonna pay. He's, it's gonna hurt him because Nick just flopped a full house. 
Mm -hmm. And I don't think I, this is not a hand that Armenian Mike wants to fold. Now, luckily for him, there's no flush draw on board. Doctor, after that block, I forget to tell you. Doctor, doctor. Pot is small. Nick bets 400. No, and that's love. After you fold. I mean, when I bet and get called, and I think my opponent might have a 10, I'm going to start bloating this pot up pretty quick. Are your thoughts? Yes. Agreed. I mean, I kind of feel like I'm like, you either got a 10 or you don't, and that's the only way I'm going to get value, so. But you do know that Armenian Mike <laughs> likes to slow play big pairs. But yes, you're targeting a 10, right? as they say. And, and frankly, if he has a big pair, cool. I'm going to, let's see if he can actually get rid of it. Can he fold jacks? <laughs> English. I think English. You're talking about the same song. Yeah. What's your sizing if you're Nick? Different interpretation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, give me the news. I got it. Um, let's see here. I've kind of been looking at the chat a little bit. All ins. He's yeah. He's definitely targeting the ten. Yeah. You either got a ten or you don't. Yeah. If you got a ten, he doesn't think you can fold it. Yeah. I, I have no problem with that. And then some days. He just calls you with jacks, and then you feel like a genius. Yeah. But he's definitely targeting a 10. Well, frankly, when he bets the flop and he bets the turn and gets called both those times, I mean, you got to imagine that Mike's got a 10 way more often than anything else. It's, yeah, I think Armenian Mike led both streets, didn't he? No, no, no. It was, a, it was, it was Nick. Oh, it was check call each time? Yeah. I mean, Mike can beat nothing, by the way. No. And Nick has not gotten out of line at all today. He can't even beat a, a very ridiculous ace-5 or 5-6. Right, like ace-5 of clubs, something like that. Yeah. But it's so much easier when you're not in the hand, isn't it? Even if you're just at the table, it's easier. Being in the hand, is it, it makes it just... It's hard to think clearly sometimes. Absolutely. He's going to pay him off, isn't he? No. No? Okay. I have a theory behind that, by the way. How many times have you seen... He does fold it. How many times have you seen, like, a good buddy of yours, girl or guy, in, like, a shitty relationship? And it's so obvious to you and all your friends, but they can't see it because they're in the middle of it. Yeah. Well, right? It's kind of the same as poker. We can all, we've been at the poker table. It's so obvious to everybody that's not in the hand, but to those people that are in the hand, it's just like you've got this emotional cloud and you can't see through it. Yeah. I have a, a podcast where I talk yeah, about no, it's it's every it's day of my life, yeah. and, yeah. The and the I still struggle with insight. I will keep it on and I was talking to a friend about it who I think is a very good thinker, you know what I mean? and I said, I think we have a little more insight than most. And he says, I kind of feel like we're all tied for last. And that's... The, that. That's kind of same thing in a poker hand, right? Like, or, or in that bad relationship thing. You don't see it. Everyone else sees it. Everyone else at the table, the dealer knows. Right. Yeah, everyone knows. But you're in the hand. It's hard. You're like, Nick hasn't, Nick hasn't gotten out of line. There's no way jacks are good here, ever. Nice little pot there for Nick, though. And, there, and there's nothing... Unprotected about Armenian Mike's line either. It's not, it's not like a good bluff spot or anything. But when you're in the in the battle, come on, count my money. It's hard to think clearly sometimes. I don't want to count it. Let me borrow it. Can I borrow it? I'll bring it. I mean, I, I lost like twenty thousand in, in three hands. Someone's asking why he didn't bet smaller because he was correctly targeting a ten. Nick was. Yeah. Uh, because he couldn't see his cards like we can. Yeah, if you know he has jacks, then obviously you're not going to move all in. You'll right. bet, you'll bet smaller. But you know, the flop was 10, 10, 10, 4. Mike Possel would have bet 2K. <laughs> Absolutely. He <laughs> was. a couple setups. George, can you do like a cartwheel for me? <laughs> George, can you 
You guys have something else? <laughs> you just saw Julie right there. If you just tuned in, can you really tell she stuck over 30k? That is poise. Queen 6 4. How many we have? I love, the, I love these ones where no one flops anything. This is th These are my favorite hands. Who wants it? it looks like Francisco's going to take it. Right, he's got momentum now. He pulled off that big bluff. He's Francisco the pro. George calls, though. When you play against guys that are as sticky as George and as tough as George, are you just forced to kind of like double barrel a lot more? Yes, or or not single barrel. Right. Just try and make the best hand, but it's really lighting money on fire, what Francisco did, and Francisco has played beautifully, not only today, but yesterday. He was a beast, and I don't think he ran well either day, really, but he's definitely getting better. Huh? I did block you. No, why I bet so much? Yeah, someone's saying that Julie has money, so maybe that's why she's poised. I've seen a lot of people that have a lot of money lose less than she has that uh, lose their minds. So, yeah, you do want to stay within your means, I guess. I never have, but do as I say, not as I do. And also, she just has poise in class, money aside. Get a raise here from Jeremy, under the gun, plus two, queen six. Well, that hand against Garrett changed things, didn't it? Yeah, for sure. Opening the queen six. Ooh, Julie's got tens on the button. There's some dead money in there with Armenian Mike, and Julia's going to three bet this. Take it down, Julie. I want to say that hand against Garrett was bad for Jeremy for the rest of the session, but good for him long term. Yeah, certainly possible. He's going to figure out what went wrong in that hand, I assume. And he's going to correct that. What would be the correction? Would it be to start value betting one pair hands more? Well, the term is the term is that it's either to, to bet one pair hands more, or to bluff your, your bluffs like you do with your one pair hands. It's just gotta there's got to be some balance either way. Right, so if he takes a bet the flop, or if he if he often checks the flop with top pair, do that with your bluff as well, and then start betting, and that'll work against Garrett. This okay. is interesting. We got a straddled pot. Julie raised to twelve hundred. Jeremy's got jack. So Julie just three bet Jeremy. Now it's going to be Jeremy three betting Julie. You need like a bunch of different like types of people to make like a great poker game and he always is like a valuable asset like makes it so fun every time George called There's a no thousand like with 10-7 no off yeah he's got two flush draws he's steaming a little bit he's human yeah he had 66,000 in front of him just uh, probably about an hour ago Julie's got a, a pretty hand. I just don't know if Jeremy is deep enough for her to call with that suited connector, and she decides to let it go. She wants a flop. So two three bets in a row, and we don't see any flops. So remember when we said that sometimes the straddle kills the action, and I've always argued against that, and we had two limp pots. Well, I think it's made the game considerably better. Now, for sure, yeah. 
Yeah, no doubt. It's good for a game if, if the pots sting a little bit, right? If it's just no big deal every hand, you're not going to have anyone getting out of line. They're not going to go on tilt and play open the queen six. Or... Yeah, we've seen a couple of really amazing hands. I mean, that the Francisco check raise with the ace king to get Barry to fold jacks was really cool. Obviously, the Garrett uh, call down three streets with bottom pair, five four. Very cool against the ace queen triple barrel of Jeremy. So Jeremy's got jacks again, or no, it actually definitely not, because those are the exact same jacks he had last hand, so I think that must have been a glitch in the system that kind of kept his cards from last time, because clearly yes. he's not folding jacks. No, that's his hand from last time. That makes sense. We'll ask Ryan to tell him to turn his cards in next time to the dealer. Yeah, he did. He kept his cards, and he'll get scolded after the show. No, it was just a, a, a graphics thing. Happens. Yeah, the show is on a delay, but and we've got a great team doing it, but keep in mind that they're producing it live, same as you might watch any sporting event. You're just watching it on a delay. And like so. you said, if the cards cross over an area, uh, it's it's nothing anyone can do. Get a misread, yeah. But it's just, yeah, the team's got to fix it on the fly, and they do an amazing job. But, you know, occasionally you're going to get a little, uh, a little mess up here or there. Jack, six, five, two spades. Deuces are best. Garrett should not win this hand. <laughs> no. Even though he has the, the most equity, because he just has to fold to any bet. It's time for Nick to show some aggression. Bad card for Nick. He's open-ended. He's going to show some aggression. And George is going nowhere. Actually, George is going to lead out. So George calls and now leads out 1,500. But, I mean, if you're Nick, you're getting three and a half to one plus implied odds. Okay. Sign me up. He raised. Oh. 4,000. Not sure what Nick's representing here. Ooh, Queen Jack. Or is that not? Kind of. Okay. Does he bink? Or, oh, that was just a time chip. Now, Nick has 5,700 behind. If George makes this call, the pot will be 11-8. Does Nick have enough to move all in on the river on a miss and get uh, him to fold? Absolutely not. Okay. This is a, a one-time thing. So it's me. he needs the ace or the nine. And in George's spot, I, I like if you're going to continue an all-in. Luckily for him, it doesn't really matter. I bet Nick has some funny things to say after this hand, though. What do we think about this bluff card? We don't like it, do we? Nope. Well, we don't like that he has half pot left. And he moved all in. I mean, now he's basically saying, I've got sixes, I've got pocket fives, I've got queen jack, exactly. But a lot of draws missed. Spades queen missed, jack. straight draws missed. George getting three to one. 
He said Queen Jack. How much is that? Uh, that's the problem. Everything else was fine. <laughs> Don't say that, Jeremy. It's more than five thousand. Fifty-five. Call. Call. Yep. Wow. I think Nick. I like Nick's instincts. I think he probably Put wins the pot the if. If he has more chips, right? Yes. And if things are going differently for George, that's the game yeah. flow. George has been losing a bunch. When you're losing a bunch, you're harder to bluff. Or people with a lot of money. The name of my podcast is Sessions. If you search DGAF anywhere you get podcasts, there's a bunch of stuff. Uh, the, well, the first thing that'll pop up is sessions, and there's a bunch of public drops, and I drop four times a week, and two of them are for the public, and the other two are for the people who support the, the podcast. Line is yours. I have had the uh, unfortunate experience of playing poker. No, with the man sitting next to me here. He's a, he's a hell of a poker player and has some great stories. So definitely check out that podcast. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Good to see All right, you. take care. Have fun tonight. Julie, Thank you. we love you. Yeah, it's got to be a frustrating hand there for Nick. Because you want my money. No, no, no. You're a, you're a nice person. You're a nice person. Sometimes he has funny rants after hands like that. Julie's got a call at night. She's got a great attitude. Right. Yeah. There you go. Smart. Priorities in order. She's going to go have a good night. Yeah. Pair of jacks here for Jeremy. This hand is over. Well, very right. bad. He could. Oh, my bad. I okay. If the turn is a three or a spade or a seven, there you go. I mean, if you're Barry, keep firing. You're gonna win it. Oh. Not a good card to bluff. No. Uh, Barry fires the turn. I mean, obviously, it's really easy for us. He's such a tight player, this could work. Yeah. He could have a... I mean, he would play a raggy ace this way, wouldn't he? He certainly would. Bet flop, check back turn, bet river. But Jeremy's got to pay to see it anyway. Kind of go back to what your point was earlier. It's really hard to, you know, when, when you're playing in somebody who's having a bad day, it's a little bit harder to bluff that person. It, yes, and even though Jeremy might be, he might be winning overall, but he had that. So. Yeah, I think, I think after that, um, a couple of those situations, the seven, six hand and the ace queen bluff. Yeah. I've been playing poker for quite a long time. I started playing in college. We had, you know, very small games, one, two, two, five. I can't even really remember the stakes. I played throughout college and then really lost interest after college. And I started getting back into it a little bit in like the underground New York scene. Uh, never was too into it though. Played very recreationally. Um, and then I moved to LA and I started playing at the bicycle. Ryan used to see me, I was literally playing two five, five five, you know, sitting with a thousand bucks, going home super tilted if I lost a thousand, two thousand bucks. And I was playing and I noticed there was this massive game and it was Nick and Garrett and Andy and they were still playing on the floor then. And I was like, wow, like maybe one day I'll play in that game, but never really thought I would because it was 
you know, such big stakes. Um, but as, as things progressed, um, I started playing. Uh, I met Ryan, Ryan got me on the show. Um, and then from there, you know, I went from playing 5-5 five, five to 10-25 to 50-100 to playing a lot of the bigger games. And now for the last two, three years, I've been playing a lot of high stakes poker with a lot of the same guys, but also in Vegas and in private games. And yeah, I really have fallen in love with poker. This weekend, this weekend. Your wife let you go Yeah, unfortunately, I, Jeremy's played really well today, but I think he is down on the <laughs> night. Or as you like to say, he's had a character building evening. He has. You remember when he had the Kings and Garrett raise the flop? That's how old and when there were clubs out there. I said I think he flats with the flush draw pretty often. Well, we just got a situation where he has the flush draw and he did flat. He did not raise. Second. Can somebody come? Max uh, Max sex every day. He comes so happy. Are we allowed to bet? I'll bet you a hundred dollars. By the way, though, notice how Jeremy here is betting just a one pair hands. Once I hear this guy jumping, why are you jumping? Because today's my day. <laughs> but how frustrating. I mean, how frustrating. You, you, you bet the 10, your opponent has a deuce, you're thinking maybe I can get paid off, and you still don't get paid off by the guy. The guy, Garrett just doesn't make a, you know, a bad read. I mean, obviously he does, but you know, when you play against him like this, it must feel like he doesn't. Now, what if Garrett knew he was calling the river with 5-4 and knew he was folding the ace deuce but what if he kind of made it seem like a tougher decision than it was just to be like a nice guy yeah. give it to him that's just okay. one. celebrate jewish holidays with little dicky that's fantastic it's good stuff here once again, thanks for joining us here, Hustler Casino Live. We're here Monday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Pacific Time. Friday nights, we give you a little bit of overtime. Other nights, there might be overtime as well. The game keeps going on. I'm, I'm David Tuckman, DGAF alongside me. And uh, some of the biggest names in commentary will be uh, coming through our into our commentary broadcast booth. Uh, Norman Shad joining us next week. Uh, you mentioned Marley Cordero. Um, I know Johnny Vibes will be here. We're going to have a, a, a litany of some big, big names. And, of course, uh, the best games here for you. And they're always free on our YouTube channel. Jeremy's got trips here. Barry's got top pair good kicker. And... Somebody said they canceled the Mexican poker at the bike. We will find out if Barry really never tilts. Maybe they because the because the pandemic. Please just tell me. What is the matter about Mexican poker? What's well, I don't know. They said like only three tables. I don't know what they canceled. Zero reason to slow play here. I don't think any casino wants less people. So, uh, yep, and he's gonna bet right away. Yep, three thousand and a quick fold from Barry. Doesn't tilt. Confirmed. I really like his game. Yeah, I like his. Hold my fives. Manner. For you, Jeremy. Oh. Because I like you. I want you to call then if you like. No, 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 no. <laughs> so that was a punch in the That's gut. Nine or six. And Garrett One called him down with the five four. But it's also. Opened him up and he's looser now. He's more. He's more relaxed. He's so playing better. I think. I'm down like 12. Two. I mean, I think at the heart of it, we're human, and it's nearly impossible for us to not be results oriented. If in, really in everything in life, right? Especially at the poker table. So you look at that play with the ace queen, you think to yourself, you know, hey, what a terrible bluff. What was I doing? That was so stupid. He called me down because it didn't work. But if he folds, is it suddenly an amazing bluff? Yeah. I mean, so a... you kind of have to detach yourself from the result. Yes, being results oriented is not going to get you very far in poker. In that particular hand, I think he's going to want to actually think long and hard. 
how Garrett was able to calm down with bottom pair. Yeah, and you said it. You said, you know, listen, it, it might not help him in this session, but in the long term, if he thinks that through. I know you played this one. And I still think, like you said, I mean, I still think 98% of players are folding to him. More than 98. That, that was a world-class call down. Yeah. No question. Or Garrett's just a calling station. Oh, yeah. We're hyping him up That's for no that reason. Right. right. Definitely not folding. <laughs> that is for sure. So as you can see, Julia stepped away. She had a rough night, but uh, she was all smiles sure, when she sure, left. Sure, sure. She'll be back for sure. Got a lot of people watching right now. I want to thank you all for watching us here at Hustler Casino Live. 1400 from George with the seven deuce. You owe me 300 now. No, he'll win. Seven deuce. 300, you need to be playing like 3,000. You do this. Someone wants to know what the rake is in this game. Do you know? I don't. I don't know. I thought I saw somebody. I don't know exactly. So I don't want to. I don't want to misspeak. I will find out before our next next Friday show. Yeah. It is a time rake, and I know they take it out of the pot, so the winner pays it every every time, every collection. And someone is asking how much the dealers make. I think they make pretty good money. I want to say they're getting a hundred an hour plus extra tips per hand, but I could be wrong on that. Could be the case, yeah. Oh, that's right. I mean, these guys, these these players are taking care of the dealers. I saw that. Yeah. Make no mistake. I cannot take it. Huh? You cannot take it? Why? Oh, okay. You have a He's liver 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 compromise. Liver. Ace, queen, nine. Liver. Top and bottom for Jeremy. Francisco's got top pair. George with middle pair. <laughs> Jeremy checks. Francisco. Bet 700. So he bets pot. This could work out really well for Jeremy because we're going to get a call here. And now I would assume Jeremy's going to raise, but let's see. So you take his advice? Never leave the house? <laughs> yeah, this wet a board. Might as well just uh, go for it now. No, it's great. It's good for you for wearing a mask. Sure enough, he goes to 2,800, so it's 2,100 more. And you pointed that out. Very wet board. A lot of draws. Actually, would have liked a bigger raise there. Call. Oh. Out. Except it works perfectly. Francisco makes the call. Pot is seven thousand. Francisco has actually picked up some equity. He's got a straight draw now. King Jack got there. Yeah, Jeremy could easily bet and fold to any aggression. And he's going to. And Francisco gives it up. Nice fold from Francisco. I said it was going to be worse for him this session, that, that ugly hand. But it's already, he's already playing better because of it. He's, uh, he's ready to battle. He's not scared. Strado, Mike. How big? <laughs> Francisco with the limp. 50, 100, 200 with an Annie. Dottie's your businessman. You manage people's expectations. They think, oh, fuck, and then boom, straddle. 
Two pair here for Armenian Mike. Check. Check. I know Francisco, he's going to raise. So you play on the live stream like three days a week or something? Two or three days a week, yeah. depending on what's up. George just doesn't fold the three hundred dollar bets. Not when he's got a piece of it now. It's not bad to be Nick. Jeremy's got two pair now as well. Nick was playing some other Takes the lead with King Nine. I love the way Checks the room. Check. It's gonna build my own. Armenia and Mike is betting. Yeah, for value. And yeah. Jeremy will call quickly. This check, remember, this check threw on the turn, so. Oh, you remember? Yeah, they benched me once and sat me on another time and gave me a speech, and I said, oh my gosh, I think I need a stream. Sorry, Mike. It's not Who benched you? JJ benched me. And, uh, he's just one of the guys that owns the... the Get a dealer change here. Hopefully get the uh, updated graphics and stats. There you have it. Garrett with 148,000, George with 55, Barry 41, Jeremy 41. Take a look at the winnings. I stand corrected, by the way. You're right. Jeremy's actually up 9,000. Yeah. You are uh, absolutely right. I'm wrong. It, it felt like he lost when he had kings against Garrett's queen nine, but he did chop it. So he actually made some money in that one. But it felt like he lost. Yeah. And, and when he got called down by 5-4, it felt much worse than it was, too. It was not a big pot. I guess not. Yeah, I mean, I guess the river bet was only like 3500 or something. So you know, maybe he lost 6000 on the pot. An inexpensive lesson. That's a good point. I hadn't even thought. I didn't even really think of that. Because it just... It was such a huge pot in the sense of a cool situation, you know, such a great call by him that kind of forget that it, there really actually wasn't that much money in there. Nick raising it up with ace-king. Francisco's going to at least call this. He does. There's the ace. Stupid story with his exact hands, by the way. Many, many, many years ago, I'm in the Bellagio on a, like a guy's weekend. We're just like, my boys, my high school boys, all came out. We're going to have like a Vegas weekend. And a couple of my guys were like, oh, let's play poker. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. So I jumped in. It was probably a 5 10 or a 10 20 game, whatever it was. And my, my friends were like, whoa, how much money does it say? They couldn't believe it, you know? And literally, the second hand I sit down, I have ace king, I three bet a guy, he calls me, flop comes out, ace king six, and I get stacked, he has pocket sixes. Ouch. And my friends are like, I didn't even care. It wasn't like I had $2,000 in front of me, whatever, I didn't, it wasn't a big deal. And my friend is just losing his mind. Like, absolutely losing his mind, because I just lost $2,000 in like seven minutes. Yeah, it's a big difference, poker players and civilians. Right. Like, you go golfing with a civilian, they want to play for $5 a hole. Right, you go golfing with a poker player, they want to play for a hundred a hole. Yeah, it, it was just, it was really funny. Like, he just couldn't believe it. He's like, why, why don't you fold? And I was like, dude, I, <laughs> like, I'm never folding in that spot. I'm like, I'm lucky I only had $2,000 on the table. Yeah, people really struggle not being results oriented. And if you're not even a poker player, you almost have no shot to understand. Right. Why the money goes in on Ace King Six once you see the guy's pocket sixes. There's obviously great players. Francisco called that last flop with sixes on Ace Queen Three, I think it was. So Nick got a little value there. That was kind of interesting. Ace Ten Three, two hearts out there, another Ace out there, and uh, Barry's gonna like it, top and bottom for him. I don't think George is going anywhere yet. He's got a draw to the nuts. Yeah, Francisco and George both have a uh, the gutter ball. Francisco's got the backdoor clubs as well. I'm sorry, Francisco's got a pair of tens. Got, my bad. And backdoor clubs. Yeah, he, he's got stuff going. He does not want to hit a queen. 
No. He doesn't want the three of clubs. I know. Oh, I didn't know it's me. Sorry. <laughs> I, I was looking at Jeremy. Did George fall? The king queen? He did. Wow. Yeah, Barry's going to check it. Hmm. Which is fine, but you, you just have to call if the river's a heart and Francisco fires. By fine, I mean better to bet. Yeah, I remember Barry and Francisco involved in that huge hand where Francisco check raised him. And I think Barry just did not want to deal with that possibility. Oh, that's a big bet, 5,000, oh, and a quick man. call. Barry played that hand. I mean, got it. absolute max value. A guess Good opponent time. who is very capable and willing to bluff, that check back on the yeah. turn has a lot of merit. With three hearts out there, it's a tough, tough decision to make, though. Yeah. It wasn't hard for Barry. He snap called him. No, I mean on the turn. Yeah, oh, the, yeah. The, river, the river's pretty... Pretty easy. I'm always gonna it's just a bad feeling, right? When you yeah. when you bet a lot and the guy just calls before your chips are even settled. Yeah, when they beat you in the pot, it's not a good feeling when you're bluffing. But look at Barry, how quickly he kind of you know adjusts. He bet the turn with the jacks, gets check raised, and then folded the best hand here. He goes, okay, I'm gonna check it back, and I'm gonna call you. Yeah. You have to know your opponent is willing to bluff to check back that turn and risk a heart coming. And he did. He didn't see that one. No, I did not. Yeah, but you could have. Yeah. I just saw colors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How much? We got about 30 minutes left in tonight's show. It's it's unlikely that Barry will have a profitable day, but he has really turned it around. Played some good poker. These two have battled a bunch. Nick and Garrett. There's a king. Nick's not gonna like that flop. Oh, 180. Surprising lead by Nick. Yeah, when check, check on the flop. Bet call. Now Nick checks, and you imagine it'll go bet fold. What? Diamonds missed. Who knows? I don't think Nick usually falls for that. Garrett checking back the flop. Yeah, quick fold. At least he doesn't compound that. When Garrett checks back that flop, do you think more often than not, he actually has showdown value? I, I would assume yes, and I would assume he rarely checks back that flop. He must have just thought that maybe Nick was frustrated and, and maybe he knows Nick better than, than I do. I was surprised that Nick let out with sevens. I'd be inclined to bet very small in Garrett's spot with everything. But he got 700 more. Whatever you want. So if you're betting small with almost everything, are you leaving yourself open to getting check raised a lot more, or is it just not, or, or your opponents not making that adjustment anyway? Well, I mean, what they're gonna do is is they're gonna fold out equity often, right? And you just don't. If Nick's never going to bluff there and, and his range is filled with pairs like sevens, if you check the flop, it doesn't seem like a big mistake because he only has two outs. But if he's never going to bluff, it's a mistake because he can win the whole pot instead of never winning any of the pot with a seven card. <coughs> Maybe about 2,000 would be the right number. That's it? Yeah. Maybe 2,000? Well, that's what I think you're going to do. 
Fuck it, use another I think he's gonna fold. I think he's gonna fold. <laughs> he's just showing his yeah. domination. Nobody does nobody doesn't know what I'm gonna do. I'm nobody, gonna take another knows. time. Yeah, take it. <laughs> yeah. I can't it's fucking great. wait to find <laughs> out. It's, it's great for the stream. <laughs> You guys are losing viewers by the thousands. He's gonna make a. I, I, you wanna bet? This got cut in half. In yeah. Six He's gonna make that platform. The flip phone's got us by 800 viewers already. Just Anyone who is thinking about leaving, it's definitely will. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what my. I know what you're gonna do. You get one at call. No. No. Just call? I, that's what I think you're going to do. I think we've actually lost about 85 yeah, viewers since Mike's been tanking. I'm not even sure what happened here. I have no idea. I think he I think he took a second and then everybody started talking to him, so now he's just milking it. George called the shuttle, but... Oh, Nick Nick has cards. We just don't know what they are yet. Nick's the shuttle. Got it. I mean, in fairness, when you get four high, it's a tough decision. I don't have no more. Yeah. If you give as much action as he does, you get to do this stuff. If uh, anyone winning a lot did this, it would be unacceptable. Then when you really need it, you're going to fuck up. <laughs> did he do all that and just call? <laughs> I don't think he's acted bother. yet. You're he's going to use his last <laughs> time chip, I think. <laughs> and now he just folded. Darius. Please fold. Please. No, think it over. Preferably right now. Hey, don't do anything rash, okay? Why, Take your time. Why I tell you? I predicted that. Good call. I'm going to give you a chance. Oh, God, he called. Yeah, listen, you don't want to yeah. be impulsive at the poker table. I mean, I think it's a lot of money. You got to take your time with that. I get it. Just spent two six way action, limped around in a straddled pot. Well, next hand, next hand. Next hand. Next hand, next hand. Check. Pair of queens here for Nick. He's got the best hand. Okay. Until Garrett spikes a six. You missed a lot. Me? <laughs> 500. 500. Francisco's going to bet, though, with a queen. That was the case queen, by the way. Look how quickly Garrett just folds the queen out. I'm not even thinking about it. Oh, yeah, it was already bet and called. Know, yeah, no, in front of him. He's made some amazing plays today, but that one we could have made. Yeah, no, for sure. Okay. Check, check. You won that hand for sure. Yeah. Jack does play here. Check, check, and Nick's gonna win himself a small pot. I would love to see that. Yeah. Now it's 10,000 behind. Strategic use of time banks. I don't know why I didn't yeah. okay. Have they ever done like an analysis of time banks? How to, how to optimize? I haven't seen anything. Like Sean Yapel in the chat. That is our GM here at Hustler Casino. And congratulations to, uh, to you, Sean. This has been a fantastic launch. And I think really bodes well for Hustler Casino to be the, uh, the premier place to play poker in L.A. For sure. <laughs> Sean is very cool, very long-term thinking. <laughs> no doubt. I want to thank all of you for watching here. Hustler Casino Live, this is our second week. And of course, I want to thank DGAF for joining us this week. He'll be back in September, early September, as he said. Yeah, the week of the 6th. Uh, hopefully, I'll be a little more seasoned by then, but I learned a ton from all of you this week, and I appreciate it. And Looking forward to doing it again. You know who's here every time we get here and every time we leave? The young man in the, in the, in the booth back there, Ryan Feldman. Pretty insanely committed to this project. Yeah, he lives and breathes it. He really does. Just about 15 minutes left in tonight's show. Looks like Mike is getting up. We're just stretching, I don't know. Yeah, I remember talking to Ryan Feldman many years ago, and at this point he was working at ESPN, mm -hmm. and for a lot of you know a lot of people out there, that's like a dream job. I mean, he was covering, he was a, he was he was 
working with the NBA and just a really cool job. And he was like, no, no, I'd give all that up. I want to do this. This is what I want to do. And, you know, sure enough, many years later, he's got his show. And honestly, he deserves all the credit. Yeah, when you have a, a talented guy who's also incredibly driven and great people skills, excellent networking, this is what you get. In less than two weeks, this, this, look where the show's at already. <laughs> You go where he goes? Yeah. He follows me everywhere. Serious? Yeah. Usually home at the end of the night. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. With a gun. Waiting. If, he, if waiting. he's not already there waiting. <laughs> waiting in the bed. <laughs> oh, no. It's, uh, I'm just trying to ask the aftermarket. He's not sure. Aftermarket. He's this money after I leave. Yeah, he said he's going to take this money and go, but he's in right now. <laughs> yeah. I used to play Armenian Mike heads up often at the Commerce. We'd be the last two degenerates in there. And uh, so many good memories with that guy. So I can see you're, you're a nice enough guy that I, I imagine you, you buying a massage for him. Sure. So like, you know, let's play. I'll, I'll pay for the massage. Yeah. He uh, he played the same full ring as he, as he did head up, heads <laughs> did up. He really? So, so in a sense, he was very balanced, <laughs> and I won a lot of the pots. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I was unbalanced. So you won like eighty percent of the pots, but he Probably won some. Of the, he won some of the big ones. I, I would win every pot for four dealers straight sometimes, <laughs> and I would just pay the time and whatever else. And he he liked me. I was always having a beer at you know eight in the morning and. And he just thought I was an idiot. And Don't bluff it. Let me win one hand. I'm not sure he was wrong. <laughs> Garrett's not bluffing at it. He's bl he's betting for value here if he bets. And he does bet 500. I take it. I have an eight. Look at that value bet. He's almost embarrassed at how good he is at this game. Yeah. Now that's uh, that is an exceptional value bet. I mean, backdoor diamonds get there. You got, you know, second pair with not much of a kicker. And, you know, you correctly deduce that your opponent is going to have some eights in his range. And with my image, I'm going to get paid off enough that I, I can put this thin value bet out there. Yeah, he's the ultimate combination of solver, GTO, and exploitative. Player. And if you, if you value bet that thin, it just, it just makes it... it makes it so much more difficult to play against you because think about how many more value hands you have in your range and how many more bluffs you have there too. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's never supposed to call down with the 5-4 unless he has something else. And then he checked back against Nick because he wants to have a check back range and, and I'm sure it's yeah. the best thing for him and he's a tough player. And see what he just used them all. Yeah, I mean, I, that has to be it. Like, you just wanted match value on everything we gave him. Eight high flop out there, two diamonds. Was it pre -close? Whoever pre wants it is going to get it. Yeah. He used four time chips and then called. But then he strategically kept one. Neither player with a diamond in their hand. King really high is still the best. You got to love it. Very GTO. Because Francisco told him he's going to. Four diamonds out there. Queen. <laughs> and uh, neither player going to bet, and King high is going to win it. Queens versus Kings, the battle. <laughs> I can now win even like you. No, I, 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 Francisco no, running out of steam a little bit. Oh, it is tough though when the sticky guy limps the button. Uh, it's, it's just hard to bluff out of position. Is the water free or no? Six handed the rest of the way. Yeah. Is that free or no? How much is it? No, Garrett is not a snob to most of the casino workers. He's a extremely humble guy. Uh, if you listen to any interviews he's done. Let's see how thirsty am I. Extremely humble. Doesn't think he's better than anyone else. Am I embarrassed about how good I play? No. The opposite. I'm embarrassed by how bad I play. Don't. I just thought you no, were. No, it wasn't Garrett Strong. There was a. We're going to take a round off and then reevaluate. Yeah. We're going to get 10 rounds off. <laughs> But it should also be said that Garrett has run the hottest by far this session as well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I know he's up, what, 48,000 or so. But let's not forget that 
The six five of clubs versus sevens and tens. I believe that was a forty five thousand dollar swing. I mean, if he loses that hand, and they only ran it once, if he loses that and he got it in as a 60-40 dog, yeah. he's even on the night. Yeah, and, um, it, and if he loses against Jeremy's Kings, then he's right. stuck. And as good as this game is, I promise you it's even better if that, if that happens. I never root for him to lose, he's my friend, but it's better for the game. Yeah, if, a little if he bit gets of stuck. blood. Yeah. He'll get stuck. Builds one, character. One of these weeks, and... You can tell Francisco's learned how to play against him. Well, I think there's a lot to watch in coming weeks. Well, Jeremy as well. You know, to your point, you thought, you know, maybe, maybe in the past, Garrett could push him out with a, you know, with the raise and the flop, and then the, the bet on the turn. But and then everyone's like, "What's the matter, Jeremy? Too cheap to buy your water." <laughs> You're playing for thousands. <laughs> yeah. like, no, I just want to know how much it is. There's a big tipper, tipper with the big dipper. You and Kid Rock. But Francisco does something very well against Garrett, and I'll just leave it for the viewers to figure out what it is. He was living large back in the day. Garrett with a flush draw here. He checks. So Garrett opened this. He bet he raised 300 and then checked on this flop. And now Barry's going to bet with just absolute air. No Garrett need, calls. No need to raise. You got ace high. You're not folding out. Anything that's yeah. better that would be getting there? Now Barry gives up. Garrett gets there. I'm intrigued now. I want to know what Francisco does. This is a huge bet. Monday through Friday, <laughs> these shows go on 5 p.m. to 10 or 11 Pacific time. Make sure you join us. If you ever miss a show and you want to check it out, all of our shows are archived on our YouTube channel. Always free, never a paywall. What was that bet? Was it like three times the pot? Did I see a, a, a chocolate chip in there? I think he, I think he bet like seven or eight k. Kind of guy. I met her in person. Hustler, it was like literally Hustler magazine. Star -struck. Oh, Hustler magazine. Not if you've never been to the gift yeah. shop here at the Hustler, you got to come here just for that. <laughs> That's how old we all are. Though. We were all around before internet. Raised five hundred. Every one of us. Oh, yeah. My parents literally. My parents. My parents it was literally. Real picnic, Lloyd, let me tell you. <laughs> Right, Raise for George. Oh, let, me, let me tell you That's this. That's why you start talking it. magazines. That's it. Yeah. And all honesty, I swear to God, one time I had a friend sleep over, and uh, I had a. This isn't going fast. I had a. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, go. I, a, I just didn't want to hear it. I had it like a little pull-out bed under my bed, like you could sleep under. So, <laughs> like I'm like 12, 13 years old. I pulled. My mom pulls the bed out, and out comes just. I actually never, I don't have a story like that, thankfully. Really? My yeah. parents walking in on me. Never, no, it never yeah. happened. Yeah, that was I feel like everyone has one, but no, I, I escaped that a lot. There's a lot of Jewish sleepaway camp stories I can tell, but I don't think they're appropriate for her. <laughs> <laughs> they still printed? Huh? That magazine, still printing? I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't seen it. I, mean, I think so. <laughs> ever since the internet, I, think, I never yeah. turned I think the few main magazines still <laughs> print. I never go well. back. Hey, this guy's ready for COVID and a money shot. <laughs> He's got the face mask and the mask. <laughs> <laughs> trolling. He's got the mask and the shield. <laughs> Just trolling random guys in the casino. Right now. I <laughs> no. Yeah. no, I love it. I think it's hilarious. Random bets are trying to protect themselves. Right yeah. This guy's just trying not to die. <laughs> it's like, you pussy. Like, yeah. this guy. <laughs> get shot yeah. You gotta be ready to die. <laughs> Man, your generation, I tell you. <laughs> get out. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I figured you really only got to get that big you ever. Say it again. I said that guy never drank Barry. Garden hose, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Gets a better that hand to fold. That not the guy at the sporting event, like, taking his shoe off and dumping a beer in it. Man, that, <laughs> that was crazy. Awesome. That, that was amazing. That MMA game. guy, oh, that was amazing, yeah. Like, it was extremely dirty, but I liked it. Did you see that? That fight, you saw it. it was, all right, so there's this MMA fight I think recently. he's known, he's known for that. He does yeah. that every Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I don't follow yeah, MMA too much, but I'll watch the big fights. The guy wins this fight and just grabs like a random dude's <laughs> shoe and starts to be random. <laughs> yeah. And then he starts walking. Then he starts walking like back to the wherever. And he's just grabbing other random people's <laughs> shoes and chugging beers. It was the most fucking <laughs> disgusting savage. shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Get a raise from Nick. Call from Barry, a three bet from Garrett. George is going to come along for the ride. We're going to get a big pot here. Good pot, good pot. Who's going to win this one? George. I say Barry. Well, pretty good flop for King Queen of Spades. Yeah. Can I change my answer? This is a flush draw he will bet. Yeah, this is the second time that Garrett has flopped a straight flush draw. Be careful. This is just a gut straight, a gutter to the straight flush, though. Yeah, I didn't hit anyone. Pretty fortunate flop. George Collin, that is a uh, that is a glass half full kind of call. He is an optimist. And there's the seven. Oh, oh wow. Well, maybe I'm right. Maybe George will still win this hand. No, he's going to get stacked is what's going to happen. The board can pair. Oh, he, he might raise Garrett here. Three days up, so really nice. This pot is 8,800. George has 51,000 behind. It's just such a cold deck. Oh. Good news for him is Garrett cannot imagine that he turned a set. That's one of the... There's the call. Pot is 20,800. Mm -hmm. That'll save him. Yeah. I like how he checked. Like, you know you got a set, right? Like, literally, I'm going to snapshot it and keep it because I can't ever remember this shit. Okay. Movies, too, like series, movies. Yep. Yeah. Send you some. Put them in, like, order that you think are good. It's totally tasking you to send me, like, 15. I'll give you some. I like how certain you were that the board was not going to pair. <laughs> oh. You just knew it. You were like, yeah, no, Ty. Tuckman, stop. You're being ridiculous. I played with him for years. I know. Six thousand. Six thousand. Garrett, three bet pre. Bet flop, bet turn, and now betting a river. Ten seconds. And perhaps selling a little nervousness that's not real. Talk us through it. I mean, does Garrett have some bluffs in his range here? Uh -huh. I would say almost always he does. But if you want the truth for this sizing? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Probably not. I'm not sure. Give me four to me. You bet 6,000 into 20,800. Giving his opponent more than four to one. If he's playing this hand against another pro, absolutely. Whatever size he takes has gloves in it. It's hard to fold the set. It'll I mean, probably be a bigger sizing too. Wow. Nice fold. Nice fold there sense. from George. <laughs> wow. yeah. Very good fold. 
I had a zinger ready for when he called too. Did you? Yeah. Unfortunate. It doesn't set on the phone. Wow. As soon as he called, I was going to say it. Huh? It's a terrible river for your hand. Yeah, I know. I was going to say it's going to be a nice wedding. But George with the discipline fold. So was that a good fold? Terrible river for your hand was actually was a great river for his hand. Yeah. I mean, and his spade. This is spade is good. <laughs> the river might have saved you. Yeah, you know. Uh, 400. But I think he only had one spade. It was, it was only one, right? Yeah, little does he know. I mean, the funny thing is, well, we'll, we'll if the board. The, I, I, if the fourth spade doesn't come off, not only is he paying him off, but Garrett's actually betting it up a little bit too. The size is going to go larger, isn't it? It's going to be gigantic. Yeah. He might just go all in. Six of spades in the turn. Barry with the best hand right here. I was hoping for the. Francisco with a pair of sixes. Barry with a pair of tens. I would have been in a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah. I believe this is the last hand of the night. And it's going to go to Barry. Fittingly. I love it. I love it. What a great turnaround for Barry, by the way. Barry's going to finish the night with about $50,000. And the way his night started out, you would have never imagined that. So, got to give him a lot of credit for kind of fighting back, persevering. Kind of shows what can happen if you don't tilt. Yeah. I think that's the last hand of the night. Here, come the, here comes the leaderboard. Yeah, there you go. So Garrett with 163,000, I think he bought in for 100, so he had a heck of a day. Barry, like I said, with almost 50,000. George with 45, he made some good money today. Uh, Julie, who's no longer here, she uh, she obviously fought back as well. The V-Pips, <laughs> no nits at this table, that's for sure. George with over 50%, Francisco at 43, Garrett at a solid 38. Over 50 is superstar status in my book. Pre-flop raise, not surprising. Garrett, the most aggressive player. Barry, though, with 25%. Arminian Mike at two. It's very selective when he raises. Garrett, a cool 60,000. As you mentioned, it's going to have a nice wedding. George up 15,000. Jeremy up 8,400. I thought Jeremy played really well today, right? He did. He, he, he got owned in one hand, but that happens when you're playing against... You know, the absolute best. Look at Barry's total, by the way. He finished the day down 3,500. He was down 30,000 at one point. Hey, what a great week. Okay, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you, man. I have learned a lot from you and Nicole and Mark and everyone else. For, for you, for me, for everybody here at Hustler, thank you so much. We will see you on Monday, 5 p.m. Pacific time.